you motherfuckers. Me and Thomas only wanted to do 20 episodes, and because you all went liking and subscribing and emailing and asking your questions, you forced us to do episode 100. So, here we are. Episode 100, NPK Live, Strictly the Streets. We have a few guests with us today. James, DNA Mills, Slim, what, Jay, what? Hydro to Grow. You know this guy. You know this guy as well. Episode one, two, episode three, and four. One. Yeah. Go back to them episodes if you haven't seen them because you'll notice his dulcet tones, his radio voice, and his video face. Coming in your ears. <laughs> Jay Fox, Kavita, <laughs> myself, Jay Highlight, yep. Dennis Dutch Pro, and Jared Dutch Pro. And we've got a few little uh, guys in the background as well. Get them on shot. Give them, the them a little flick. Give them a little flick. So, yeah, this is episode 100 with myself, Thomas, and myself, Stephen, and everybody else. Say hello. Hey guys. Hello. 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 Yeah. hello. Congratulations. <laughs> Bit nervous. <laughs> exactly. It is all good though. So, what's going on press today? Press record. Press record. It's all good. We're what's on the ball today. <laughs> so, what's going on today, Stephen? We've got a selection of shops. We've got a selection of distributors, companies. Yeah. And we've got a nice old chinwag to get gas down to, so let's get straight into it. Listen, so there's some free shit being given away today as well, you know. What is what is being given away today? So, first, what, what's in reach here? Okay, so, for the people that are watching live, this is the love to you. This is from J Hydro to go. Big love up for the shop, because this is donated from his shop. Gavita, double-ended 1,000. So, are we, are we happy with saying the first person to get to this shop you can we'll put the address up, get to the Gavita. Oh, that is shouting. Hey, what, that. what about that? Be quick. Be quick. The first person from this shop. A valuable bit of kit, that. Unit 11. How, how much is that worth, bro? 550. Yeah, be Depends serious. That's where you buy it, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, don't get into it. Oh, no, Let's not get into that. Let's not get into that. Let's not get into that. Okay. Let's not get into it, but not get into it, James. Different shops get different discounts. Oh, okay. Depending on where you shop, depending on what the price is. It's hitting hard straight away, right? It's going to be as cheap as £420. Pounds. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep on shouting out the address. Unit 11, pin it. Look, okay, this camera nice one make unit 11 peninsula business park here's the postcode ch 461 dw mpk hyperstore <coughs> i was gonna say hyperstore superstore We're, this is a bit of a slow store today superstore so and i keep on shouting out but for the people that tuned in straight away to all 24 of you first person in the shop gets the gavita and that's that sound so, and if you're on your way and you don't make it we've got dna mills cocoa we've got some t-shirts and got some free shit for anyone that makes the effort to come up, so don't you're not gonna lose out. First person here though gets the Gavita. And there's a note on the door, you gotta ring your phone to get in. So make also, sure you ring first person. What to about ring. the three thousand pound giveaway as well? Three thousand pound giveaway, okay. So for all the podcast listeners and people that are watching live, you've got the opportunity to win a major setup. Uh, it is a specific GT Mammoth tent with two 1,000 double-ended Gavitas. Yeah, with the small room reflectors as well. Nice controller. 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 Well. Hit him up for a bit more there, haven't we? Yeah, we just... Um, <laughs> uh, today, Mammoth yeah, tent, well. tent, good <laughs> tent. Today, left, right, and centre. <laughs> good, strong tent in Mammoth. Gavita, brilliant lights. Then you've got your feed, one of the, a very important aspect. James DNA Mills, full feed. Make you show them the box, bro. That's what they're winning. Little transition into the box. Full DNA, and he's not messing about. Just ten liters of A and B in there, not no one liter fucking A and B. This is proper. What else is there? There oh, is Isomax can systems. light, can light Isomax fan and filter for your extraction. James also supplied the DNA cocoa with cocoa. We got a tent in there as well. Mammoth tent, the GT tent, Mammoth specific tent. for the get the meter light. So basically, a full setup to get growing. And the other little bits that you want thrown in, me and T and the NPK shop will throw all the little bits in your thermometers and anything else that you think you might need. So, that's so that. there's some news for you. Big giveaway, so let's get cracking. Comments as well. Um, I'll be watching the comments, but obviously me, we can't reply like we normally do. So towards the end, or when other people are speaking, I'll flick through and we'll see the comments. Um, for the shops, for for the UK hydroponic shops that listen live, um, we've got a 1,000 watt Diva Revolution light for you. So um, if you comment, comment your shop, tag your shop in it. Let us know that you're watching and listening. And um, and we, we're all going to pick your shop. Or oh, the shop who gives us the most shares. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. How about that one? Okay, let's step it up. So, that's... Quick this is quo. a competition for the shops. Yeah. Who's sitting there going, oh, fucking cunts. Look, he is on that uh, fucking Facebook <laughs> again. And all the shops that watch. <laughs> uh, no, well, wake up, boys. Here's something for you to have in your shop. Yeah, that's what, what we're doing this shit for. We're getting to the nitty-gritty, so fucking stop getting a big issy fit on and share our shit. And what can they have? A, a thousand watt double-ended uh, Re Revolution D with a brand new light out there from Greg uh, from Revolution. And, and then use contest it and see what you fucking think of it, see whether it's any Mate good. Do you know what I mean? So, oh, yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah, he's sweating here. So, there you go, boys. All the shops out what there. About, what about all the shops that watch and don't tell us that they watch? Even they better. Yeah. They're going to be like that. Oh, <laughs> should the comment. Secret watchers. I've got a double ended light on the ropes here. Should the comment and let well, them know. Well, a big that shout out to you, <laughs> secret watchers. Keep watching secretly. And keep loving or hating. Yeah, we love it. Yeah, we love it. Yeah, we so do. there's that for the shops. There's the big free grand setup for the people that are listening on podcast and iTunes. And then there's the live, all you people watching live, there's the Gavita. And whoever turns up the shop, you're going to get some other free bits as well. So make your way over here. We're not paying you petrol though, so that's, that's that. <laughs> um, right. I'm not going to do introductions and all that bullshit. I'm going to get right into it. Because my man wants to get right into it. He was in there in the introductions. <laughs> <laughs> they see from Hydro to go. Different shops getting different prices. That wasn't one of my questions, but what's what's going on? Is it fair? Is it right? Is it bullshit? Is it just what goes? The shops who buy more shit should get more discounts. Is that legit? Sounds fair enough to me. Or should the little shops be given a helping hand up? Well, were we given a helping hand up? Were you given a helping hand up? If it's fair enough, why don't you advertise the price? Mm -hmm. Advertise your prices. You sell this much, you get that price. Yeah. Rather yeah. than it's a skullduggery and you have to find out from him or him that they get that price, yeah. that they get that price. What does that, that do? You spend, yeah. the, you spend the Why not? Well, why not just be all good? Why yeah. not say, yeah, you've got to buy 20 pallets a year of fuss and then you get this price? Yeah. 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 You say, if, yeah. You, if you can't match it, you, you don't get that price. So, That's so fair enough. When a company does that to you, bro, what are you thinking about the company? How do you feel about them? Do you just think dogs, I'm going to fucking do... If there's another product listen, just listen, as good listen. to me customers... If, if, if they think that, me personally, I'm going anywhere in the next year or two, then they, they, they don't know me for the last 20 years. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. we're here for 20 years. Yeah, we're going to be here another 20 years. Mm. So I'm saying it makes much more sense for them to build a relationship with us and the ones who are going to be here for 20 years, rather than this whole, oh, yeah, he's going to buy a load off me this year. Because as we've all seen, companies come... And companies go. Yeah. yeah. And companies move brands. So, right. oh, I love brand A this year because yeah. they took me to this fucking show and they bought me this right. and they gave me this for free. That's I'm it. all up their ass this year. And then but next then year, it's, oh, okay, you want to take me to such <laughs> and such a place and give me this free shit <laughs> and do this for me? Okay, I'm going to be your best mate now. Nah, don't go to them shops. You want to be <laughs> shops to the that stay loyal and, and remain with the top Yeah, I think loyalty is the key with it all. That's something that we always go on about mm -hmm. in, in the industry, and our loyal shops, uh, I believe, do deserve uh, preference. To yeah, be honest yeah. with you, at the end of the day, simple as it's, that, that's how I see it. Yeah. You know, if especially shops who, who don't care about a product, that's a big one for me. Shops mm -hmm. who who were just in it for sales and marketing, and they're looking to just constantly monitor other shops' prices. That's what their their game is to monitor other people's prices and and undercut them continuously. You know, that that doesn't do any favours to the, the, the manufacturer or yeah, the wholesaler, yeah, yeah, does it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whatsoever. Devaluing products. Yeah, it devalues you. We can get onto that a little bit yeah, later on. Yeah, true. true. That is in a whole new kettle of fish. Mm. Okay, let's go. Question The favourite range of nutrients? The favourite range? What, what are you saying? Me first. Yeah. Favourite range? Now, am I being a bit... Favourite? What was the question, sorry? What's your favourite range? Favourite Yeah, so I'm being a bit unfair because <laughs> your favourite for doing <laughs> something for Why taste and flavour. Probably the one of two. You might have heard of one, you might not have heard of the other. One is Hydro Tops. Yeah, man. And the other is Ferro. Ferro. Okay, is that big in London, is it Ferro? It's not really big in London, if I'm honest with you. It's, I grew up on it. Yeah, from, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Personal favourite as well. If it wasn't for Ferro, yeah. I wouldn't be sitting here yeah, with man. you boys now. Yeah, so. man. So there's your loyalty to that then, isn't it? I would always have loyalty to there Ferro you go. because it helped me from day dot. Yeah, right. yeah. like that. And yeah. Hydro Tops, both of them, they are both made for London water. Yeah. Mm. So we send the off water samples. Oh. If we're lacking calcium, magnesium, yeah. they will put extra in the feed. Whatever we've got too much of, they take out. 
Yeah. So both of them, between the pair of them. Ones you can listen, that's that's, that's fair. That's fair. You've got it lifetime be a loyalty. Between the pair of them. Yeah. So hydro tops and ferro. Yes, I like that. That's my answer. Uh, I'm gonna skip James because um <laughs> your DNA mills, <laughs> yeah, yeah. as well as your top nutrients, do, do you think that there's another one out um, there that um, you like? That's different from mills. Mm. <laughs> 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 now, now we go back to him, all of our answers. Yeah. He can give us the best out of all of our yeah, answers. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. That's that that's that's fair. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. let's do that. Slim, <laughs> Slim, you're next. For me, personally, Again, too, funnily enough. Um, Snoop's premium nutrients. Oh! <laughs> 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 see, growing science, higher knowledge. <laughs> Free advertisement. <laughs> this is Snoop Dogg. This is his company. He's used this for a number of years. What's now. he about? I've never heard of him. Is it? Is, is, is <laughs> no, you, you, you have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one and only. Yeah, my. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Snoop's, Snoop's premium nutrients. This one um, just been released out in America now. <coughs> um, results, it's crazy. It's been around for years. It's been tweaked, tweaked. To the point now where it's, it was ready for release. There's about, no more tweaking. It, it took about five years. It took yeah. about five years to release it. Mm -hmm. Only just end of last year. It's not they haven't even seen released. you know, bro, to be Is honest. Is it going to be a powder it's, or? It's, no. Liquid. Liquid. Liquid nutrients. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Quality. Nice. Quality, quality liquid nutrients. All about nutrients. the quality. Yeah. We, it, it, it's not the most basic sorts. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. If you can spend more, we spend more. Yeah. You don't tend to get that with we, the. We haven't with worried the, about it. You know, yeah. as the company's come up, it's Snoop Dogg, you know, it's, 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 it's a small company like that, you know, there's not loads of different people. Yeah. So these guys are just going quality, quality. Mm. Um, and the other one, yeah, Hydrotops as well. Mm. Big love for Hydrotops yeah, down man. south and up north as yeah, well. Man. You know what, there's, I think there's a lot of shops starting to realise because Hydrotops <coughs> do any marketing, uh, very, very, any marketing? Do they do anything? I think no, they all just no, to put it no. all through the They make a nice book, don't they? Yeah, they make the yeah, Grower's yeah, Guide, which is a nice, guide. It's I, I it's yeah. Yeah. clever book. Educational book. That's intelligent. Yeah, he's got more knowledge than most other. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he knows. He's a clever guy. He's a clever guy. Yeah, yeah, man. He's on his job. And he's got, have you seen the new tablets that he's got? They're not new tablets, but... He's put them into sachets, yeah. so they're having like small issues with when you'd add the tablets in your, on your shelf for a while or at home on the your moisture. shelf, moisture would start to make them yeah. crumble, so they've addressed it. Yeah, yeah they've had issues yeah. with, with different parts and of they've it. Put these, they've yeah. put them into separate pouches mm. now, so you rip the pouch tablets But in. they've been listening to us as well. <laughs> company that listens. Yeah. Yeah. People do get shit wrong watch what when happens. they don't listen. So That's watch what, what happens when you're off. investing your nutrients, you don't do like loads of marks and, and then you use that money to invest in your nutrients and you listen to the growers in the shops you just had two shops he's not a marketing company though not two shops fair. three shops saying that they're one of the best nutrients on the market especially for that quality shit. Right, yeah my and we haven't had the, the boss man's answer yet nice. what are you saying last. Oh, I, that, are you going do you want to go last no i'll go i'll go, go. i'm good to go Fucking explode dutch pro for me the um it's a big one in liverpool it's major and hydro tops um we 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 yeah. we've got two different horses for two two different courses. They're used in two Did different things. Did we set things. this up? Sorry, which is this a setup? <laughs> 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 how much yeah. are you getting? How much are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you straight. I, I, I got three hundred quid. How much? Are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> I got three hundred and, and a, a big triple F. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a big triple F as well? <laughs> nah, <laughs> man's gonna be dirty, dude. <laughs> yeah. What's no, the, seriously. And you can see he's honest, at least. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, but me, me, me reasons for my decisions as well. Uh, as I said, uh, different horses for different mm -hmm. courses. Mm -hmm. Add the tops, Brummy Bubbler, uh, Dutch Pro, uh, Standard Grow, Mass Grow, whatever. That's that's how it gets down. Simple as so. There's my two. Enough said. Okay. My favourite range of nutrients. Now they haven't got a base nutrient, but what I and I don't know if it's just a, a Liverpool thing, but I see much love for them around, all around the country. They haven't got an A and a B, but Buddha's tree it is for me. <coughs> like, just, you know, not, not 20 products out at once and go, look at our range of products. I'm not into that shit. They brought out a couple of products, been testing it for years. 
the, the the growers at the end of the day and the from the from the streets so that it's a strictly the streets company um we've got the pk 918 the meta boost the flower based which i will talk about a bit more later on i am um, and they are working on a few bringing a few other products back as well and they're not about to release like they could have released at the old spot festival they could have released another product i'm sure their biochemists can go there's a product there's a product there's a product let's push products on people let's hey make guys. more money unbelievable hey guys we already know who he's talking about as well. Mm, mm. And it's and for me it's 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 Buddhist tree all the way, bro. But I reckon you fucked us over there because the question was nutrients and they do additives. That's true. So you backed orders a little day, do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, but yeah, hasn't he boys, do you know what I mean? But go on, carry on. They do deserve that shout They do because the whole range is like a whole yeah. range of nutrients additive so I'm gonna throw them into the okay, if I'm not allowed so that's that is me show, but if I wasn't be allowed that um I had I had a lot of love for Botanica, but you can't get them in the UK. So that's fucked. So that's fucked. You fucked yourselves up there. You're still not in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, coming back, mate. Coming back. Let, coming back let's. To the UK. I, I've been told they've been coming yeah. back for about six months now, up nearly yeah. a year. So I know that I know that's been a bio, but let's have some yeah. information. No one's given any Sister information. Sister company, I can give you good authority that it'll be back soon. Okay. What soon? Six months? A year? Hopefully this year. Oh, okay. Hopefully. Oh, it's January. 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 We want a date. Yeah. The time. Was that when is it going to last? The company to Monsanto show. You come up. Oh yeah. no. Yeah. Shut up with that shit. Yeah. 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 Part of the Hawthorne group. Yeah, the whole Monsanto. Who, who happens to yeah, Monsanto. Monsanto. Anyway, moving on. We can talk yeah, about yeah, that because we yeah, we, yeah. yeah. we can talk about that because yeah, I'm actually yeah. fucking. We'll talk about that later. Remind me to talk about it because I'm actually oh. I'm gonna go defend. Oh, I'll defend. Yeah. Um, and I'm not just saying this just because they're here, but uh, we had I've got love for DNA as well because we've been testing for 18 months. It did, we don't put anything on the shelves unless it's been tested. Because how can you tell a customer? Yeah, that's good. You should buy that. And you haven't even used it, or you've used it once. How, you, how, how does it work in auto pots? How does it work in DWC? How does it work in flood and drain? How does it work hand fed? You've got to test your nutrients to know the shit. Yeah. So, we've and we, but in fairness, with me as well, we done our, we've done our initial <coughs> test and we allowed it into the shop and it was successful. But now, once it goes into the customers and they do all of their crazy different variations of everything, <laughs> yeah. um, then we will find out exactly It'll what the people say. It all it all you know has with the people that we've yeah it all has with the people that we've given it to yes yeah, so and and we've got some uh, good start facts have gone out as well yeah. so I'm sure they'll be happy with that so I'm gonna I'm gonna say and not just because you're here bro you, you know I'll be honest I I like your range of nutrients a bit of smile. We, uh, down to me Jay for my life <laughs> yeah I'd say I'm. I'd have to, you couldn't expect this answer from me because obviously we distribute the product, but my Can decision it. is not based on that. It's based <laughs> on it. the fact that <laughs> <Go on. laughs> everybody starts on Can it. Regardless of what you think of them now, what you think Can of them it. in the past, whatever, everybody starts on Canada and B. So I'd have to say Canada just for that. And I'll give you that. And I'd have to say Canada just for that. And um, I'll be honest, I didn't mention the control before. Powder. We, oh, okay, a popular yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, regime is Canada and B and Dutch Pro Explore. It's, yeah. it's notorious that through through Liverpool, and it's yeah. very good. And it's stack. not just a Liverpool thing, countrywide. I mean, I know Slim's got a bit of a passionate uh, uh, argument against Canada, but I, no, no, know, I love Canada. Uh, no, I mean against. Not saying bullshit about, about yours wasn't biased. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, we're not mugs. This is the truth, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. That's biased. Yeah. That's biased. Yeah. Bias. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's straight how it is. <laughs> okay, okay. So we've gone around the table here. Obviously, you guys are Dutch pro, so you can't be you can't be coming out with the Dutch pro shouts, even though you're Dutch. Yes, is our prize winner, lad? Yes, stay, lad. Stay, stay there if you don't want to be on the video. <laughs> Did you have you been watching on? Have you been watching? No, no, I mean, mates just sent me over. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Nice yeah. class, man. Is yeah. your yeah. making a fucking one his name shouting out? Is he watching? Is he commenting? No, say nothing. Say nothing. Tell, say tell nothing. him to comment. Say tell nothing, him to comment. Lad. I won. Yeah, lad. It's real. It's a real person. Yeah, man. 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 Sweet, whatever you want. Oh, that's class, that was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was quick. I wonder if. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, okay, James, from the ones that we've spoke about, which which nutrients do you rate out of the ones that we spoke about? Um, I think Hydro Tops. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I do like that, but I think it's it's got a lot of people started doing hydroponics. To be honest, Hydro Tops. Yeah. Um. Got a passion, and then I think I no no you haven't mentioned Ice and Garden. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. I want to really uh, did like Ice and Garden. House and Garden. Belter product. In all fairness, well, though. there's a lot to pick from. Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> it, it, it is, it is yeah. hard, and we've all used a lot of <laughs> shit, boys. Let's be honest. Listen, exactly, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, we yeah, want to know. Yeah, yeah, House and Garden was good. phenomenal. It was I mean, brilliant. It, this yeah, is yeah, your yeah, product, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Makey, yeah. what did this your product? Root Accelerator, absolutely phenomenal product. It's been in the market for years, hasn't it? It's been like it's been a great root stem for many years, but it moved from. We did move from the east coast to the west coast. Oh, some way from here. And now there, there was a bit of a lull in, in we, uh, And now I don't know if, it, if ingredients have changed and new companies took I think over. they're in a caravan or some shit. Has anybody <laughs> seen House and Garden? <laughs> We're looking for House and Garden. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He made yeah. this product yeah. and it was yeah. really good. Listen, yeah, apparently, I've last seen in a caravan. If you see their new place, their new place is alright. Their new place is on point. Have you seen it? Is it on wheels though? This is what we want. No, it's fully automated. Everything's on board. Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have nice a red? Mm. <laughs> no, I don't think so, no. Mm -mm. No. Do they care about England? No, no. <laughs> Are the little pennies they're going to make from England anything compared to one state? No, exactly. Not, no. So why would you bother? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are you saying? What, 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 what are you saying from the ones that we've mentioned? What, 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 what are you liking? Uh, Hold on. Oh. Hold. Ooh. <laughs> Let's think about what connection. <laughs> well, well, yes. I'll be well. working with. <laughs> Hold on, no, no, scrap that. <laughs> ah, have Go on, go, Jay. Okay. <laughs> well, personally, I've used Gold Label. I've yeah. always had good gold. success. Go oh. Oh. Go. oh, come on, stop. Cut, <laughs> oh, yeah. yes. 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 no, cut. No, no, no. no. I've actually, I've actually used no, it. No, no. <laughs> A lot of Dutch Pro. I've used Canna, I've used Harris and Garden, I've used a whole variety, but I think you can have you know the best nutrients in the world, but if you've got no skill as a grower and your environment's crap. You've done well, yeah. You've been listening to our podcast, haven't you? <laughs> and you've been man. listening to our podcast. That's That's slippery so so <laughs> that wasn't the yeah. question, no, was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> anyway, next question. So, Dutch Pro, out of the ones that we mentioned, oh, yeah, sorry. what would sorry, you, sorry. who do you give a little shout out to as being a, a good competitor? Good competitor? Who do you rate as a nutrient that were from what, who we've mentioned? Or anybody yeah, else? Like, like, I don't know exactly in England what's going on. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from Holland, of course. Yeah. You know that. What, 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 what do you rate? Can, what do you rate? The, the, he's like, there's no I way you're videoing me. Yeah. 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 I said, you got it. You got it. Let's get this shit right, man. That was nice. Before we talk It's clever. You're getting sharper and sharper. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? What's going on? No, no, no. 
trust <laughs> also something of that. Just think of your job, son, yeah? J O B. Like, you know, the Dutch Pro's only really been around for about five years in the UK, anyway. Yeah, okay. So, um,. And uh, some longer, but come on then, so what's your yeah, answer? Yeah, yeah. Some so longer, so carry on. Yeah, up till they came, oh, house don't and say garden. only. Okay. Don't yeah, say house and garden. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Good food. Obviously, I started off on Canna. Okay. <laughs> like most folks. Back to, back to his point, though, doesn't it? Back to <laughs> his point, right, mate. mate. it's there, do you know what I mean? It, it, yeah, it here, here's a fair question. It's Who in the room hasn't used Canna? So there we go. Who in the room you wasn't happy with it? It, well, you know what? It's not that he, I'm not happy with it. It's the it fact that you know what? Don't <laughs> rock now. You know what? Let's have that question. I like that question. Who in the room wasn't happy with it though? Really, really down to that. I know we've fell yeah. out of love, yeah, and we've had both. Yeah, me right. personally, though, to be honest you with you, right. like you said, what was your your maker brand <laughs> that brought you up? Ferro. Kind of brought me up, bro. So. I mean, I'll, not you know, I've got. I can't knock, knock it, lad. As I can't knock carrots of food, not one bit ever. As a company, yeah. As yeah. Food, no. yeah. For the shops. Just my opinion. For the yeah, shops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For I mean, the customers, it's a buyer's market, isn't it? Bike, but they don't even give me the bike, to be fair. Yeah. I, I use, I sell Canna yeah. because of Gaz at Highland. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing yeah. yeah. Not for Jay, not Rudely, not for Gaz, I sell it for. Yeah. If it weren't for Gaz, that I would have probably not be selling it. Yeah, <laughs> So there's a, there's a big steady, shout out to my pal and Jay's pal and. Everyone's pal. Everybody's fucking pal. He is top on the service. Gotta for highlights. Yes, guys. Yes, King of the G's. Yes. Yeah, man. So we kind of need to stay on top of that relationship because like, you've just heard there's a major bond there. That bond was ever messed with in any way. Big shout out to highlight because at the end of the day, no, I, I, we wouldn't be sitting here where we were if we were for the love of my horses. That's one of the questions. Okay, you fucking. <laughs> this is look. Go on, next get, question. We've got all next. the time in the world today. Go on. Okay. Mute still on the subject of uh, nutrients, the best additives, the single oh. best product. If you, now it sounds like a stupid question, but could you, if you could only sell one product for a whole day, what would it be? Because and you want because you want to give the best. What additive? Product. What additive? Yeah. By best, do you mean you only had an A and B, and what's yeah. going to make the best difference? What's what's going to yeah exactly what's going to make the best difference, and what are you going to oh. be happiest giving to your customer as one product? As an yeah. additive. As an additive, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, you use my answers, Can aren't we not you? Be honest, both of us now have the same answers, so there's no point in. Yeah, you no, because okay. we have to hear your opinion, it, it, though. You, you did have a different one, one as well, though. I know what you're going to say. Would be any sort of 95% of PKs. Yeah. PK, but one idea if I love, I'm just going to give away for free to the next person that comes in. He's rude to the right. Yeah. Is that what we're doing then? Yeah. Okay. So right, Slim also place. wants to know what product we've got in the shop because he wants to give away a product to a, a customer as well. Yeah, man. Yeah. So um, we'll check for it. I'll pull something up. Yeah, we'll have a So match. next one for all you live people. Uh, what's this? The litre of House and Garden Roots Accelerator. You just ate just talking about it. Potent product. First, next person's the shop. That's yours. And not the same person. No, not the same person. Listen, listen you've got to ask for it. You can't it be a mates. Liverpool accent. <laughs> okay, so okay. Even if you're from Liverpool, <laughs> you need to use a fake accent <laughs> when you come to the door. Yeah. All right? So we're not prejudiced. We're not mine. <laughs> Just the accent's got to be different for the next I one. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So you're either best get your drama skills on or you're the best <laughs> not be from Liverpool. Yeah. I like that. Good stuff. Okay, so listen, I made that. I shouldn't cut me out. I made that a little bit. I needed to go in depth with that question because obviously using A and B, everyone's going to say, aren't they? Would you use a PK? So let's put aside, okay, so you've got an A and B and you've got your PK, yeah? Because everyone's just going to say PK, that's standard. I should have done gone in depth on that one. That's on top of the say, PK, yeah, yeah, yeah. on top of the PK, you've got your A, B, PK. You don't need anything else to grow with, do you? <laughs> let's have it straight. You don't need anything yeah. else. Uh, what would you put on top? Nah, house and garden. House and garden, garden music right. cell Okay. Oh, yeah. Sick I could for myself. Great <laughs> <laughs> product. 30 mil, 100 litres. Concentrated. Far, small little bag. Yeah. Not walking around with no 10 litre. Take root or. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Stimulator they blended out a lot into <laughs> you saying it's not technically a root stimulator. That was a very yeah. weird, hard to work out name. That but how long did you take to figure that name out? <laughs> um, before my time, yeah, um, start. Yeah. Simple, listen, well, keep it simple, simple. and it tells you exactly what it's for. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, it does, <laughs> though, you know. Where'd you put it at the start? It's easy, fucking <laughs> start. <laughs> Slim, Simplicity, what you, that's right. Slim. No, funnily enough, is me made up, you know, the start name for Pharaoh. They used to call that something different. It's originally. Saturate. Saturate, yeah. yeah. And it was me who said to them, I was like, change it, make Saturate. it start. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then they change it and they change it to start. Nice. So nice. Just for us to Nice little history. That's a bit lesson. history. Oh, I, I like, like it. it. I like, I like it. The old name, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was on the wrong <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what, what are you saying, Slim? What best? What adds up? On top of a BPK. For ones that are available in the UK that people know, for me, I like Triple F from Hydrotops. Yeah, man. Yeah, for me, for like I say, from the 90s, mm. had a little break from them, but the, the Triple F is yeah, there's, there's something in it. <laughs> we, we, we've done side by sides. I've done NFT. You know, where you can see your water levels. You yeah. know, you know what you're drinking. And then yeah. when you go for that, you, you're seeing one tank empty and faster. You know, it's, it's one of those yeah. you can see working. Yeah. So, yeah, for me, that's nice. what I like. Yeah. I had the top triple F. If you haven't used it, by the way, uh, <laughs> you don't even have to remove any product, so it's not even a competitor product. You just throw it on top. It's a bacteria. It's going to enhance uptake of who knows what, but whatever it enhances, it fucking does a good job. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. So make sure you get into your shops and, and make sure you're getting on the triple F. Phenomenal product. What we say in tea? Well, first of all, I don't bother with the PK because I just use Dutch Pro Explode, so I don't need to use PK. Mm. So that's what I use, and that's what I'm picking. You're it's picking the Explode? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You just can't be arsed with the PK because it, 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 just, it just saves the extra ball, like, do you know what I mean? It's done it, it, in one ounce, it, 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 in one ounce, it, 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 all together, do you know what I mean? It makes it easy. For people, what it's simple. The dilution rate's yeah, fucking nice, and the product at the ends, very good. When you say it's Cla all in there together, what you, you know the house and got, 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 got. We can't can't say exactly what's in there. But it's all in there. Yeah, everything, everything that you need for success. Uh, really? uh, everything I need for success. Yeah. What? The only thing you need uh, after what no, you have you been and you put the Any, Xbox. Yeah. It's the only thing anything you need else. For sure. like, like I'm not sure. Like Everybody now. gonna say it about their company. A plant can only right. absorb a certain but it is really amount of nutrients. True. Hey, I'm honest now. It's really true. So as long and we as we see it in, in the UK, you know, mm. what's happened with the Xbox is not on the. Yeah, if, if, if it doesn't work, we actually hey, know it's not a success like this, you know. So if, if it doesn't work, yeah, we actually yeah. have the full yeah. uh, print out, so I'll let you have a look at it later. Do you on all yeah. of them, on every single one of them? Then your PGRs in there. I'm not saying not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, listen yeah. to a man like me. It's not it yeah. like all separate bottles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, with Dutch, bro. Uh, with a no, few no, bottles. no, listen, listen. No, no, no. We've done the yarn. No, go on, go on. Let's have it. Go on, go on. Straight up, yeah. yeah. If someone doesn't want to have a product with PGRs in, yeah, yeah. should we not help them and at least well, explain to them yeah, that yeah, the well, product? Yeah, what do you want to know, bro? Yeah, I do. So everyone's fucked then, because if that's the case, every yeah. single product's got PGRs in it. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Every product, bro. It, 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 it depends, everyone. though. Sorry, yeah, it depends. Sorry, sorry, depends. Sorry, sorry, depends. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Yeah. So, so oh, the, the products are so, 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 the certain ones, yeah, that, that we know. Baddies, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's these now, I guess, yeah, because yeah, there's certain PGRs, you're right, I'm, yeah, I haven't got yeah. one. Actually, we can also uh, take it out, then we have separate bottles, and then we uh, have a uh, market to, to have I'll, more bottles on your shelves. I'll leave them up. But with a few bottles... The total's yeah. got B vitamins in there, so we don't separate the B, v, the B vitamins. That's, that's all contained in your multi-total. Yeah, is uh, yeah with the full bottle you run those again, put side by side against any root stimulator out there. I mean, I, I, I praise that product myself, mm. Root Excel. But you put tape root against that, and it, it, it's nigh on neck and neck. It's, it's, there's no We're going to see. I used no Dutch Pro. Pro. Uh, Pro before. I used no full range Dutch Pro. You see it with your own eyes? No, 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 no. I'll tell you the test that we're doing. Hey, the test uh, is uh, very simple. You see it in five days. If you put the, here you put the, rex, the root accelerator, and here you put the I'll tell you the test the that we're doing, and you can, you can tell me. In uh, five days, you have results. Listen, we've got a university doing the test. 13 extreme propagators. 
Uh, one with water and there's the control for whatever water would do. And then 12 root stims, root accelerator, take root, risotonic, all the major brands are on there. Yeah. We're doing rosemary cuttings in the in the extreme propagators and, she, and it's a PhD student doing it. She's gonna do statistical analysis on grid and just show pictures which root stimulator from a cutting or a clone, which gives the best roots. Now Canna and Peter Clausen have already come out and gone, listen, I'll tell you, risotonic's gonna come around the middle because it's not meant for that. It's not meant for that. It's meant for a plant that's got established roots on. So it's good test and you're doing it fine, but we're gonna come around middle. So, and he was happy with it because we're not saying this is the best root stimulator. Yeah. What we're saying is this is the best if you're in a, a hydroponic a propagator using a root stimulator and from clones or cotton. So we'll see how, how yeah. you'll fit. This one is also more concentrated as the example of a risotonic, four times more concentrated. Mm -hmm. the the tape root and mm -hmm. you can give it with your drip system that they don't block your uh, your clean. system yeah. you know yeah. 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 that is yeah. also you don't have residue with the dust bro you know all that hey, we don't have residue in the cans it's yeah. completely clean yeah yeah everything is that somebody at all possibly and Jordy's probably saving some people as yeah. well. For the roots. He'll, yeah, he'll, he'll, know. he'll know. I'll be back in a minute. What are we talking about? PGRs. Remind me to come back to PGRs just before. No, I'll go because it's a customer. Go. Remind us to talk about PGRs. <laughs> right, so there's the gone. Uh, that's the end of the podcast because I can't remember the questions. <laughs> what was the rest of the questions? What number we have? I've got them. I've got them. Additive. Additives. We're on 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 additives. Do you know? This year? Uh, no, Old school one, Super Thrive. Yeah. Super Thrive. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Super yeah, yeah. Thrive's been around since since the start of day. And you know and what? It, yeah. it, it always a, get. It, it can't be the shop. It's amazing stuff. It's amazing stuff. Yeah. yeah. Really. Yeah. 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 It is. It's an amazing it's product. Tackle. That and I on it. I have been the man. Got to John saying they changed the label. It was all it was about, wasn't it? Really. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, did the yeah. Change the label in memory of him about a year ago. Now they has got him on the bottle. Where is that? Is that an uh, American based American company? American yeah, it is, American isn't it? It comes in a pint and ounce. Yeah, that's the, the only yeah, thing that pisses yeah, me off right, about yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, man, the bottle's easy to read. Now, years ago, I used to try and work out what I put in it. It yeah. used to be a teaspoon. And the fucking teaspoon writing's dead yeah. small as well. You're like, well, that, that. As per usual, if you ring us and ask for a, a litre or two litres or five litres or whatever, we'll convey it for you if you're buying Super Thrive. Don't worry. Just I'll tell the boys. There's, there's good old highlighted name. Tell the boys you want to say it today. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. So what was the next question for this? Right, this is a cracker. Best digital light and best DE that was double it. ending fixture. Ooh, who wants to go first? Jay? First, yeah, no good. Uh, best digital light. Choice of two would either be. It would have to be sack from Maxi Bright. Just because. Pro Select maybe a lot yeah. of the other digi ballast on the market are oh, shit. Yeah. End of story. Don't push what they're meant to push. Break. I'll tell you what. I just had a load of drafters. We've yeah. actually a good oh, yeah. I've had for ages about. We get loads of Sun Master hobbies back lately. I've sold them for about mm. three years. But no they the green ones are the green ones. Yeah, man. No grief ever, ever, ever. You keep getting them back for the last month or so. About two weeks ago, Slim Rings. He's like, I said, I'll ring you back in 10 minutes. He's like, quick one thing for you. And he was like, have you had any grief with Sun Master Ballis lately? And I was like, oh my God, you just rung me and said that. Yeah. I was like, back. They've had loads back. So yeah. I just dropped them out. <sighs> a lot of the other ballis are all just cheap out of one Chinese factory with the same name on the top of them, different firms. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. Ones. We see that quite often. Best quality of ballis would be either, I'll tell you what, I can't not adjust the watts uh, FDP mm. to give a five year warranty. Someone who's willing to give a five year warranty. Yeah, that's nice. The product's got to be half decent. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, digital baddest. That's their digital, not their double ended, yeah? Not their double ended. No, no. Right. Um, Just digital it. normal ballast would either be yeah, Maxi Bright, Pro Selects, yeah. or Just a What. Best double ended fixture, what I think on the market, is probably a little smirk coming over from. Corner from Jake. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably a good young. Uh, you do sell a few, don't you, Jay? We get for a few, few. not bundles, but I just love it. It's, it's always you. 
A little bit annoyed with Jay, you know, or Gavita as a company. Come on, let's eat it then. Why is that? I'll push Gavita for five years since they got. I'll give you another vote, just for instance. I'll just tell you. <laughs> yeah. But let's just say a shop like Growell, yeah? So for the last four years, Growell slagged them off. They're shit, they're shit. You want to buy Dim Lux? You want to buy Dim Lux? Yeah. You want to buy Dim Lux? They've obviously had some bit of grief with Dim Lux. Jay's gone over there and said, I'll give you a bigger discount than anyone else in the whole of England. Yeah, and then, so they get right. cheaper than me now, after I pushed them for five years. London, pretty much. Every Gavita in London, Slim. Would you say that I fucking help fucking push along the way? Gavita, help them get up there with their sales. And um, so we, we do London, yeah. mega South appreciate side, your help. Side, no, mega South, appreciate South, Slim's South, help. Definitely, man. And would you say that we get out of all the shops in the country? How do we get by selling them? You're, you're right up there. We're right, right up, up there. there. And we we really can't thank you enough. And Slim. But oh no, you, you can. can. You can give. Yeah, yeah, no, you can't. No. Is it, is it, this is an easy one. <laughs> no, oh, this is easy. Yeah. Just take them to Silverstone. No, no, we thank them now. We're only up the road, so we can buy together. No problem, innit, Jay? We'll just buy together. Mega no problem. Yeah, we'll buy together. How about we get Gavita to buy together? No problem. Yeah, we'll just buy together. No problem. How about we get? How about the same? How much cheaper grow well get them than us? We get them grow well in the next order. So oh yes. Well, that's that's just nice. they get five percent discount on us, so we get five percent less than them. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd yeah. be nice. Slim, we're yeah, a little older, are they? Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. You happy with that? That's South West covered. Shard. That's nice. And whatever they have, haven't I want a piece of that shit too. How many years, bro? How many, how many years? people? How many years, years loyalty? Five years loyalty to be. I'm yeah. Paid yeah. Yeah. Mm. And do you know what? Uh, I will say it's the best double-ended line on the market. Mm. Cheers, thanks, yeah. appreciate it. So to up. cap it off, basically you what we're saying... You would like your shit on a discount. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to cap it off, the product's sick and we just want some more love. We want some more profit out of it. Yeah. yeah. And then we can also yeah. delegate that to our customers as well, you know. We get we get some... I sell better. them to my customers and I nick Nick no dough for them. Yeah. There's no profit in them for us, but yeah. it's the best light, so I'm just honest with the customers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's yeah. the best light of that kind of <laughs> Sweet <job. laughs> Cool. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, man. That's it. Thank you. Slim? Um, there's a couple I like. I've, bas I've, I've run them side by side. Mm. And yield wise, same genetics. Same team. Same mm. yield. No difference. Plants look the same. That was Gavitas and Dimlux. Mm. Everything to me was, yeah, exactly the same. Didn't make no difference. Um, so I think Do you think that's because most people are saying, well, ah, uh, see all these lights though, they're all just made in the same one factory in China? I don't know if they are, no, I don't think they are, because I've been to the Gavita factory. Okay. I've been yeah. there personally. Okay. And oh, have you? It, yeah. Oh, in, have in you? Holland, what yeah. can I have? Have you? No, I oh, haven't. Sorry. Have you? <laughs> no. Oh. Do you know what? Jay no! Ah! <laughs> 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 as long as Jay Rogers is, about a year and a half ago, come down and the shop, there's a few of us there. He's like, Do you know what, boys? There's, there's you and there's a shop in Liverpool. I'm going to take you lot all to the Vita for a week. Well, we've still got to sort it. Did you say yeah. that? I did, Jay? I did. About a year and a half. But we still haven't sorted it. So we got ditched and Slim got took. And where was this? Where no, is this no, factory? No, no, no. You, you went before I, mean, I went to Gavita. I went before he was with Gavita. Before, before oh, he, he was yeah. like there yeah. in. Long time. Yeah, many, many saved years. you did, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. Do you get the same discount? So where is the factory? Is nah. Like, nah, 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 nah. I don't get sweet F A. Slim just picks up direct. I don't get it, nah. Takes his back. Not so really. where's this factory? Are we going to this factory? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because we need to yeah. do some bonding, don't we? We're yeah. feeling emotionally <laughs> hurt at the moment. Aren't emotionally we? neglected. Where, need, where is it? Alsmere, near Amsterdam. Oh, okay. Never ever flown first class, neither. Neither have I. Neither have I. Purple planes, they're really hot. <laughs> Fly B. Right. Pure luxury. So, well, yeah, under fifty quid. That'd be good. Oh, it's it's like Jay J goes flies around the country and. So I hope is Jay is he? I hope he's tuned in. He's going to watch this episode. So here we go. All of us, first class to the Gavita warehouse. Yeah. Pitch from one good. of his four jets now. How and then, uh, then I'll the show you how to jets. drive that car of yours as well, lad. I'll fucking donut it for Instagram for you. Which one? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> the same time. Yeah. One handed. What about normal ballast, Slim? Mm. Normal digital ballast, not double ender. The Maserati. 
Yeah, I wasn't that. I, I, I haven't finished well, actually, sorry. Why are we still on so double enders? Sorry. P1. So, yeah, on the double enders, I'll tell you the dick six things I do like. Is yeah. the camera with the Max dim lights. Limited. Spider? Nice. For the vapor pressure deficit. Don't do it. No. And that's that's the one thing they have on top. Well, I do like the camera for the vapor pressure. The infrared deficit. camera? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> you, like you know, it. We're, what is that? Yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to do a, new, uh, a lighting science based skeptic part two. And I know that I quite love the science of infrared cameras and look at the canopy and make sure that the canopy temperature is a couple of degrees lower than whatever. How much? How much is is that really? I know what Thomas would say because I'm gonna I'm gonna like nutshell that whole conversation. But is it is an infrared camera really needed if you've sorted your extraction out and your temperature and you've got your air circulation moving, you've got whatever whatever your environment's spot on. Infrared cameras is it just like? For the, the techie guys like me that love science. But is your environment ever spot on? We live in England, don't we? Mm, yeah. Your environment's yeah, never spot on. You're moving every month. Mm, we're yeah, moving. Yeah, we're yeah. following. That's yeah. growers. Yeah. If you want to follow a book and you want to say, yeah, that's the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> what numbers do I keep it? What temperature do I have? What yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah, you yeah, need to yeah. move. You need to change. Or, or the calendar grower. Of course we do. Yeah, yeah. The ones that we rip every week. You learn with that experience, don't you? Know, what you're going to need of course. for different times of year and what you can get away with. Definitely so, but them looks is yours for the the standard ballast. Are you still on the double ended? You're into the infrareds, aren't you? Uh, no, yeah, I, I just moved it on. I was yeah, saying yeah. together, I, I, I see them performance about equal. Yeah. Um, as a tweak though, on the controller, the infrared camera is the extra. Just just give it that little bit Pass of a little bit mini I'm cookies sure there, bro. Got coming, the munchies there. <laughs> 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 Wow. Du double ended, double ended the uh, lights yeah. and, and no, oh no, you didn't talk right. about uh, <laughs> just a basic <laughs> digital ballast. What you uh, basic yeah. digital pound for pound, the best one has always been the Sun Master hobby. Mm. Pound for pound, yeah, not yeah. the best, but yeah. pound for pound has yeah. been the best lately. Whatever Sun Master's done, they're not telling us, they're keeping it secret, and they've changed something in the ballast, yeah. They obviously think we're mugs, we're guinea pigs, we know we're guinea pigs, yeah. we've all been around to guinea pigs later on, yeah, but they think we don't know, they've changed it. Now if we use something for that many years, and then suddenly your return rate is 70%, yeah, something's happened, hasn't it? Someone right. wants to make a little bit more profit. So I'm saying, please, could you come out and tell us mm -hmm. what's happened? Because we just assume, don't we? You put lower grade <laughs> the shit in there because you want your company to make more profits. They Mike, that's not what has happened. I'm just saying that's what we assume. So uh, I, I'm definitely assuming that at the moment. Yeah. Because you're, no one's come out and said anything. Yeah, exactly. So let's so, let's have a PR so help me out, release. Help me out, Yesterday please. there was a new batch I was interested in. But no, do you no, really think no, that the company no, wants no. to go, right, Let's announce now that, you know, them parts that we was getting for uh, a pound, uh, well, we're now getting them for a penny. All right, well, that's going to be good for the other wholesalers, that's all I can say. You know what I mean? <laughs> or whatever, or, do you know what I mean? The product's now shitted. They don't want to tell you that shit. But if you're someone that's who supports their product and yeah, you push nah, their product, I know. I yeah, hope, they I need hope. to help you because I'm not saying I don't want to use your product. Yeah. I'm saying, tell me what's happened, fix it, please. Just let all the people know we've had a problem because all I've been doing is just taking them in and swapping them. Do you reckon it could be anything to do with the Brexit? Because since it's Brexit, of course it is. Yeah. Of course it is. They wanted to keep the, the price. Things the are out of, out of stock all the time. I'm starting to see things continuously out of stock. They didn't want to raise the price. Listen. That's what I'm assuming. That's a good point. I'm starting to get worried listen. about it, to be honest with you. <laughs> the English is just getting bigger, that's why they're out. Yeah, Pass another right. pack of them cookies, then, bro. <laughs> See, it it's very well. as well. <laughs> it's not great. All right, it's snack time. Let's open up your packets so you're not pissing all the people watching up. Let's get your packets open. Let's get fucking food. <laughs> that, that one there's mine. Um, okay, okay. <laughs> no one come for the, for the accelerator yet? No, still, no one's eating the root accelerator. Everyone's like, ah, I can buy one of them next week. That's about 60 quid. How much is the root accelerator? 60 quid or something? 65 quid. 65 quid. In London, it's hard to be turned down. 65. So come on. Where was Is everyone's packets open? Is all that crinkling done before we know you? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's just a show. It's the yeah. Andy Kay show. What, what are we going to eat the packets? <laughs> oh. oh. no. no. HID Andy. You've got good some good afternoon. information and it covers you, you speaking, which some people might enjoy actually. So, 
Yeah, to be fair for all the lad, uh, listeners down London, it would help if we could hear as clear as possible. Ah, he's off now. He's, uh, he's at it again already. What was that? <laughs> subtitles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make his way. Subtitles. That's next week's project. Yeah, we're having subtitles. subtitles when it comes to being subtitles. <laughs> um, mine's is simple. Um, digital kit is Maxi's Pro Select. And double ended is Gavita. Thank you. Simple. I'd, I'd say mine's obviously the Maxi by Pro Select. In my opinion, best digital ballast on the market. Retain rate is fucking in the zero point percentages. That's the main thing with me, this, this retain rate shit. I'm not asked about a company who. I haven't got time for these companies who go, oh yeah, I'll just change it when it's broke. I don't want to hear that. That doesn't mean shit to me. I don't want a product that's going to break. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and some companies think that, oh yeah. We'll just keep them sweet. We'll just keep replacing them and replacing them. Nah, that's no good. When I'm not. I impose out of a box and walk through the door with a bag on my. Like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like when he's walking out with a bag. <laughs> when he walks in, it's bollocks, isn't it? You want to sell shit that those does not break. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. For them and for us, when some poor cunt has got to take a bag off the seat, it. Sure thing yeah, breaks. Like, I mean, was a fucking tea table. And yeah, stuff. yeah. I just don't need the groups, that's why you need to use good fans. Invest in your fans. Invest in your fans. When you say it again, invest in your fans. Invest in your fans. Because you need to. So, Maxi by Pro Select for the digital ballast. And to be honest, I'm going to half shit out here a little bit because I couldn't pick one. I'd say industry standard is Gavita. And people, yeah. hey, people thought that we were sponsored by Gavita because we talked about double-ended. Rather than saying your double-ended light fixture, one thousand watt double-ended light fixture, would say <coughs> Gavita because it was an industry standard. Um, I'll, you know what? I've been testing the Solistec A1s, and you know what I like about them? You're changing the bulbs throughout your cycle, and you're being able to. For the light diet. For the light diet. Yeah, we talked about it with Solistec a few weeks ago. I could do it going on a diet, really. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the carrot sticks? The um, the solar stack's giving you great spectrum through on on your plant. Um, I'm, I'm going to give a shout out. I haven't used one yet, but I'm going to give a shout out to the Revolution Divas because the engineering that's got into them lights is going it's next level. And I know that because I know the I, I know of the person Greg who's made them. He builds like hydroelectric dams in his backyard for the fun of it. He builds airplanes just because he felt like it. So I imagine his double ended fixture is going to be pretty good as well. Um, yeah. 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 Um, one other question. I'm so pleased I wasn't in one of his aeroplanes if they were like the first batch of his lights. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Oh, yes. Sorry, not talking the truth. Sorry, yeah, man. Truth. Yeah, yeah, man. Bro, this uh, is this is what it's truth. about. Right. Talking. <laughs> so, so my one that I've got waiting for the rest of my order to come in, mm-hmm. I've already had to send it back. Yeah, man. And have it. I don't even know if it's come back to me. I'll have to ask the staff. And yeah. So it's gone. In or not. Uh, so I, if I can jump in and say that there was 20... So I've, I've spoken to Greg about it because obviously ours went back as well. But they weren't Yours re- went back? Yeah, but they weren't recalled. They didn't want us to use that word. They, they no. brought them in back in to change the drivers. Because what happened So is, whoa, 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 wait, wait, yeah. whoa, whoa. Let me wait. catch this up because you, wait, we got lights. We all got these lights me. and they were all fucked, was they? Yeah, but... Go on. I'm going to say it wasn't Revolution's fault. It was it was Maxi Bright's fault because Why? they wanted yeah. to get you the light. Everyone's on about this light. Yeah. They, you want to get in into the UK yeah. quick. And so what happened? What Greg, was all with Greg, the light? Greg, uh, get, get us 20 lights. Get us 20 lights. He's like, nah, it's not. My production facility's not mm. ready. I don't want to send you them because they're not fully ready. Nah, nah, send us the light. Send us the light. And it's going to piss them off. Like, but this is real shit. Um, and Greg was like, listen, I'm going to have to hand make you them because the production line isn't ready. Everything's not perfect. And like, mm-hmm. uh, listen, just send us them so we can put them in the shops and get them on display. And Greg was like, OK, Sorry. sweet, fair one. Um, so he's hand built 20, which he never wanted to so do. What, yeah, and, yes. and he sent 20 lights to Maxi Bright. And um, your one, it was it yours, has failed. It has hadn't, but it's like the one out of the 20 is not a good fucking number. What, what happened no, I didn't say one? my one had failed. I still they, sweet, they, they but we still had to send them back yeah. so that the, they've had this modification made to you. Okay. No, I didn't say mine had failed. Mm. I just said they called it back. Oh, okay, so one of them, one of them. So yours was I actually stopped. working, was he? Uh, I don't know. Oh, never took out a box. No, nah, I was hanging up. But I oh, know. Oh, <laughs> no, I honestly don't know if he was working. I was in the yep. shop. I was in the shop. Yeah, no, no, no. Let's be fair though, everyone has teething problems. Yeah, but they do. Mm. And I'll just give that shout out to Greg yeah. because he actually didn't want to send them to the UK I, just I, yet. I just returned three Gavitas the other day. Oh, <laughs> so, why was that? 
Teething problems. Teething well, problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you get old, that was fucking you, wisdom yeah. teeth. Fucking gums you fell out. When you sell out thousands a week, occasionally you get, you know, one. Yeah, but f- things do go wrong, you know, it's not the end of yeah. the world, but it's, 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 it's how, a, how often. And it fixed. Yeah. And do you, have you got the backup? The have you got the service? Yeah. Yeah, good service, I must say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, give you a um, new, new cheese spot on with me. Service. Yeah, give you yeah. proper with you. Mm. I've never had any issues with any of the Should give a big that. shout to Bill Tatley, self director. Bill? Bill? You know, you know, Bill. 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 Oh, it's Claire, isn't it? A Claire. Claire, yeah, she's she the she one. She look after it. you. Yeah, huh? She look after you. She's, she runs it, doesn't she? Bill. She was the owner. Yeah. <laughs> big shout out to Bill for us because Bill supports us. Can't do that a lot. Don't do that to me. We leave Slim Nate. Yeah, I'm on the yeah, big up Bill. Big up Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I actually started selling Gavitas because of Bill. Yeah. So, there's oh, another blimey. wholesaler, wholesaler manufacturer link that you need to keep cherish these links, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Cherish yeah. them links. I'll buy them because of Bill. Because of all Bill. All that hard work. Jay come along a year later trying to nick all the... Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. You sales robber, you. Oh. Promise, promise, me a, promise me a trip to Holland. <laughs> it's... It's going to be we're ten just, times we, better now. It's now it's first class. Diaries. Are you promising us a trip to Holland? Us three now. All I know is Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Himself is a that fucking official? Because yeah. he's taking. Jay, yeah, have you Holland. seen this shit? Yeah. Hey, on right. on your head. Right. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. putting. We're going to sit at Holland. Oh, all of us. Yeah, yeah all of us. Just all of us. Get the Liverpool diary <laughs> to the... Uh, all of us. It's <laughs> easy. We just phone up. <laughs> <laughs> to Liverpool diary, Sutton diary. Got to coordinate. Uh, that's with, with easy. The, Can we have this in writing? Yeah, I know we've got it on camera. Are they going to give us a phone? It's all of us. Certified. Yeah. Is that spending you know, money as well, Jay? Oh. Well, this man talking about double-ended. While, while we're Free talking about lights. Free just throw for life. <laughs> while we're talking we'll about lights. Listen to this. While we're talking about lights, I will say, though, that Gavita, whenever we ask them for something, whether it's for a university or whether it's for a lab or whether it's for marketing or whether it's for give customers some charity. Charity, that charity <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not even a thought, bro. Not even a thought. It's just yes every time. Do I have to go away and check with anyone? No. It's just done, so I'll, I'll give a shout out for that. Yeah. Is in it, I wish I had. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't be giving it away for free if it was. No, no you wouldn't get it for free. That's how we know. Whoever's on sale, I'd stay. Yeah. Normally the Premier Inns fall down by you there. What are we up to with the double ended? What's your digital like kit and double ended like kit? Uh, digital like kit. It's a tough one, there's that many out there at the minute and they're all trying to vie for price and all this kind of stuff. So I'm going to abstain on the, on the digital ballast one because I can't really come to a decision. In terms of double-ended ballast, um, I'm going to say the Solistec A1. Um, pretty much based on the same reason as yourself, Steve, that they're the only one who's embraced the light diet up to now. For me, plants need different types of light at different stages in their life. Do you all say that one? Yeah, we do, yeah. Yeah, we do. Um, <laughs> And you sell Gavita? We all recognise that. No, because we're not allowed to sell Gavita. Um, Why is that? I don't know, that's Jay. He's the man there, sat there. You know. um, I, I didn't think your spoon could grow any bigger, but it fucking has. Just like that. Uh, we, we, we don't love the bill, do you? We, we'd love to sell Gavita, great product. You know, Thank massively you. comparable to Solastech, but Solastech are the first to embrace the light diet, and I think it's innovative. And I, like I really, I, I'm, I really um, excited about Solastech and the light diet. I've seen diet, what the finishing board does, yeah. and it excites <laughs> me. You know, because it, it, given to the right person to use, somebody who knows the time of a plant's life that it's ready to to die, and and you know other things associated with that, extra resin, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it, it's exciting. So yeah, yeah Solastech for me, double ended, yeah. definitely. What about you, boys? What are you saying on the double-ended light kits? Oh, t- again, it's the voice of Dutch Pro today. Gavita, okay. that's what I've used for years, mate. Cheers, thanks to me. Yeah, yeah. Plasma for veg, and um, yeah, I'd say the Thousand Pro, mate. Love them. If you've got the room, obviously. Yeah. Otherwise, the six. Room. Do you know what? I'm very interested. Not sure Jay would like it to be. You say just for veg. Well, one one, one, one other question we should yeah, ask. Yeah, the the veg, like, hold on, hold on. One other fair question we should <laughs> ask is, what other thousand double enders have you used? None really, because <laughs> yeah. that, that I've used them so, for years, mate. To so, be fair, so yeah. And again, so I have you, a bit... Jay, how many different ones you yeah. used? Not one. So 
And why, why is so that saying, though? Yeah, it leads so on to another it, it, Why is, is that though? Well, again, yeah. I've yeah. never yeah. actually used yeah. that. Why'd you drive an Audi? Yeah, I've used a few different ones. I mean, yeah. I, pay, I pay good money for them. So I mean, I'm not saying anything. I, I like the pieces, yeah, that's what I'm no, saying. No, yeah, I, I yeah, picked yeah. them as, as my top one with dim locks. Yeah. Yeah, two of them joint. I, I think it's just, you know, one of them. You know, like I say, if it's not broke, don't fix mm. it. You know what I love, so, though, the most? But it's actually the next subject, isn't it? And I found um, thousands Magnetic. of pros. Oh yeah, magnetic. Your fruits develop. But before you move on, well, before you, you move on to the magnetic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, that no yeah, something that no one's mentioned. Yeah, it's good. Something that no one's mentioned is the ceramic metal alloys. Yet to try them. Slightly better. Mm. Oh, they yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're working off two yeah. one or something. Yeah, they're they're two two with the two these are these are these are the way they're working. Nice little set with the plasma. They're cool. Oh shit! Go for it, go for it. This is an insight. I'm gonna fall a bit real here. Yeah, 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 real. Go for it, <laughs> the camera weren't there then. I know this is. <laughs> the camera was gone, but the camera was lost. Lost in this double entry. Luckily, they stopped that. We're going to start going too far. It was lost in the 90th percent. And now on the double ended podcast. Mm. Yes. No, it's what no one's mentioned on digitals is the ceramic metal alloys. I think they're going to smash the music. That's what we were just, just talking yeah. about. I yeah, haven't yeah, yeah. used it. They look yeah, they're tough. I haven't they're myself, tough. but I'm, I'm excited about them. Mm. Temperature is they look so amazing. Cool. Mm. Yeah, they they, cool. they've, they've got the vertical um, hung one as well. Mm. Which one yeah. was that? I'll tell you what it is, you've got to beware with them because with, with the 315, really and truly, if, you're, if we're going to run Philips bulbs, yeah, yeah. truth is, we've got to run Philips drivers. Mm. Now, the majority you're going to see, they're not going to have the Philips drivers. There's another brand, I can't remember the name of it, but that's what the rest are going to have, really. So for me, if you're going to go with creme de la creme, run the Phillips with the Phillips. Yeah. If not, if you just want to bang them in, because I'm banging some of the cheaper ones, yeah. I'll tell you what, the cheaper ones are all right and they're giving results. I'll happily sell the cheaper ones. Mm. The turn rate's a little bit higher than I'd like just to start, but it's, like I say, teething problems. Teething problems? Watch, watch your creme de la creme. 315. 3.15. Um, probably slightly biased because of the length of time that, that, that we played with them, but dim lux. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you did not disagree with that. I yeah, haven't used one. What are you saying? EPAPs all day. EPAP, 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 I've got to be honest though, I've heard, I've heard similar stories about BPAPs, EPAP and the DPAP. Are they the same company? Yeah. 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 DPAPs are the I've heard, I've heard similar stories though, Jay, to be fair. Not on their own, In terms of returns, I've, I've definitely heard similar stories about the DPAP. In all honesty, I don't know, oh, because we haven't researched DPAPs, the product enough. I've sold DPAPs for a long time. Never had any bad ones. And lately, I've had a few. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. I, yeah, I, I go yeah. back to what Slim said earlier on. They've definitely changed something. Without Something's alcohol. changing. Oh, rate has gone. Changed components are changing. Yeah. Yeah. Components are getting Hortilux. cheaper. Mm. Hortilux used to have it, and Maxi Bright lost the contract. Mm. And only uh, Lights Interaction, DPAP, is it? They got the so They used to get the same unit of either Maxi or Dutch Garden, and each had a different stick on it. That was the only difference. Then Maxi obviously lost it. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? Which oh, we got a global air Collins in the house, look. What shades are they? Yeah, I've you seen know what I'm on about? Yeah, yeah, I have well, seen that shade. I, I was in I the shop, the they, 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 they'd run a test and held the light meter It's meant it. to be a lot better. You make the back, because the ballast attached to it, obviously there's no distance, so it's <coughs> the same as obviously Gavita. And it was running, I think, two and a half times sort of brighter on the meter. At what point, though? How far away though this is the question. Yeah, I'm not too sure, it's, but it, there's no industry standard yeah. in terms of testing lights in that well, fashion. So you, 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 you just need you, you, plants and you straight oh, away the tendency is to straight away with tendency with that kind of test is to say, okay, well our mm. competitor tested their lamp at one point five meters away, so we'll test ours at one meter away yeah. and publish them results. Nobody knows how far away it was tested. Straight away the results mm. look massively different. It's just all manipulation of numbers, I promise you. Wow, and how many points have same you with fans, it Same with fans, yeah. they do exactly yeah. the same all of that. Some people are going to be testing yeah. it hundreds and of thousands of points. Of Some have got movers yeah. that they don't. move along testing it like that. Yeah. You know, so uh, it's so many differentials in them type of tests, yeah. it's so difficult. Yeah. To and well, I suppose it doesn't really matter, the 315s, what shade they're in, the, 
but the, the best test is whack them in the same square anyway. meter. You whack yeah. them onto the same genetics. Yeah. 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 The same, yeah. But even two square growing. meters, even two square yeah, meters side by side are going to have differentials. That's the truth of it. If only there was a YouTube channel coming out that had a lab to do all this shit. I know. Hey, oh, but we've got one, haven't we? So we'll be able to tell you just soon, won't we, when we do this test? It'll all come to light, won't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And this, in time. The way this podcast is keeping it real and telling it <laughs> as it is, that lab's going to keep it the realest, I'm telling you. And we'll probably upset a few people because well, it's going to be legit testing. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. A few people, not. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We, it's, our, it's what we're known for. Upsetting people. No, 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 I mean, do we have to answer? No. These people want to know. Answer. Moving on, right? Phillips is the best mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Phillips. If they can't get Phillips, because the shop hasn't got it. Are you sure what your supply on Phillips is like? Do you know what? Jay? It's alright. And you see, what about single? Don't get me wrong. He has his ups and downs. What about single-ended downs, bulbs? But single-ended HPS. Are we about supply or just what is the best bulb? Can no? Can you get it? The si- Phillips. Yeah. Which one? Six-ended, single-ended HPS. Wrapped in bulbs. Master yeah. Power. Yeah, yeah, we've got them at the moment. Like, mm. yeah. After yeah. Phillips, then, if if the if the customer, Osram, Osram's mm. next now. Yeah, so there you go with Phillips and Osram. There's not going to be any arguments oh, there. Oh, Osram there? like Phillips components or something. <laughs> 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 same <laughs> factory, isn't it? All still in the it's same all factory. Same, it's all from the same place at the top, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I want to go. Um, just before, if anyone's got anything else to say about digital lights, but I just have to shoot out before I gave my best additive. I just want to get. Uh, I'm going to go back to we oh, mentioned really before well. and uh, just say about, just, <laughs> <laughs> just say flower based because it's the best one of the best products in the industry for the like Sam was saying pound for pound for the amount that it costs you the dilution rates and what it does to a plant it's it, in in my opinion it's the best product on on the uh, in the industry so that's my answer I just wanted to rewind and get that in there. Thanks for that, Thank Steve. You. You're welcome. <laughs> now let's get back to where we were. Anyway, you were all yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. well, thanks. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll that enough. Yeah, we're <laughs> shy. <laughs> Next question, I believe, isn't it? Next question. Now it's going to get heavy. We're going deep. <laughs> We're going deep. Look get the Vaseline face. out. <laughs> what nutrients won't you stock? Ooh. How many people Ooh. are listening? Won't you stock? It's up there. 38 at the moment. 39. 39. Watching. Nice. Right now. Watching right now. Live. Yeah. Watching live. Listen and what don't go to major. Listen. Where are you for your Roots XL? Hey. I love you, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> The camera just is biting today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to go in deep now. What nutrients won't I sell and why? Because the biggest one I probably won't sell Sugar. is the yellow bowl called Blue. Ooh. Yeah, 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 okay. Mm. Let's go deep. Why, yeah. why not? We actually stocked that product in our shop. But I know the reason. Yeah. And and I want yeah, yeah. two reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two reasons. Big um, big um, yeah. First reason would be, first I ever heard about Bloom was a exclusive product for Grow Well only. So for the first three, four years I was open, what Bloom was pretty much saying to people was I don't want all you little mugs, I yeah. just want Grow Well. Yeah. About four years later what it was is Grow Well made their own food, I think it's called Shogun, is it? Oh, yeah. It can't be, that's the name of a jeep. Yeah, no, that's a warrior. It's a Japanese, Japanese warrior. Japanese warrior. Oh, that's no. a warrior. I, oh, I Japanese thought that was a ninja. Warrior. Shogun. You took me out in your Shogun fucking off Shogun, Shogun, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Hey, no, there's a black box. Didn't it break down the Shogun? Like, no, no, yeah, it it's like, it, the engine's it fucked. It's yeah. dead. Did you fuck it off? Yeah, <laughs> it's fucked. Yeah, it went through the water and collapsed. So anyway, cut glass. That's because it's weak, that. Yeah, 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 dead weak. Cut a long story short, this man was pretty much like, I don't know, I've never met the Bloom person. Any of the products. So what happened was, is the man used to say, "I don't." I like the bloom person. I want. I don't know. I like him. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the new the the new he's a good no, fella. No, as, as a company, yeah, so yeah. number one is for four years they didn't want them, none of us from little mugs, yeah. And then what happened was, is Grow Well made their own food, and then suddenly he was driving around, and all them little mugs he didn't want. Do you want to start selling my bloom? Our oh, is exclusive to Grow Well. Oh, you want all us little mugs now to sell your bits. <laughs> so that's number one reason. Yeah. Number two reason, Slim, Ronnie. Oh, 
Oh, no, you're on a roll, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm loving just listening no, to you. No, no, I'm, the about, uh, <laughs> I'm with my feet up. Slim Ronnie, customer, last time you were over. Oh, no, oh, yeah. I, so this, anyway. this, this, this one, I'm actually there, yeah. I'm he actually there. This the is shop. the truth. Yeah, so I'm anyway, a man comes in, one of my customers, he's got mm. two half a pallet of bloom food. Yeah, and he's I'll tell you what, Jay, give me a 20 litre house and garden A and B cocoa. And you can have all that. I'm like, what are you, where the fuck did you get all this shit? He's like, I bought it straight off the man. I was like, what do you mean you bought it straight off the man? He's in Green Fingers when Green Fingers was open. Before Slim left me, it went shit. When it was good, when I was so, there. Uh, mm. for, so, so anyway, the man's in there, this, this man we know, he's like, he's on everything all the time. Give me, give me, give me. So he's in there, he's like, yeah, give me your card. So he's got his card off, he rang him up, he said, I'll buy more than green fingers, because the man's a big customer, I ain't gonna lie, yeah? He sold him two pallets of the gear straight. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, so he's selling yeah. direct customers number one. Yeah. And then he wants us a bunch of sausages to start fucking <laughs> selling it when he didn't want us. Yeah. So yeah. my product won't stop. Would be blue. Okay. Okay. <laughs> nice. Boom. 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 Blue. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what? How long ago was that? Well, I'll tell you. I've got one customer. He's one of our good friends. Jay. He coming every week. He's like, Jay, get that. He sells. He buys one product. I think he's called Ooze. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. I've done the whole lot of that job. Lot. I give to someone for like two hundred quid. Birmingham, some shop. I might have some bottles, by the way, if you want it. Booze, I'll take it. He too. comes in all the you time, yeah, and I'll say to him, he's like, Jay, get that booze shit. I'm like, go to Growell. No, I'll give you some. I'll give you some. I'll give you some. I will not have him on the shelf. Yeah. I'll give you some just under the counter or something for when they come in. Keep them, stop them sending them. I ain't selling that, I'm rather No, give it to him. No, give it to him. Save him. It's not worth it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's that passionate about this. <laughs> Slim. Um, You're going to say my one, bro? What, what's the question again? <laughs> what, yeah. Listen, I've only got one cigarette left. What's the question again? Well, no, I, well, to be honest, I'm thinking about we were going to have an half time, Blake. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. What's the question? Let me get what, what No, not yet. What, in what a nu- second. What nutrients? Oh, what? Because I've stock? only got none. Oh, well, well, no, cigarettes yeah. left. I need to oh, stop the at the cigarette shop stock, outside yeah. off yeah. camera. I need to dove got oh, a cigarette shop. The only one I won't stock is. Um, oh, he's going to say mine. The one they won't let me stock. They said I'm not allowed to stock it. I think they done that at me. Oh, well, who's Shogun? Shogun! Yeah. Why aren't you allowed to stock it? They said I've not got to take all of it or something. Oh. I didn't want all of it. <laughs> but you've got to take on the whole range. Some for some customer, yeah. Yeah, just a little yeah. bottle of this, a little bottle of that. Yeah. Like with me, I don't know why yeah. I can't. But right. you actually wanted it? I didn't want it, no. Oh. <laughs> One of Growell's customers who comes to me wanted it. <laughs> I did explain to him if they never bought aquaculture after aquaculture went down, they would never have this food. Yeah. Didn't you sell yeah. it Vitalink? No, because Vitalink's the same dude. And that's what I thought, yeah. Uh, aquaculture, yeah. <laughs> so it's Shogun. Huh? Shogun. You it's ain't like putting on the shelf. Remix, whatever. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you, you know, the, the problem is when it's directly owned by a certain company, mm. if they're mainly pushing that food, there's always going to be a bias. And also, I don't get that. That leads me onto, me ne- onto a little side note is, I don't get how shops will stock uh, a product that they own, or a shop will bring out a whole range of nutrients. <coughs> that, now, listen, shops have got a little thing of this, a little mm. thing of that, and they'll, they'll push their own little bits, that's fine. But to bring out a whole range, which is competitive against everyone else's A and B, and, and a booster product and a PK and this and that and a root stem. Like, how can people listen? How can people go to that shop and say, listen, I'm wanting to change my nutrients. What's the best nutrients? How can you expect to get real advice? How can you expect okay, to mate, get honesty? Real advice, they give what their boss tells them on an email. Yeah, <laughs> man. This week, you push this, you push this, yeah. you push this. Mm-hmm. I don't care what it is for me. Customers spend all their time, effort, money. They should get the best. If I make, Ten pound of one product and thirty pound of another product, <coughs> and the ten pound product's better for them. I sell them the ten pound one. Fuck the thirty quid, yeah. Them cunts are putting their time, effort, money. Fuck the money. Do you know what I mean? But it also it gives you your respect, bro, and that's why you, you're successful. Yeah. And your shop's good and the same just again. You know. On that food, yeah. It's a legendary food, yeah. You tell me a legend that was made in a year. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just trying to work a legend out. I thought a legend was like Ali or. I thought a legend was or, bullshit. Well, I thought legend. Will about. Smith is I, I am legend. Like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fully made out of the seat to make Kano I am legend. Is legend known really. as a legend in the industry. Yeah. Kano yeah. is the legend. Show legend. Legend. 
I've never known a legend to be made in a year. Or we look at the thesaurus and we bring out the legend. That's the one. That, that's one of my big words of the day, thesaurus. I don't know what it means. No, it's it's a, I think it's a type of dinosaur. Yeah, it's, it's a type of dinosaur. Oh, it was a years, millions of years ago, Fessosaurus. That's what it was. <laughs> Slim's legendary. That's some bullshit, Dan. <laughs> I knew dinosaurs in school and shit, and I never heard of that one, mate. Anyway, go on. Sorry, sorry. So, is, shift is, food, is, shift is, company food, you shite who you don't want in your shop, you proper shit. What do you say, sorry, Slim? Showdown what? Oh, yeah, man. Mitsubishi. Um, Mitsubishi. Yeah, now, nah, yeah. the one thing is, see, my Mitsubishi, yeah, was the real deal. Yeah, it's the real time saved. How long's Mitsubishi Shogun's been running for? Like, the man was a trooper. Unfortunately, like you said, the legend can't be built in 12 months. Unfortunately, Shogun, bang, he's a shit. I don't like it, I won't stock yet. Boom. Um, I'm not going to say anything more on that. I'm just going to ship it over to you. Jay? What Jay? What would you think was the shittiest food out there? Jay oh. from Gavita, this is everyone. <laughs> I think I'll pass on that. Yeah, I think you pass on I'm that one. Be, uh... Come on, we let Stephen in on that question. Whoa, oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. hold on. <laughs> Hold on, uh, I'm letting... Like, to answer Yeah, yeah but sense. I'm going to pick some people out because Box. some people aren't obviously uh, growers and use the, the feed and have got the basis to say that, you know what I mean? So, and I don't, in all fairness, I don't believe you, I've got the basis to say that. It's calling you a salesman. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So, go on, yeah. anyway, carry on. Go ahead, we'll give you an opinion then. Come on, let's have it, Jay, you're in the hot seat now. I'm just yeah. going to throw you the ball there, but you're yeah, right, innit? Yeah. Come on, what is your opinion on Shogun? Yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Woo! Woo! It's gone remarkably quiet, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you no. should have took that lifeline then when I've thrown it to you. No, I, I don't. Do you still work a little bit for Grow World? No. Inside? You're good yeah. friends, though. Um, business associates. Good friends. Colleagues. You have had a few chow downs together. I'm yeah, going we, we in done hard a, we now. Done so a bit, come on, we, we what, what's your version on Shogun? What do you think is a product? Um, I don't think it's a bad product. I think a lot, a lot with nutrients. I think it, you know, it, you see customers coming into shops. Do you believe being... legends can be built in twelve months? No. Excellent. No, okay. definitely not. It Brilliant. took forty years for Gavita to be built. No, that's a legend, like Canna. Yeah. And that's no Gavita is a legend. That's 100%. These, these guys are yeah, saying before. Yeah, right, yeah. What what like you I mean, use for was... a basis, and it always the answer is yeah. always Gavita. The thing that annoys me with lots of nutrient ranges is overcomplicated things. Too many this, bottles. This yeah. you know, customers <laughs> coming into <laughs> shops, like being given more and more and more bottles, but they're not the being over. told to sort out the environment. You know, the environment shit, but they're just like using these. Another bottle, another bottle, another bottle. Another I have Peter Klaus from the tape, the 10 steering wheels. Peter Klaus from Canna, I always nice. love that. The 10 steering wheels are growing. Yeah. But yeah, so, Stephen, what's your version? What nutrients won't I stock? Or wouldn't, you, what did you say? Shogun. Shogun. Obviously that's the same, but I'm trying to think of something different. Um, who's that company? That fucking couldn't answer me why they put PK in the product. Ooh, that's a shop down to South Field Marshall, Marshalls, Fields, Fields and Marshall. Field and Marshall. Field yeah. and Marshall. Got well, a box of machine that's never had in the shop. Oh, I want to have to bring these. You must know them. Only be, and, yes, bro. You got the play box. Yes. What are you saying? I'd say that, f for me personally, if uh, I wouldn't want to put that in the shop because when we went to London show, yeah, um, was it London? Was it? We think it was London. Yeah, yeah. And we walk around and we get grabbed in by these by these girls. I was like, "Where are you taking us?" <laughs> we took us to, to the stand. So we went to the stand and I'm like, I'm learning shit loads at this time. And I'm going, this "Isn't genuine question? What's the PK ratio on your uh, on your PK?" And he said something mad like. 19 or 17 rate, something crazy. And I was like, How can you put that ratio in? Because Canna was like, I haven't changed their ratio, it's been 13 14 since they dot. You've got Dutch Pro, I haven't changed their bottle. That's like I call it is the, the Great White because it's just been the same from day one. Uh, who else? Buddha's Trees 918. So you've got these ratios that seem to be either 13 14 anyway. and 918. <laughs> I'm allowed to go as long as I want. Oh, Podcast 100. Listen, I'll, listen, I'll kill you again. Go on. I'll, go. I'll do another one by myself. I'll be off for a week. <laughs> um, and they couldn't answer me why he put the PK at that ratio in. Um, so he went, let me get me, me mate 
brought his mate over and he couldn't answer me. I was like, can anyone answer why you put that ratio PK? I mean, what scientific benefits has it got? Oh, let me go and get it. We went, listen, you two, he's obviously, he came off and he read exactly the same as what his mate had just told me, literally word for word. I was like, not into that, you're reading off a sheet. Uh, you can't come here with grow shops coming and read off a sheet, you've got to be legit. Let me go and get my boss. I'm nah, like, you're done. I don't, I don't want to speak yeah. to salespeople. So for me, that's why I wouldn't stock that product, because he couldn't answer me simple question of why he put that ratio in. Because he didn't know. Because he didn't know. I wasn't being funny with them. I wasn't like, trying to interrogate them. I was just interested. How can you use that? What benefits has it? No answers. So that's that. Oh, thank nice. you. We're not up to we're not stock and each and sees to shops, isn't it? Yeah, fuck them off. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to go back? Do you want to He'll talk? He'll say, can I? He'll say Dutch Pro. Before we get off. He best say Dutch Pro, but he's definitely yeah, sacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's been sacked, he's dead, he won't make yeah. it out of the room. Like. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was actually just going to say rocks, just to be, like, real. Mm. Yeah. That's Why? not really a nutrient, though. Yeah, it's still a nutrient, isn't it? It's still... You wouldn't put it's it on your shelf. liquid that you put in your feed schedule, and I wouldn't put it on my shelf. Mm. Why not? That's that bad product, that. Just based on PGR yeah. content. Yeah. Yeah. Great product. Oh, Very Rocks. good product. Yeah, but yeah, because it's got a PGR in it. You only sell it to China. Man, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just I'm back on to that subject that we sort of half skipped over before you asked me a question uh, about PGRs, didn't you? So, the bad thing, well, not the bad thing, but... We ain't going to go into it too much. PGRs, oh yeah, PGRs are in every product. Some PGRs are bad. You've got um, tricantanol is pretty much <laughs> in every product because it's naturally derived and it, it does what it does. But there's some PGRs and people need to do the research and look into it. You've got... The one that comes to mind is the Minazide. Heavy, heavy PGR. I mean, makes the product do great it's things the worst. yeah it does like it's for ornamental plants because it makes them unbelievable um you shouldn't be putting it in products where you're going to eat the food or Fruit. consume the food nah yeah. nah you don't do you that you don't want to be drinking that then so no, no definitely not it's a minazide if you go and do your research is a cancer causing pgr and it's is been that, if could we just give one or two or three products that could have it here no because the only reason is and i'll keep it as real as the next person but the lab that's done the testing i would personally before i put my neck on the block go and double check that product yeah. triple check that product it comes back from three yeah, different no, labs so getting like the that. same pgr in it i'll put the name on the podcast i guarantee you from your heart bro three different independent labs and they all say it's got them in his eye didn't it i know i know them off i know them in my yeah, head now looking at medical foods now. Exactly. when we finish exactly. we'll show you our results we will yeah. because i'll be happy to put my neck on that block and go well say that but they're it's wrong not say that they're wrong, say that they're wrong. Bought, don't get oh, me wrong yeah, our university we use nottingham trent universities <sighs> The dog's bollocks, bro. Lad, it's like going into some fucking scene out of X-Man. <laughs> Put your eyeball in the thing and your thumbprints, fucking and, triple layers and, and, and shit. And, and, and if we're talking the truth, they've told you that some products that are in, on the shelves have got it in. Yeah, yeah. And we yeah, took it off yeah. the shelf. We've got the whole place. Yeah, yeah, so we've got the off the yeah. shelf. So I'm saying, you're aware now. So there's people in this room who are aware. Mm -hmm. You have things that are being sold mm -hmm. to people mm -hmm. that have been proven now to be mm -hmm. cause cancer. Yeah. And the rest of the country is going to carry on selling it. Yeah. yeah. I know. So I've got yeah, to do so that I mean, testing. Yeah. I've got to so do that testing. We've got to 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 do that I've heard this back. a few times, and I've yeah. got names as well, mm -hmm. and I've got two or three. Someone got two or three in them, not mm -hmm. just one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. yes. Yeah. Well, if they so happen to be the same names, then there's something to investigate straight away. Yeah. Well, there is. Speak there later is. on, and yeah. if they are the same, then. Well, tricantanol is in every, in pretty much every product. It's natural. So you got tricantanol and others, mm -hmm. and others, and others. You got gibberellic acids and all yeah, that sort of natural the, the, ones. The, 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 there's a few I'm not too worried about. Yeah, like I'm say. not worried about. The actual fact of is of it all is. If we if our information was correct, it, it might throw up, have no nutrients tomorrow. Good. Mm -hmm. At least people know the truth. Yeah. And I, what I will say is if people want to do a bit more research on it, because it's important, and I'm doing the test so that I can tell you also you stop using the product. Not everyone. Uh, so. I know, I know they won't, but the people that need to not use it they should hopefully be off it. Um, lost my train of thought. So <laughs> they're talking That's about... Good. So just, on a, just on a real quick side note, that should, give listeners, yeah. that should give listeners a heads up about what they put in their bodies in terms of food and other mm -hmm. products that they consume in various ways. <laughs> uh, the origin of the product is a real important thing to consider. Like when, when people yeah. are going to B&Q and buying a, um, 
a product that's an ornamental feed yeah. that's meant for a plant that's to be digested. Yeah. Miracle grow for your lawn and stuff. Mm. Would you recommend? What I can say, guys, is I smoke for 32 years now, every day, the whole day. And I smoke all for 32 years on the Dutch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. Hell, that's our Amsterdam hey, connection. No, I'm also yeah. no one yeah. saying it. And, and if I want, I run a marathon also. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, really. So, um, oh, hey, well, hey, no, you can't tell me that this is not good. <laughs> no, oh, what I'm saying is, I've heard the people going to be in Cuba. I smoke it myself, uh, yeah. Slim. So, uh, yeah. it has to be good then, or not. It's a real thing that you've got to be aware of. It's about options. Yeah. Start telling them the truth. Pretty good. Someone doesn't want to use it. Because it's got a certain. Uh, I, 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 agree I agree with you. I agree with you. Because I tell you what, most people, most won't okay. care. No, yeah. no. no they so don't, I'm saying no. just be Listen, truthful. Because yeah. most won't care. Yeah. My customers will. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to tell you about the rest of it. Chinese food's got PGI in it. Yeah. Listen, and and if just to finish up on that PGI subject, if you're interested and you want to do your research, look at the Apple industry in America because they were using Dimenazide and when he found out it was causing cancer uh, it's been removed it's banned in America on, on the use of edible fruits so that tells you something it's been banned in the US we also and mentioned that on a previous podcast as well yeah and it's a uh, and, and it's potentially in some I'll say potentially because I'm doing the test another two times in two different labs and if it comes out uh, they're done um, so I'm gonna I'll just leave it there all right yeah next question favorite wholesaler Mm. <laughs> we'll with Jay. You know what the flip side to that question is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey. oh. What's coming next? Oh. Come on, Jay, you start. Look, uh, my favourite wholesaler. It's going to be easy. You look at him, look at him sitting there over there, all, all, all very oh. great. It was easy, but there was a big, there was a close second place. So I've got to give them a shout. Well, number one is going to highlight. Okay. To Gaz, John Paul, mm-hmm. Jay, sitting over there. Hello. And Pete, Martin, all of the whole of them. I think they're all good, Jack. But number two, I do like Nuge Culture as well. Yeah. I like Gina, Claire, Vicky, Bill, Chris. They've always could stop level, both of them. But to be yeah. fair, highlight, I've got to give them one little step ahead as in deliveries as well. Like whatever I order off of, like I can order at five o'clock at night. Yeah, man. You know? It's there. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next one, I couldn't drive to Nottingham. And that's available to all shops in the UK, by the way. Yeah, that's available to all shops in the UK. If you want to highlight at four, four o'clock in the afternoon, nah, you they help me out sometimes day. on weekend deliveries, little bits. I used to have a problem with a company back in the day called Free Counties. They had about fucking twenty all wrapped around me. Me some grief on prices. They weren't a real shop though, were they? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they still? Are they still here? Bandits? Nah, they go. Dead. Oh, nah, they folded dead. like a dead. pack of cards. Why? Because sure. they're not so they're real. For fuck all. Yeah. So for fuck all. That they weren't like real. Well, they weren't real, and they're not here today. And they got rid of the only fellow who knew anything about that. A long time ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. People want to obviously get a little bit of fucking information. That's what happens, though, bro. When it these clowns, yeah, think they're gonna come and mug the streets, yeah. But let's have it right, Slim. Yeah. If he ain't ready, I had to. Big shout out to those losers, yeah, who thought you were going to win with Slim. You mm. fucking fought wrong, didn't you? You <laughs> fucking jokers. <laughs> now you're sitting on your unemployment couch thinking, <laughs> man, hey, man took the piss out of you boys, so eat that from the streets, you fucking jokers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anna knew it was coming as well. I was going to me tits off. <laughs> So I like highlights. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, Sweet. You slim? Yeah, right. <laughs> wholesalers, mate. Right, so wholesalers. This is your favourite dish, Slim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is your favourite dish, bro. Like nearly 20 years of them, do you know what yeah. I mean? It's like, oh. Yeah, it's nice to deal with some humans, yeah? Some guys, but you can ring them up. And you can actually talk to them. Yeah. They give you an answer. Yeah. If they can't help you, they pass you something, you get an answer. It's yeah. just simple, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, big up highlight. Um, <laughs> other companies as well. I'm not just copying Jay, but straight up Nutricultural as well. These two companies, like I say, highlight is, is, is more, more, um, street. 
Yeah, well, let's use that word. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. Highlight is Real. just more street. It's it's just you just ring. There's there's no. I don't even have a book when I make orders with them. I just ring. Go. You got any of them? You got any of them? Yeah. yeah. Like, hey, the book. Yeah. Them. Yeah. There's a book. <laughs> they, they, yeah, there is a book somewhere. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> I've been told there's a book in the office somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's horrible. It's, it's, well, my yeah. eyes ain't that good. So yeah, what's a like website it. for? <laughs> have you even got Facebook or shit? <laughs> no, no, none of us actually know how to operate Facebook. But <laughs> the good news is the, the highlight. website is actually coming, believe it or not. 2020? In, in, no, 29, I believe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's coming in the next couple of weeks, boys. So you'll be pleased to hear. Dot to is go. Dot to go. No, 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 no. No? We're dot co dot uk now. Yeah. I like the dot to Yeah, well, the problem was that, that when you get business cards printed and stuff oh, like that, yeah, you print them wrong because nobody's ever heard of dot to I, I, I don't buy off them like, because of their marketing or because of anything like that. It's Nobody only does. Really it's non existent to be yeah, fair. Exactly. Yeah. To, I didn't want to go into that, but yeah. Yeah. it's terrible <laughs> and your book's rubbish as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I buy often because they're humans. There, you ring up with them. You see, you talk to them. You know, if they can't do this, they'll do that. They'll do whatever. And yeah. it's just so nice to be able to talk to humans. And if they can't do it, they just say no. I can't do it. To them. Mm. It's so easy. I love them. And and Nutriculture, big up Claire, and Bill, and Vicky, and Gina. And Glyn. <laughs> Someone loves you, Glyn. <laughs> yeah. Glyn loves big up Glyn. Yeah. Yeah, me. Yeah, man. It's getting a bit of a repetition. Hyde Gardens, your number yeah. one, isn't it? Now, unfortunately, yeah. you've got oh, a go on, go on. big up highlight standard. Um, Dave, particularly oh, as well. Stuff. Dave, Gareth, thank you very much to, <laughs> to them. You know, um, without them, my cool. company wouldn't be where I am till to today. Standard, I'm telling you right now, boys, and that Saying that's from the heart. I really, I've got a passion for these guys because mm -hmm. they helped me, they supported me, they fucking. Put up with me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> On the phone. Put up with you. Put up with me. I want this. I want that. These have got this. Where's my fucking can of bike? Where's this? Where's that? And they're just like, he's on a fucking rant again here. Yeah. Jay, deal with that. I can't even understand what he's saying. So. Translator. And what, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And once again, you know, fucking hell. Orders at five o'clock and they're coming the next day, bro. You know. Yeah, you jail. Yeah. I trust the team a little elves, man. They yeah, man. The so sure a big shout out to the whole day, highlight team as well. Think Everyone next, is. Think next to the first people to bring this next day delivery shit. <laughs> yeah. And they know what they're doing as well. <laughs> so on. And then second, yeah. neutral check. Big shout Whoa. out to neutral check. Big shout out to Bill for all the support with all, with all of our crazy ventures that we do um, from it being ITV <coughs> with Thomas Michael Smith and the Chelsea Flower Show and uh, Southport Flower Show and any project that we get and involved Tatton Park and all the charities with the children <coughs> and all of that shit Bill's sick of seeing my mobile phone number he just looks at him and thinks oh my god here we go I'm again just gonna cost me <laughs> but it, yeah but a fair so dues to him he goes Give him what, just, just get him away. And just give him what he yeah, needs. So, a big shout out to you, Bill, and a big shout out to the whole Nutriculture team because the, uh, they're, they're all legends. Well. Listen, I'm going to try and my answers are exactly the same, spot one and two, because of exactly the yeah. same reasons as everyone give. I'll, I'll do another shout out for next day delivery at four o'clock when you need five pallets of shit. It's done. Not even a quibble. Yeah, man, it's done. And then you're just like, what? Every time. And it's not just one or two shops. I know you do that as you for know, everyone. And hold on as well, because we are friends and whatever. And like, everyone's going to be like, ah, he's sitting here, it's biased. I'm not asked. And they do get things wrong, bro. People get things wrong. Yeah, some shit on returns. Yeah, sh yeah you just shite on returns. Yeah, you just shite on returns. They got a ring and they forget. And yeah, forget but eventually they get it sorted. Dog. But, <laughs> however, <laughs> as a company and the way the, our relationship is, is second to none. And right bunch, right, huh? Nice one. Thank you very much, Highlight. Listen, I'm not going to lie, you know, we're not, good, we're not great at everything, but for my mind, I'd rather be good at what matters to get getting product into shops when you need it, on time and in, a, in the right way. Than dealing with returns. Mm. Mm. It's true. But get to them in the end. Oh, I, I, on that note, I'd just like to say um, some big news actually. Ooh. We are moving home. Um, we've been in our current location for a long, long time um, about 15 years, I believe. We currently occupy four buildings um, on the estate where we are, which is no good operationally. So we're moving to an aircraft hangar, uh, 50,000 square feet. 
absolutely massive place which will give us much more uh, capacity, much more buying power um, and hopefully we'll be able to pass on some um, some better, more exciting discounts, discounts on products to you in, in a yeah. coming 12 months. Loads of part of the space for the uh, private jets as well. Yeah. That's yeah. really there for, isn't it? We've been hoping to get them all next to each other at the front, but we can't quite like, get the last ones on the end. That's, so, what, that's yeah. where we get our plane from, so Holland. Yeah. yeah. First yeah. world problems. <laughs> link up, link up. <laughs> so, yeah, we're moving on, which will hopefully enable us to provide even better service. Um, whereby you can maybe um, order by EPOS and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah. But, yeah, big exciting news. We're moving, and that will bring good, better things for everybody. Big up highlight. Yeah, yeah. big up highlight. I, I want to give it just a slightly different answer like if I Why? had to pick a third no 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 oh, just third a third one. On, 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 third one go on I, I maxi bright brown uh, just because I have boss conversations with them on the phone and literally I'll, I'll get I'll have a director on the phone I'll have like one of the big boys Jim or Lawrence or whoever like running the company and he'll be like 45 minutes later talking science talking about lighting talking about research genuinely interested in what you're up to so my shout out to Maxi and I've got much love for Maxi was Jim or Lawrence ever bought you a pint? no no so but I want to talk science so Maxi <laughs> yeah, Maxi, 100%, I believe their products are better than other people's. I do believe that, and I do use them because of that. But they've backed the wrong horse a couple of times. Mm. They've done it with me, they've done it with Slim. Mm. Say, for instance, me, they used to, they used to have three counties and green fingers. They've backed them over me, give me, give them extra discount than me, make it hard for me, yeah, right? And then suddenly, I give fucking three counties that, and fucking green fingers both that obviously we've slipped going yeah, give man. it a big yeah, yeah, yeah. but well, so both of them got jobs up next thing Lawrence is down oh Jay what do you want oh now you want to know me a bit more do ya because the other two horses wrapped around me are both fucking miles behind then yeah. the saddles have fell off <laughs> and then quit and then Slim got his shop they weren't yeah. going to serve him were they mm. like, what tends to happen day. we've been there Slim so goes back to and I go back away. to him because mm. Obviously, it's hard because they are a good firm and they are off the street, so it does make you want to use them. To be fair, if it weren't for Lee for Century, Maxi would probably have all my work. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Mm. But I'm a little bit loyal to Lee because he puts yeah. a lot of time and effort in tunes. I reckon there's like a top tip for wholesalers in there, you know. Don't support the companies that, like, I'll just talk about our shop. We don't push products, and it annoys certain nutrient companies that would get in. I've got a top tip on for them because we don't push nutrients. Like you can't, we can't push nutrients, and people will come in and we just give them advice. There's no best nutrients. There's no worst nutrient. Really, they all work to a let to a degree. So this is what you need for your specific circumstances. We don't push anything. So you can be a bit slow in terms of how much yeah. product you're moving. If you go to the shop and just like, yeah, we'll push your product because it's got the most profit margin and I like you, so push, push, push. And you think, oh yeah, I'll jump onto them because they're pushing those. They ain't gonna last because it's the people that Lawrence keep it real. Lawrence knows more all day long. They know their products. They've got better products. They've got better stock than Sentry. Mm. But like I said, I will always use Sentry as well for Lee. I'll split it between the both of them, mm. pretty much. Tip in a nutshell. Go to the shops that keep it real because they're the ones that are going to be in 20 yeah, top years. Tip. Top All tip. right, what, what was yours? I'll leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that then? Okay, so favourite wholesalers. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going a bit deeper. Get the Vaseline out. Mm. Least favourite wholesaler. I think we should have our half-time break there. Yeah. Let's have a little look yeah. at oh, the comment. Let yeah. me just before half-time break, Mickey. One sec. Before, no. before half-time break. One sec, one sec. One sec. One sec. One sec. I just want to see if this because I'm going to lose all of these comments. Um, I just want to give shout outs, Eric, Adam, lots of people. Big tuning. shout out. Um, shout out for Mills pays the bills. Shout out for you from your shop and shout out to Dutch Bros. Um, all the comments seem to have just popped up and yeah, we've had too many comments. So Shout out to Josh, Dr. Greens. Go ahead, read them out there, Foxy, for us. George, we're about to put our first order in with highlights. Thanks to MPK Stevens referral and David the rep. Top fella. Hey. So there we go. Wise decision, lad. Well well done. Do you want to no, say the that. next two people down the shop as well walk away with a Dutch Pro starter pack? 
And we still haven't had anyone come in for the year. Uh, oh, yeah, we're still waiting for the Brute Tech. Mate, Nelson, get your horses down. Give me a seven, seven minutes. minutes. <laughs> Fucking southern, I reckon. All the comments. I mean, we must have had too many comments yeah. to keep in. So, yeah, listen, I'll go through your comments and I'll give you his individual shout outs. Yeah. Um, but there's just too many and we're having a good old chat. We're going to have so a five minute break. Pause, yeah. five, ten minute break. We're yeah. going to pause it um, and make sure you stay. Go and get yourself a cup of tea and a biscuit. We'll be back in ten. People are saying heads are rolling. Nah, they're about to roll. That's what yeah. they're about to happen. <laughs> when we left before the break, we finished on. Um, Favourite tall sailor. Yeah. So the lead up I to like that. that <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Nutri Culture won, did they? <laughs> Highlight, yeah, highlight. Highlight. The award, one. I think highlight. by a country it's mile. Culture, I think it was. Yeah. Pipped. Which? Pipped. I think whipped is more what happened. <laughs> oh, that why we had whipping yeah. excursion on? Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 So congratulations, the highlight. Congratulations, highlight. 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 Um, the, on the follow-on from that, we obviously have the waste least hole. favorite wholesaler. Ooh. That, have I been nice? Have I? <laughs> <laughs> least <laughs> favorite. Not waste. Least favorite. Um, so, without further ado. I bring to you. Oh, since we've been starting from the left, I think we'll carry on. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that flow throws Jay right in the hot seat from weird. My well, least like favourite wholesaler probably shock you. I've never even met him once in my life. Who? Oh, that mm -hmm. is waiting. <laughs> never met him once in my life. Yeah. What it was is one day I just uh, I got a partner at a shop, but uh, I pulled up and I don't really have a phone or anything like that. He was like, you read this email? I was like, no, and he says, if you've got a shop near Bermondsey, South London, Kingston, Surrey, <laughs> Erivel, do not bother applying for an account with us because we won't serve you. Okay. Not I three like, shops. I don't even want an account. I'm not even asked for an email. You just sent some email. So that firm there, I was like, well, never in my life would I ever, ever buy anything off of yeah. ever again. Yeah. And he's called... FHD. Oh, man, you just bought. Oh, I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> what, is that bad? No, no, no come on, crack on, real. At the end of the day, they wouldn't serve me if I was near any shop of Greenfingers. What I found out later about mm. Greenfingers, mm. they never actually pushed any of their products. What they've done is when they moved over turning up, they'd filled the shelves with them. Yeah. Yeah, just so they think they're pushing them. So they, uh. they pretty much said it. And <coughs> my shop is in between Kingston and Bermondsey. Yeah. Like, it seems so, fuck me, if anyone was close to it, it was me. But they sent that email to us and we didn't even ask for an account. So then I got my missus to ask for one in Sussex just for a laugh because we have got a shop in Crawley. <laughs> Not that I'd ever buy anything off yeah. of them, but never met the people before, so I couldn't tell you what their products are like because I've never tried one. Um, so for me, that would be my worst wholesaler because they just wanted a back room. Yeah, yeah, man. That yeah, must now liquidated, by the way, everyone. Oh, is he? He's gone now, yeah. Oh, okay, that's interesting. They used to have some fella proper smashing it down there. They fucking jogged him on and then they just went on. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah. And knocked a load of people along the way. How are you doing, Greenfinger? Greenfinger, you know, you heard of them? Sorry, I was on my phone then. I <laughs> was <laughs> 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 Yeah, look, that's what happens when you deal with dodgy people. <laughs> so they should have known when it started going uh, rocky what was going to happen. Okay, cute. Cool. Don't know who they are. Cute. Cool. <laughs> he, he, he a spot with Thomas. Yeah, yeah I'm right. going to wait till I'm going to have held that Slip. in now. Yeah. It's down to you, man. I just can't believe you picked shocked. that. Shocked. Yeah, shocked, but you know. Well, you would be, that's why yeah. I pulled it out. Yeah, man. Slim. Plenty of time, Thomas. Yeah. Um. I was recording. <laughs> just raw like that. Just, it, it, do you want me to go next or is just. Do you want to elaborate? Uh, uh, yeah, I'll elaborate, why not? So, how would you. We, st we, we started 94. Because at the end of the day, we're doing this show, you know, so so we all you people who who do get mentioned as a bad, you, it's, you need to take on the points that we're going to arise now and you need to take note and listen because that's what we're doing this for. It's, we're not just doing this just to slate everybody and go, rah, 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 rah. Obviously. <clears throat> You're gonna have your back up a bit, but take it as a, a positive from it and, and deal with some of the issues. So, Slim, give it to them, bro. Big up, Dan, anyway, because he Big up, Dan. Big up, Dan. Yeah, he it, does. He, he don't try with me, though. No he does try yes. with me. Yeah. He, he tries to look after me. and He's a good lad, Dan, yeah, very he's good, a good lad. lad. So, I mean, and th th there's, a, there's a few staff there as well that I rate, but listen, they started 96, yeah. G Finger is from 95. Yeah. When they started, how many customers do you think they've got in the industry? 
Not, not many. There's but, only 50 odd shops back then yeah. in the whole country, if that. Mm. You know, and, and that's what it did. And we spent millions with them over the years. And do you think now anyone fart on you? <laughs> if, if, if you want to order, there's 50 quid or something. You haven't got a credit line. It's just like, yeah, no, we can't send that out. Yeah. You know, you ring up, the computer always says no. I don't even want to ring to make a call. Yeah. I ring up and go, yeah, it's slim. And they're like, who, Flynn? Lynn, <laughs> every other name in the end I have to go I'm slim I'm not fat yeah I'm skinny yeah, I'm underweight my name is slim yeah and I'm thinking how can you ring someone for nearly 20 years and someone hasn't said yeah a guy called Slim might ring it's a funny name Slim but you know you remember it yeah it's, like, like, it's not so fucking hard we go back to highlights and as I said they were good all those years, I, I, by the way, I haven't used Highlight for years, I'm saying they're good. We'd use them now and then for bits and bobs and odds like that. When I went on my own and started using Highlight, within within weeks of using them, there was already a relationship with anyone who answered the phone. Yeah. Oh, Slim, how's it going, mate? Yeah, how's yeah. the shop doing? Yeah, oh, how's it doing? Good, yeah, oh, if you need anything, give us a shout. Straight away. Mm. People. Like, oh, okay, so you, you do understand that we're giving you money, we're yeah. spending you money. Yeah. Same way as the customers. Yeah. Pay for my wages, put food on my table. Yeah, man. Yeah. And mine as well. And and, and, and and that's what we do in, in, in terms of wholesalers. So I'm not saying I want them to come on their knees and go, oh, thank you, thank you. But it's nice to just feel like they know you're there. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know I'm there. If they probably went to the owners and went, oh, yeah, Slim's been moaning because he feels like you guys don't love him enough, yeah? <laughs> It'd just be like, Slim, who's Slim? Yeah. It's like, I was probably there before they directed. <laughs> so it's buying them before the directors were. It's like, come on, man. Come on. The computer says no. Yeah. The computer says no. <laughs> nice. Okay. So it's me. Big up, Dan. Big up, Dan. Big up, Dan. He's a good, good lad. Um, so it's me. You sneaky fucker. <laughs> These guys I've actually met and had a competition against. Uh, on. Hydra Mike. FHD. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? If I'm correct in thinking, let me just jog me. Hold on a minute, please. Just remember? Yeah, yeah. The store competition. They were connected with anything? Yes, yes. Yes, they was. was. was So, we had a competition. It was a connection. Foxy's going to recall what it is for me. (coughs) Uh, FH. Is it FHD? Our future is developed. Yeah. Um, We did know them. Uh, We had met one of them. We never got no email. They give the deal to the shop, which was Greenleaf so Systems, on the dock on the dock road. Oh, it's funny how that panned out because his shop's not there no more, bro. Do you know what I mean? So, so and now you're telling me that that company. I never spoke to this man. That's God's honest truth. Do you know what I mean? I speak to Stephen more than Thomas. Yeah. Like yeah. Thomas, his powers were slim. I yeah. Stephen. I've never discussed the only person that ever knew I was going to say if I stayed yeah. slim. And yeah. I didn't even know many people were like even onto the, onto that company because they had their particular products, some <laughs> weird products, in like a little black bottle uh, with the red label on them. Uh, I the red label on the bud. Yeah, they had ton of bud and all that, didn't they? They were doing all that shit, and then they t- they blocked us all out and pulled a fast one, give it to that other shop. That oh, shop's no longer oh, gone anywhere. Slim, slim, I know, because he was a green thing at the time. What was that shit they used to <coughs> Black bottle stuff, on it? I don't think we sold much, you mean? I can't remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> that should speak uh, volumes. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, waste for me was Future Harvest Development because they locked us out, uh, didn't want to know us. We tried to back somebody else who they thought was the bigger pony, do you know what I mean? And... Mm, they fucked that one up that once again over. because they didn't run with the streets they ran with this stupid marketing bullshit thing that they've got in the brain and obviously that's not the better horse we are so that's why the so, shops that keep it real yeah not the shops that push products for profits and make people money the people who make you money is the people who keep it real and will still be in 20 years time yeah simple so there you go me I'm going to say Hydra Garden because Nobody ever gets back to me. I give them. We did something about six nine months ago, like one of the, the marketing or competitions to, that we do, um, and I asked them for something. To send them an email, like I do with every wholesaler. Do you want to be a part of this? If so, send your products. Bam bam bam. I did one for the lab, 
Um, so Hydrogram have got like a little bit of history if they don't get back in touch with you for a week or two weeks. So 10 days ago I sent them an email. It was a generic email because I had to send it to 25 different wholesalers and people. So it said it addressed the people at the top, hi, dum dum dum, <coughs> uh, hope you keep them well and whatever, generic email. Got the lab. Got the Thomas start. Didn't write him, huh? <laughs> no, I was just busy that day. <laughs> um, lab starting, YouTube channel starting. Would you like to get involved early on? Because the podcast's off limits. I mean, we started it from day one. Is no, this a long story? It's a long story. Started it from day one. <laughs> <laughs> and Pass no sponsors, no adverts. <laughs> and uh, I'm here today, no sponsors, no adverts. YouTube channel, get in early. So everyone's replied, said, yeah, yeah get on us on season two yeah. or season one. We're going to come and see what you're talking about. And um, Hydrogan are the only ones that didn't get back in touch, so that's why. So shit contact. Me. Yeah, don't get back to you. And still haven't got back to me nearly two weeks later about potentially putting products on the show. Not because we like them, but because we want to show people how to use all the products in the industry. So it's too, it's a bit too late now, isn't it? And plus they are a very distant com company. If it weren't for Dan, I wouldn't know who Hydra Garden was. It's Dan's, the, Dan's the man. Yeah, Dan's the man. So Dan's always put the effort. Always, yeah. 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 Replicate exactly what he it says. He worked his ass off. So what are you saying? Like, yeah, As highlight yeah, grows, like, big time, what so. highlight do well to do is just take Dan and put him on their books as they get bigger. So then you've got <laughs> the good guy you say from the <laughs> yeah. and, and you've got the good company. So it's new to cultural got... highlight really needs to grab <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry mate. Like, so highlight should get on their books. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, let's 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 take it light hearted for a bit. I've got a few things here that we used to answer and you might be able to join in as well. <clears throat> the funniest comment made by a, a customer. Who's come into your shop and just made you go? It's the funny, it's not funny to be fair, right. but a person they did <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't come into me, so what happened was I was in the shop one day. We've got two shops, we've got one in Sutton, good as gold, and we've got a shit one in Crawley, to be honest with you. Yeah. So fucking anyway. Mm. So um so blokes so I'm in the one day in the phone gun. He's like, mate, 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 I've got my hand stuck on a bowl. Put the phone down. Yeah, right, so in the phone gun again. What? Mate, 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 I've got my hand stuck on a bowl, my hand stuck on a bowl, I'll put the phone down. Just ignored it, yeah, right? So anyway. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I'm laying in the cookies right now. Yeah, she's like, Jay, mate, you ain't gonna believe this. Oh my god. He's like, man's just come in the shop, he's screaming, he's got a six hundred watt bowl stuck to his hand. Screaming, help me, help me. I was like, I don't believe it. I was like, so how did he get the shade off? Like, this was the first thing in my head. How did he get the shade off? He said, he must have turned it around, Jay. He's like, I'm not lying to you. Come to the shop screaming. I was like, what did you tell him to do? <laughs> like, he was like, I told him to go to hospital. <laughs> that was it. So that was probably the funniest thing. But he didn't actually come to me. He <laughs> me twice. And I wow. didn't believe it. I put the phone down twice. <laughs> didn't believe it. Until my man rang me and said, Jay, the man's walked through the door screaming. Oh, he did that or he drove down the road with the shade on it. <laughs> <laughs> and the winds blew it off. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there you go. Hey, do, you, do you know what light it was? Probably a Eurolux. <laughs> I wonder if he turned the light off before he tried unscrewing it first. Oh my god. god. Hey. Make you grab hold of a bowl straight away that much. Why would you rip your hand straight away? Why did he grab hold of it? No, I never met the man. Wow. Slim. I could beat that one. <laughs> I'm trying to think. <coughs> I don't know if I can beat that one. It's a simple to win. Yeah, that one. yeah that is a special one, that you know, bro. Yeah. You've got special people in that area. Yeah. <laughs> we have to wait there for let us uh, this story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> First, uh, somebody else has tell a story. Mm. And then, uh, Big shout yeah. out to him. He gets a free whole sketch of sugar. <laughs> the whole range of show, show gun for my man. Yeah. And a pair of gloves. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Take your bulbs off in, in safety, people. The funniest comment that Slim's heard is Jay a bit cheaper. He just ring me and tell me not to. <laughs> yeah, I suppose funniest thing. I, do you know, I've probably forgotten them, but recently someone came in a couple of weeks ago. And he's starting to buy the nutrients. I'm lining them up on the front. And he's getting a few boosters and stuff. I said, "Yeah, so what light have you got?" Into me, what light? 
It's January, yeah, in England. Yeah. <laughs> I said, you're going to need a light. Obviously. Yeah, said, yeah. If you got one, you need to get it out of the box. He said, no, 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 we're going to use the sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I said, no, I said, it's not, it's not, not a good place to do it. I said, tell the truth, if you are going to do that, I wouldn't buy any food. I'll find something out of the back. I'll just give you something yeah. to use. I said, Fish furthermore, I said, furthermore, yeah. I had some second hand bits that were in the shop. I said, I'll give you this shade, I'll give you this bulb, I'll give you this timer, yeah? Just go and take it for free. The guy didn't want it for free. <laughs> he was like, no, no, no. And he ended up, exactly what I told him don't do. I said, don't buy the fees and don't buy all these booths off me. He bought it off me. <laughs> I left the fish light and shit. It was a free light. He had free, but one of his mates, there was three of them, one of his mates said, you, we take the light. Mm -hmm. I was like, you got it, was free. And his mate was like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Sorry, guys. What did you say? I'm telling him you need the lights. More important than the food. You know? <laughs> bro, bro, I mentioned the word free in my shop, bro. But shops nearly fucking parcelled up and packed out faster than you can look around, bro. <laughs> um, <coughs> we have some funny special customers. The uh, filter. Yeah. I like the filter. Filter story. It's my favourite. The filter. Mm. Um, Someone in the shop. <coughs> yeah. Did he bring it back in? I can't remember. No, he just came in angry. Yeah. Angry mm. person he was. Yeah. He like some chill pills. Yeah. Because his, his filter wasn't working. I'm like, your filter's not working. I've never had that before. No. You know what I mean? Like, so, you know, tell us what's going on. So, you know, he's put the filter in the corner of the room. And, like, it's not doing nothing. Okay. <laughs> Where's the fun? He's like, what fun? <laughs> we get warmed up for this shit. I'm gonna have to take my glasses off for this fucker. Are you fucking? Is the on -can the camera? Is you messing about upstairs again? I said, the fun. Oh yeah, I've got a fun. You know what? You know. You know, pedestal yeah, stand, <laughs> yeah. blowing the air around. I'm like, yeah, okay. And he's like, I've, it's pointing towards the thing. I'm like, no, you're an exhaust fan. You know, he attached the ducting to the. So you've got this filter where is it? It's like I've just stood it in the corner of the room. Yeah. I said, a natty. And he's like, yeah. I said, have you took the plastic wrapper off? He said, well, I was thinking about that, but I didn't know whether you'd actually kept that on or not. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Seriously, but then I've had to dig deep, obviously, and say, right, you've got to remove the plastic wrapping off it. You've got to attach some ducting, and then you need to buy a fan and put it on and use it as an extraction fan. Obviously, very quickly, the kid starts getting red faced, and it's like, oh, 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 uh, oh yeah. Well, it wasn't really me; it was me mate. I went there, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's just the guy who's bringing it back to shop and shit. So. <laughs> For me, that 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 was an award winner you know, of the most ridiculous things, amongst others, though. Yeah. See, to stay true with the filter story, the uh, there's another guy <laughs> who's come in. We must have been. We must have just had like a month where the water was off or something, because this guy's come in and they all have attitudes. That's what makes some funny stories. No one's come in and gone. Excuse me, I'm a bit of a dope sometimes. I've done this. <laughs> what, what's going on? That's that's not a funny story. That's like legit. We'll help you out. These guys come in and they're angry. Standing there behind the customer's face, on, think, oh, it's this issue now. Customer gone, customer gone, gets to the front, he goes, This has got a problem with me filter. I went, uh, What's up with it? He went, No fucking plug with it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you say to that, bro? No plug. The £10 extra. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're not all bright around here, yes. Yeah. So, I, what, what, what do you say to God's that? God's special we children. You just know nothing to say, just gone. Do you know what you should have said? <laughs> I didn't think it was safe for you to work with electricity. <laughs> 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 it's optional, ten pound extra. It's heavy, isn't it? And you just like, I want to laugh and I want to cry. I want to laugh and cry at the same yeah. time. <laughs> no, one, no one can be like that. No, it's two stories, two stories. So, yeah. Any, have you got anything funny? Funny places. People have spoken to you about products. Go on. And I'm now going to issue a warning if you're wearing your Gavita underwear. At the gym, minding my own business. I know it doesn't look like I go to the gym, but I do try sometimes. Okay. 
James Cash. Got me, uh, mm. yeah. Mm. Getting undressed just out of the shower. Okay. Just putting me undercrackers on me, give to undercrackers. What a sight, fucking yeah. hell. I'm not sure I want to ponder that too. Oh, <laughs> good lights, them all, mate. Yeah. He's so fuck. Good lights, them all, mate. And I'm stood there in my Gavita boxers, <laughs> discussing <laughs> lighting with this random guy. And obviously, I now know that my gym has a lot of potential customers in there, so I do need to go there a lot more. Oh, well, there you go. He walks in with the boxes on the outside now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> on his head. <laughs> and a Gavita orange cage. He's saying direct customers now. No. no. <laughs> He's doing deals in the showers, boys. Do watch out showers. for him doing deals in the showers. I'm sending him straight down off Junction 10 to Irish. <laughs> Junction 8. M6. Well, let's start getting some of them demons off me. I know, I know. I have got a funny story. They're passing me anyway. Oh, yeah, I believe There's a full way. As customers do go in the shop, lamps, he bought lamps, quite a few of them gone away. Came back maybe a couple of hours later, as you as you said, always in a rage over. He bought like eco balm reflectors, just like normal shades, yeah. Um, we know this stuff. When he got back, they covered with a blue film, yeah. <laughs> so, he's, his mate apparently has bought a handful of the same shade. Before he's visited his mate's place where he's going, his mate took the blue films off. So he's seeing this nice shiny silver reflector. And uh, he's not happy that is uh, the shitty blue ones that he sold him. No good, them blue ones. Cheap blue ones. Shite them blue ones. Mate's, blue ones, mate's hung them all up now. Yeah. And, uh, the orange ones. I'm tempted to tell him to take them all down and bring them back. Yeah. Yeah, bring okay. them back. Yeah, do us a favour, phone him very quickly and tell him not to turn them lamps on. Because <laughs> they've still got the blue film on. But when he's in a rage in the shop telling you this, it's like, wow. wow and then you tell him, and then you go, oh, this, this, this light. And you, <laughs> and you just watch his whole life drain from like, like yeah, it was me mate who sent me here, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Gone. Yeah, so that was quite funny. <laughs> Strangest comments made by a customer. They sort of cut and walk hand in hand. I'll go first, give you a little bit of time to think. Because strange, I could have put fucking stupid as well. Someone's come back in the shop. <laughs> On behalf of the mate, right, as it always is. Yeah, it's always the mate. This mate, I swear to God, he's fucking thick. I've been using A. When do you start putting the B in? <laughs> I've got no, I've got no. <laughs> or when they ask for a bottle of just A. Yeah. Or just B. Well, yeah, you know more. exactly what they've done wrong, but you just don't want to ask the question. No. Yeah, Has one gone missing? Please tell me one's gone missing or you've spilt it. Yeah, because... yeah, we, yeah, here's one we got the other day. I'm in the shop, yeah. We're, we're in the shop together. Shop's busy or whatever. The phone's blazing. And I answers the phone. And they ask for steak. So I'm thinking, it's like one of them crazy sciencey questions, you know what I mean? I'll just let him deal with that shit. <laughs> yeah, because he'll be on the phone for an hour and I can't be asked. He asked Steve, what time's his close? <laughs> is he fucking for real? <laughs> is, is nah, that's every day. I get no that every else day. Can answer that, can I? I get that every Nobody day. else could answer what time do we close? So, yeah, that, that was a strange. Just to throw one back at you, just to carry that sort of theme on. Mm -hmm. You've been upstairs, up in the office, like literally doing some shit, and uh, a customer's come in and he's gone. In, this was in the early days, so I half expect this in the early days. I've gone, yo, it's tea in. I've gone, yeah, man, um, anything I can help you with? He went, oh, just get tea for me. Oh, I said, go on, sweet. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, just me. need to speak to the boss, don't you? So, goes upstairs, gets tea. What's up? Yeah, the customer downstairs, he needs you. Go on, I'll call you back. Bang, phone down, comes down. As the next day, ready to learn, learn the answer of what Thomas is about to tell us, customer. What's your small spot the boost? And how much is it? Just look at you and just wait for your answer. <laughs> he just look, he looked at me and went, he actually didn't cotton on at first. He looked at the fellow and went, yeah, yeah, you okay, can answer that. What's your question for me, though? No, what's your small spot the boost? And he's done that. And the fella, oh, it was great because he just felt a bastard. That is well, brilliant. brilliant. <laughs> he just went <laughs> twenty pounds, two hundred and fifty mil. Yeah, is that it? Go on, sweet, up in a bit. And that's oh, the that strangest, I strangest. Just want that Thomas experience, though, don't I? Like, <laughs> 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 you want a bit of Thomas love, you know? Yeah. 
<laughs> Strangers comment the other day. Uh, I, I wasn't there, but some point of customer said to the bloke, he's got the smoke alarms here. And I just thought it was a strange comment for someone to make. He's got smoke alarms here. Why would you worry what alarms I've got here? <laughs> that's that's what, putting you on, like. I thought it was a bit of a strange yeah. comment to come out with, do you know what I mean? You've got to be relaxed. Look at your legs now. I'm looking at the picture. Look at you. Go on, swing it. Swing, swing the top one on top. <laughs> Just swing the top one. Who, me? Yeah, that's no, put it back. <laughs> no, put it back. You look relaxed. <laughs> I bet you some strange shit's been talked about from customers in your shop. Yeah. Strange people over there. Strange, there's some strange characters. Yeah. There's some really strange characters. I forget it, most of it, though. <laughs> we loved them. All right, it's just just one light one, recent, I'll give you a recent one. One guy in the last year or just after summer, I think it was, he's come in, his, his plants aren't looking very good, they're going yellow. So I asked him what food he's using, he said, oh, yeah, can I? And I was like, well, which one? Recycling, run to waste, cocoa, soil. He's like, um, no, the, the boost. <laughs> and I was like, I, I mean, you bought, you bought the boost, but you didn't buy the food. I said, the, the food's the most important, but it's the cheapest bit. So it's the wrong way around. Now, here's the moral of the story. Now, I didn't buy the boost. I got them for free at the trade shows. Okay. So... I know. Where he wanted to save his penny <laughs> by grabbing up any old free thing he could off any of his <coughs> He ran it on his plants, and obviously it's, it's not a nutrient. You know, it's an additive, so. More for him. Strange people. He asked him for the injury. Slack, he came in, he was like, shit, that is. That nutrient mentioned no names. <laughs> and then. Uh, so I've sat yeah, down and tried to get. Yeah. I've used this product, so I knew it wasn't shit. Right. So I sat down. Went through everything and uh, everything seemed like I said, what, what air are you moving? And he was like, What do you mean? I said, well, What air are you moving out of your tent? And he was like, Again, he was like, What do you mean? Like, I sat down, he, he didn't have any kind of air. Expression. Some people are dumbfounded, aren't they? And, yeah. uh, and don't know what to do. He had a 600 in He was like, Oh, I'll just leave the door open a little bit on it. Like. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> Oh, I'll just shut me head and I was like... 50 degrees. And but again, again, going back to that, the nutrient always gets the blame. Yeah. So it, yeah. It, it's the first thing yeah, that your yeah. average Joe customer... Give me another blame, bottle. Yeah, blames like, yeah. It's like, oh, it's shit, that is. It's like, no, because like we all know, <coughs> any nutrient on the shelves will grow a plant yeah. fine. Yeah. There's obviously differences, yeah, yeah. different dilution rate, different products for different systems. Like, and it's about finding that specific one that suits you. You know, so, you know I think smart people will quite happily spend a thousand pounds on what they put into the feed, but then they're like, so I say to them, so you're gonna what lights you running? Just magnetics, and I. Like, <laughs> Don't you want to take some of that money off the feed and maybe get a better light? Yeah. Maybe look at your nutrition after you've makes sense. done it on your lights. You know, the thing that actually makes the plant grow. And like, nah, I'm happy with my magnetics, but there's a quid for all that feed. It just so boggles. They don't spend it on the air, they want to come and do a grand on nutrients and mm. run some stupid little air in and out. Yeah. But really, they're best off doing 100 quid on nutrients. Four inch air in and out. Yeah. Mm. I love them comments. Uh, how many lights? I've got about six lights, seven lights, eight lights. What fan filter you got? Six inch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, not even that. When they say inch, yeah. what does inch mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 Inch mean? I want you. To, I want a ten inch fan and filter. Yeah. Which how one? How much they say? How much? Yeah. But I may start from a hundred pound up to about three hundred and fifty pound. Yeah. Depends how much you ever spend. Yeah. yeah. It's what you need. What piece of what equipment you, you need. How much air do you need to move? What you need to do? How much air do you need? I know what runs to exact what you're meant to run to. If you really want it to be, you know, but that exact you're meant to It's hard. It is hard. Four hundred cubic meters for every six hundred watt light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's buying a four thousand pound for ten lights? It's not happening. Do you get what I mean? They're going to need more than a high power isomax to draw out. Like you say, oh yeah, there's a 4250 box fan, but no, that ain't pushing 4250. Yeah, guaranteed an initial me, you know, you still struggle. So really, for every 10 lights, you wanted to be on the button, you need a 12-inch high power. Yeah. 
mm. every nine lights mm. if you want to be exact yeah, 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 yeah. Mean, spot on you get away with it the but that's what we always try and promote people who's pay, who's, pe people yeah pe right. people are trying to skimp on these things but they don't realize how much it affects and them should yeah. Yeah. On yeah. Your airflow, yeah. if you should overcome it say it's genuinely yeah. one of the if you do the right equation you'll have a well better result so people are just trying to steam in and think yeah throw loads of lighting but if you haven't got the balance and equation yeah, right yeah, it doesn't so mean jack shit you're wasting the light yeah. you're trying to give it yeah. Yeah, it's a waste well, what was the next question there, anyway extra Steve? Extra <laughs> uh, oh here's, here's a good one <laughs> he's ready oh god the rep that works the hardest in the industry oh. who's the hardest working rep <laughs> <laughs> oh. obviously jay Sit from back, jay. <laughs> <laughs> sit back Jay <laughs> uh, no, I literally as soon as I got them questions yesterday I was with one of the blokes at work and my missus and all three of us straight away vote for the same person so it's unanimous from our point of view Lee from Century okay. that fucker will bend over backwards for you like yeah. he's, say for instance the other oh, night oh, day, I needed some lights I couldn't get hold of them the beaters actually they were anyway, I couldn't go over the beaters there in stop so I was like fuck it I'm going to bring Slim and just borrow some of him and he was like do you drive again for you it's like an hour and a half drive to Slim he would have gone and picked up someone else's lights and drove it back just to like do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. yeah. over backwards for you Lee really so good. unanimous for me Lee from Century but I'm not disrespecting any of the other reps yeah because I do like no we'll get to that bit in a minute culture, <laughs> I've got another a good few reps as well, but yeah, so Lee from Century. But big up Lee. Big up Lee. Big up Lee. Slim. Yeah. <laughs> the truth. <laughs> Fall back quite hard. I have to say, Lee does pop up in my head a lot when I'm thinking. He will do what he can for you. He'll go an extra mile for you. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably put it on him. Probably put it on so him as well. That's the South view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally different. Yeah, man, it's it's totally really different. Totally different. totally different. Obviously, people are just gonna say it, but it's not. It's true. It's true because nobody else could cope with my shit, bro. Simple as the shit he has to deal with, lad. Fucking hell. Ow. He hasn't just fucking moved out the city or something because <laughs> I caused this lad so much grief screaming shouting Monday morning rah rah this and all that and he gets it done he deals with it he makes it happen all of the time constantly and he continues to take it continuously all of the time and he will get more and more of it so without a shadow of doubt it's you Jay though, yeah man but I'm not just picking him because he is me mate as well it's Who's because we become mates because <laughs> because of that scenarios that's as well and that's true. that's how we become mates because we met through the industry yeah. do you know what I mean and that's no disrespect to anybody else but we work together all of the time he's in my shop at least three times a week do you know what I mean so there you go. In here, yeah man yeah. 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 working very hard Gareth and Dave he's working his ass off he's never sitting in here three times yeah. a week that's, yeah. that's really yeah. cool servicing no that was an over exaggeration was that an over exaggeration maybe a bit oh, yeah. three times a month I meant <laughs> five times a week yeah but yeah so I have to say the same thing bro because for different reasons though I like Thomas is on the phone when, when things go wrong and I'm like on the phone medium of the time, but you know when things are just hectic, a highlight, and just you can tell the boys are harassed on the phone, and they just can't <coughs> give you that love. If there's or if there's something that is like super agent, it's it's done. I don't even have to. I just go, Jay, there's a problem. The customer and he needs it yesterday, and it's here fucking yesterday. I'm telling you. So that that's that's it, and it's we become friends, and because of the industry as well, and. He works the hardest for us. Unanimous, bro. South and North. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up Jay from Highlight. Same goals, you boy. Century, you're a lucky firm to have Lee. So, yeah, big up Lee. Yeah, big shout out, Major. So. Pay rise for both. Yeah. Um, so you're saying so when Highlight grows they should get Lee as well then? <laughs> one or so the other. Century, <laughs> Century want to get Jay or Highlight want to get Lee, it's one or the other. Isn't it? <laughs> We've heard the best of the South and North of the reps.
No disrespect to any of the others, because they all work hard. Don't they? they do every single rep. Don't they? What's w the next question? Works hard. Well, the next question is... Oh. Uh, who's the, who's the, the laziest rep? Oh, well, you just said they all worked hard, so that's that question. <laughs> oh, how to the all be with hard. Not the laziest. <laughs> the, 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 this is the laziest. Just the <laughs> laziest. <laughs> laziest rep. Oh. Oh. And you're not allowed to say Dan Mooney, because I know Dan's watching. No, because I wanted as the worst rep. <laughs> the worst rep, yeah. No, he's not really. <laughs> the worst rep. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh, I know, that's, the that's it. The laziest rep in the whole industry. You can have both. I'm just going to kill him, fuck it. It was Stuart from Highlight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Stuart, I really like the fella. He's good as gold, but fuck no. Listen, Stuart's a top lad, but at the end Stuart's of the day, 10 out of 10. there's shops in London who have said, uh, yeah, I'll send Stuart round to him, and they say who's Stuart. Sorry, Stuart. I don't know. Who, never is met him. <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> he's our ref for London oh, okay. for a bit, but he's not with us anymore. So oh, isn't he? No. Oh, well, that's all right then. No, sadly, we've Where got is he? Um, or he's, I I've don't, got another don't, one. I really don't know. Got another one. I'll throw two in there. Mm. Dan from Hydra Garden with me. I haven't had one one let what is, is I blew them out to go and use highlights. I end up going. He works hard for us, though. He, he tries as hard as he does. He's just stopped with me because he thought I'd buy the highlights. I buy little yeah. rads, I buy fans, yeah. I buy buddling. Yeah, we buy little we'll bits. That's what we do, Dan. No, we'll and we will like to keep you. Dan, but I didn't even get a Christmas card this year. No. Did we get a Christmas card? We. No. I think they told me they'd done 600 bottles of vodka. Hey, what did you get off our life for Christmas? Telly. Yeah, what telly did you get? Fucking, I got one telly. It's a 94 inch fucking gangster thing fitted in the wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't shop. you get the bed with the you telly in the that. end? <laughs> no, Where did you press no. the remote and all? Were, were, were we the only ones that got, got the that uh, yeah. koi carp in the, the hand built prison. aquarium as well? Especially built for use that. <laughs> so yours was, what was his name again? I've forgotten him already. Uh, worst. Was Stu. Stuart. Dan's got a bit lax in me, don't try no more. But Stuart, yeah. Ah, yeah, that would be you. Jeez, don't get Slim. <laughs> Sorry, Stuart. What's the question? Has it changed? No, what's the worst? <laughs> worst. <laughs> worst. Laziest yeah, motherfucker yeah, yeah. in the industry. No, what's the worst, Brett? Worst. Laziest, the one, it? Worst. Can you pick one who's like, no longer in the industry? That's fair. He's still in it, ain't he? Well, damn it, it's a little rough with Dan. Well, I'll go second place, Dan, hide you guys. <laughs> Dan, I'm sorry, bro, if you're a big man, you'd wave in, but you are the second latest with me. There you go, number two. Who's yours now? Alex. <laughs> 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 so what's the question? Laziest, yeah? Yeah. Worst, I laziest. had waste, me, bro. Well, that's the that's laziest, oh, same man. thing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Come on, Slim. Stop wriggling, lad. Just give it in. <laughs> You know who it is. He <laughs> <laughs> knows who it is. Look. Fucking hell, lucky you're in on countdown. Two. <laughs> <laughs> um, all of them. They're all so good. Yeah, they're all so amazing. Oh, Alright, the one who's got the least to do. That's, that's, that's not one, so... Slim's being super nice. Super nice game. Super nice game. Shit. No, no, no. Least to do. No, 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 I'm just this thinking. Who do you want to chuck in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going under no. the bus? I don't do your area, so I'm... Oh, no, I was you. thinking about <laughs> doing you, actually. <laughs> How about you scapegoat? You get out of jail. Yeah. <laughs> Play um, the new guy. <laughs> hmm. Um. Right. Let me come back to me in a minute, and I'll give you one. Okay. Go on, you do yours. Go on. Go on. I will give you an answer. Um. <laughs> You just might need to help me with this, boys, on the names, so we can name them. Um, there are two females that came from Atami. Yeah. And I lost my rag. 
Oh, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, lost yeah, your yeah, 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 okay. A oh, oh, very rare occasion. Very rare. <laughs> Super oh, rare. If you're going for ones like that, I've got them. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 oh, right. Come on, yeah, 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 me that too. Do you remember that new drink? <laughs> <laughs> think smart <laughs> before you think hard. Yeah, I do like, Nah, 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 they were reps, that's what I'm saying, they were reps. They were reps. He was. This army girl's reps, yes, they were repping, that's army. Come to rep me and then read me and tell me how to do me shit. Shave me up in my fucking sketch and tell me fucking that I'm not right. <laughs> what happened was, so they've come in and both two boss girls, like, dead nice to get on with, but as a rep job, um, they just they just didn't understand how to how to talk to us. So they've come in the shop, spoke to me for about half an hour about how great the time is. Like, yeah, no, well, I'm not going to push your product. It's a good product. If people want it, go buy it. I'm not we only need to sell the media, that's it. Yeah, I'm not pushing your product, so stop telling me to I'm ask me bastard. to. Uh, so she goes, okay. Well, there's a few other things. Can we can we get this and can we get that in? Um, I said, well, if people ask for it, people want it. I'll give it to them, yeah. And she goes, I said, well, what I will do then? Some of these products I haven't tested or used before. I'll take one of them, one of them, one of them, and I'll test it for you. But send me to them, not buying them, not test them first. She goes, okay. Thomas arrives. They're walking out. She says to Thomas, oh yeah, I've spoken to Stephen, your manager. Um, you're getting the Tommy in, buying the Tommy. The look on his fucking face. He walks in and goes, "So why are we stuck in a time? We haven't tested it. What, what's going on? And what are you on about? And why have you just done an order for a time? Or for, for what, what do you uh, promoting?" I said, "I haven't said you're going to send me three bottles so I can use it." She goes, "Hey, he didn't say that." And I, uh, and then there was, and he literally went, "I'm gone, season a bit." That story. And that was that. That was just that was the worst riff for me. Do you know what I mean? She's because there's what about a rep from a wholesaler firm? Not just but what you nah, But what you've got to remember is there's, there's reps that come out, and then there's companies that I've done business with for time, bro, and I ain't never seen a rep ever. Do you know what I mean? So then I can't really say to to the reps that I do say, <laughs> yeah, see yeah, or yeah. I barely see because I hardly do that many sales with them, which is a bit unfair. I honestly believe that. And on art is the worst reps are the and ones that I do come. business with, Ad, and I don't ever see, I don't see no love because that's what we're about here. That's what we're saying. That's why I do major business with Jews, and that's why I do major business with Jews because I had a major report. That's what we have, and that's the way I work in business. It might not be your sketch, but I think it is. It might not be yours, and I know it fucking definitely is. Definitely, do you know what I mean? So, and I still buy these <laughs> products. It'd be different if I didn't buy them at all. So I think that's a fucking sheer take the piss, absolutely standing on me and pissing on me, to be honest with you, bro. That's what I feel. So if you are one of them companies and you know that you get money from us, our customers, and you're just sitting there on your nice little chair and whatever, get the fuck up off it and get down the shop and come and see us. Do you know what I mean? And that that's my honest opinion from the art. Yeah. If you're thinking that I'm lying, so be it. But that's the realness of it. Yeah. For, for, for me. People buy from people. <coughs> but I buy from, I don't know, some book, and I don't even see the people. I just hear this voice on the phone, do you know what I mean? And then, what? And that's been a five-year-long relationship or whatever, and he can't even be asked coming down the motorway and fucking buying a packet of biscuits. Every time he comes, you've got to buy, buy a packet of biscuits, innit? We always have the foxies, don't we? Foxies, good night. Do you night. know what I mean? Good night. <laughs> And when he announced me best as well, Foxy will probably come in as me second because he's been there since day one. But lately, you've been doing your things and whatever. And, you know, Jay, Jay's just number one anyway, aren't you, lads? So, but there you go. Jay, Jay. You've got to be a Jay, Jay, Jay to, be, Jay to be good in this rep business. Yeah, man. So, Steve, are we going to elaborate on that? Slim? Oh, yeah, fucking hell. So I'll let you finish first. Oh, we're playing that one again still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Yeah. I'm sure I said a rep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the two. Oh, those I two just, girls. You I just write jumped, about those two girls. Though. I just jumped into your <laughs> record, like you bastard. I thought I was done. And I half liked what you were saying, though, because the worst rep is is the person you don't see. Like, the I can't call a rep bad because I know because I know them, that's the job, I know them. So I get so they're doing the job to come in the shop. Um so it's it's any reps that we buy from that I don't know yet. So if I don't know yet, that you just shit this rep. 
So there you go. Yeah, and I, and I, I don't want to do shout outs to everyone I do know because I'll probably I will miss someone. And someone's going to get offended. Mm -hmm. but, he's the shit, shit as well. Yeah. So you know, if you, come, <laughs> if you come to the shop and you've got me mobile number, big love to you. Big shout out to you. That's it. Yeah, I agree hundred percent with you, man. <laughs> 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 Is exactly what I was thinking. Exactly. Those, ones, yeah. those girls for starters. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I actually had a problem with those yeah. myself. Those bad girls. The, those two girls. <laughs> I personally thought that they were just just saying about them rubbed me up the wrong way. A seed um, just jumped into my head. I don't even know if they did this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got over two birds. Yeah. Uh, that just popped into my head. Oh, yeah. so, I would have done yes. that if I'd have done that for one of the Everyone it rewind. Was, Hold on, well, rewind now because we need to get our facts right. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, bro. Yeah, so I, I apologise, Atami. I apologise. Yeah, yeah, the the Atami apology. rep. The Dutch guys you get on well with very Oh, oh yeah, he's sorry, fuck yeah, no, he's he's, yeah man. He's sorry Atami, so, fucking hell shit. So the Atami that, rep, you come to the shop, shit. you know you're our belter, yeah. rep. It's the high pro. Scott, is he called Jay? Who? The Atami rep. Scott, 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 See, because you don't know me enough, so you just can't remember him, bro. No, so no, he's obviously no, no, not paying no, no, enough no, visits. No, no, no. Do you know what? It's not. It's because I had um, bad memory loss today. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he's, um, he, no, he is. He's, he's legit. He's he's always, no, no, he, the two he, girls he's always of around me. He, he's, 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 he's carried me out. He's good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a fact. Uh, I don't even rewind. Do that, Atami, oh. great. High pro, the reps, the two girls yes. didn't do a good job with us. Shady, 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 shady way, the pay them a shit. Yeah, there you go. But that doesn't mean high pro shit. No, no, it doesn't just Let's get this. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, don't, this this get, it twisted. No yeah, don't <laughs> get it twisted. Um, okay, let's move on. Here's a nice one for you to get your teeth into. The biggest piece of bullshit in the industry. Oh. What's the? If you could like, make sure I'm not gonna take any questions out. Yeah, if you could like, <laughs> if you could just take one piece of information or thing that nobody would ever say or talk about or use anymore, try not to talk about products, just talk about any like, any bottle, any product has got this will give you thirty percent extra. Oh yeah, fucking <coughs> oh, hell. There's just oh, there's that pitch, the that, pitch. They do. They will give you thirty percent. Everything. Everything you So if you add everything together, we'd have five hundred and eighty percent. Because we're getting thirty off this bottle, yeah. ten off All this light, way. twenty off this All additive. Way. This pot will give you one percent because it's fucking. We're on five hundred and fifty percent. Fucking hell! This one plant is now bigger than the fucking house. It's out the window. Shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And if anyone, any of the other guys want to chip in because you want to take some bullshit out, jump in because I'm tending to leave you out wow. unless you just want to jump in. You got one or the other? Yeah, we got one, man. Oh, bullshit. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Do you have that? Do you have that? Probably not. That's why I said one piece, not, let's not get rid of it all. We need something to talk about. One, one piece of bullshit that everyone talks about that I'd like to clear up is grammar what? <laughs> is it good? Is it bad? Oh, I don't know. I'm saying well, some will say yes, some will say no. Mm. But what really matters is how long did it take you to get a gram of what? Yeah. Because if one guy got a gram of what in 10 weeks <laughs> and one guy got a gram of what in 20 weeks, <laughs> guess what? He got half the yield. <laughs> so can we, start, can we start saying it as it is? It's grams per what per week per metre squared. Yeah. And just stop saying a gram of what because I don't know if it's good or not. Yeah. yeah. And if you tell me you got three a plant mm. or you got twenty five a plant, it doesn't mean anything. And this is because this is vegetables. Got... We're talking about vegetables yeah, of here of course, obviously, of course. just so everyone yeah. can get that straight. Yeah. So if you've got twenty five um, pounds off your vine, yeah, yeah. And, and someone else only got um um, um three, it doesn't necessarily mean that they got a less overall yield than you. So let's just let's just clear up that how much you got per plant or gram per watt doesn't really tell you anything. It's grams per watt yeah. per week per meter square. So what's Slim wants to know is grams per watt W H T question mark. Gram per watt per week. Gram per watt, tell me. Give me some information. Per watt per week per meter squared. What you want is off a six hundred watt, you want to hit hit roughly, depending on the 
the fruits or flowers. Yeah. Um, roughly 60 grams a week or for 600. Yeah, man. A, 40, a 400 watt, roughly 40 grams. Yeah, man. The 250 watt, roughly 25 grams, roughly. Now, genetics is going to play the biggest role in all of this. Because it doesn't matter how good you are, which food we all decided is our best, how perfect our environment is. Because if one guy's got one genetic and one guy's got another genetic, well, there's your 30% you were looking for. Mm. Not in any of these other bowls. There's your 30%. Mm. That's yeah, the man. truth. T. Bullshit. <coughs> 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 Fucking hell, uh. Fucking, where do I start? Mm -hmm. um, just all these muppets coming to me shop, chatting shit off this 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 fucking invisible sheet that they're reading before me. Uh, that's the bullshit I can't stand. Telling me to me face because they just started this job. They used to be Jimmy the car salesman, and now the the fucking nutrients seller for blah de blah. Do you know what I mean? Don't come into me shop, telling me all this fucking chemical blah de blah blah, and then I ask you. What's that mean, bro? And you stand there and look at me like a dumb fucking piece of shit. And I say, no, okay, let's break it down, yeah? <laughs> no, per, ke, you, hold on, you don't know what I'm saying, no, but you just stood there and told me about game, breaking down root systems and all of this pitch that you've rehearsed on your A4 piece of paper, yeah, to chat your shit about your product, but you can't even tell me about nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, the three main compounds in what you've just been talking about. Wake the fuck up and get the fuck out of me shop, you fucking muppet. Who's that you're talking about? Ah, all of them. Yeah. A lot of them. All of them. Lot of all of them fucking <laughs> brand new out the wrapper who are aren't from the streets who are, haven't got the stripes, who just aren't accredited, they come brand new. But, Fucking that's but, the biggest bullshit for me. I think, I think really you're, you're talking about the majority more than the minority. Depends, but some people can earn it with respect though. Long they don't need to come say. into me shop and tell me that what they're saying's gospel. Where I've had reps come into me and go, blah, blah, I've been sent to here. I don't know much, and I don't do this, and I'm, I am not a grower. But yeah, my name is fuck. My name is I'm blah de blah Put the reckon, kettle on, lad. Do you know what I mean? Sit there. Go on, what have they sent you with? Because we like to see products, so if they've got something new, let's have a look. Go on, I'll help you, lad. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. don't start chatting shit about some pitch that you've rehearsed, because that's what they give you. And then when I ask you a simple question, out of that equation, oh, no. you stand there, don't find it. I've never a thing. 95% of them. Mm -hmm. But if it's the hydro industry, it's more than just growing a thing. I mean, you've got to know more than just being able to put something in soil or cocoa. Yeah. Or you know, you've got to know hydro, that's what we are. We're water yeah. working, you know. We're, we're, we're a bit more advanced. Otherwise, why don't you go to the garden centre and buy your MPKs in your soils? Because we're the next it's level It's all available, up. isn't it? And that's what we are. And that's why, really, for me, personally, I'm trying to get most people there. onto hydro as possible for me. Most, as, much people, as long as they can manage it, that yeah. is. Yeah, it's, it's not yeah. possible some of the time. To be fair. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to fucking put that in there. Different things, different hints and tips. Different for people got different strengths. Don't you, know, so yeah. Yeah. Do you get many of them, my buddy said or my mate? Yeah, my yeah. mate said. My, my mate. My yeah. mate. Yeah. Yeah. My mate. My mate. My mate. Your mate. My mate. My mate. He said this on the forum. Yeah, I'm he's, really a year old, he's a 12 year old kid. Every time you're looking on the forum and he's going, do this, do this, it's some 12 year old who's just gone, read something on another forum and then written it on. You're listening to a 12 year old over someone who's done nothing with his life for the last 20 years apart from this. It's like, what's wrong with you? And they're like, oh, you just want to push that product. It's 20 pounds. I've, I've got six quid profit on it. Trust me, there ain't no, no, this my cigarette costs more than that while I've been chatting to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I read it on the internet, it's right. Yeah. Oh, the internet, yeah, the yeah it's major girls. bullshit. To some little kid. You have come up with some good answers, and oh, I, mine is fucking, if I could stop, pull this bullshit out of the industry, people, manufacturers of LEDs, and I'm not against LEDs, I like I like them, but manufacturers of LEDs saying this 600 watt LED is going to outcompete that 1000 watt double ended light fixture. It's not happening. It's not going to happen for my prediction 
five, six years. We've got a long I wouldn't time, say ever. A long, say long ever fucking time. Mate. We, we don't know. Fiber optic, we, some crazy, crazy Star shit. Wars shit. That is not mean Peter. But right now, not happening for it now. And so in the near next five, no chance. There's there's people there's there's LED manufacturers. You've got a good LED <laughs> light, a good standalone LED light, and that is better than ninety percent of other LED products. And they're going out on, on, on and saying, yes, this LED perfor- outperforms this thousand. It won't even outperform a thousand watt single ended. Never mind double ended. And we've compared LEDs and they did they did comparable against magnetics. And they did fade okay against digitals. I'm not even bothered testing them against double ended light fixtures because why waste my time? I know what that answer is. So LED manufacturers, please stop telling everyone that's going to listen to you keys. that your 400 watt fixture, even though the 400 watt fixture is going to outcompete a thousand watt light fixture. I'm telling everyone your light runs on fresh air. It doesn't. It yeah. uses electricity. So you're not. You, you're probably. You, lot to me. You're probably not fucking hoodwinking the shops, but I get it every day. Oh yeah, I'm buying this 200 watt LED to, to, so I can replace the 600. So like, well, you're going to need to buy three of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need to buy three of them to replace it then. It's just not right. <laughs> what about this one? I don't know if anyone does this anymore, but I have heard it. My 600 watt LED will use less electricity than your 600 watt HPS. That's amazing. <laughs> let's ring Einstein. Let's ring fucking. Let's ring Tesla and let's go, yo, bro. You got your shit wrong because this 600 watt LED is drawing less power than this 600 watt any like it so Man, we need well, to rewrite some well, laws that's part oh. of the bullshit about this where did this suddenly come from oh it's a it's a thousand but it actually runs at 412 watts that's a 412 watt LED <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck. where did this it's a thousand watt but it's 400 and this watt just put whatever wattage it is on the yeah. box or call me the LED a number like a thousand mm. but I only draw 600 in cars in your kitchens <laughs> Podcast studio. No, no, no. You like that, no, 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 no. Listen, I must say, though, there is, no, there is a definite place for them, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Certain yields, certain areas, they can't be achieved if you're not using an LED. So if you've got a space that cannot be used, mm-hmm. yeah, for anything other than LED, yeah. well, surely now we're on to a win win. If we're using yeah. LED, if it's a space that comes <coughs> applications use, for it, more electric than what you probably get back. Here. No, it doesn't. It does, well, I mean, me personally, I can only yes, talk about personally what we know is, you know is we're hitting more than one per one on mm. them mm. in a reasonable time frame. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm not saying they're as good as anything, but they're all right. Yeah, they're, they're producing. Doing, they're doing people don't know. People don't know. Well, you know, if, if you grow something, put it on their plate, they don't go, oh, that tasted different, no, no. Or, or that one was bigger when they're eating it or but, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, but, <laughs> but, sorry to be... The light you're on about, Yeah. the man come down and see me. Yeah. What, Budmaster? No, your other pal. Which one? down and see me. Uh, come down and see me, give me an LED the up to date to test, and I'm just going to ring him and say, Can I have it back? Because I don't want to test it. Yeah. Um, he said, You've tested it, this, this. Yeah. He's got none in stock, and he's never ever grown a thing in his life. Lots of fucking shit foundation to get cracking with You know what? Like I've got, I, I got <laughs> to back him up, though. To be fair to him, I've got to back him up, yeah? Go on. Because what I know 100%. Nice yeah. He has grown, so it's not fair to say that. Oh, okay, bro. Cool. I personally, but he's personally, got no stock, so he's no, got no, no problems listen, bro, getting it. I've then. personally been in and personally seen it. Yeah, so you have to accept that. Okay. Because when I'm telling you 100%, I see. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying he's any good. Yeah. You didn't ask me yeah. if he's any good. Yeah. yeah. In fact, he isn't very good. Okay. Well, that's what. Yeah. But now we're getting to it. Why do you think I'm there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, no, no. He 100% yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 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 now. I've probably hit 1.1, and I'm not an advocate of him. But all it is is, if there is an area where you can use, let's clear up the myth. You've got, you got somewhere, we're talking about a double-ended. Double-ended is beautiful. But don't be telling people in a two-metre-high tent, yeah, use a double-ended light. Mm. Because that's poor advice. Yeah. We shouldn't give them poor advice. Yeah. We need to say how far you need to be from yeah. the bulb. Maybe try the 600 version yeah. Yeah. instead of purchasing yeah. the double-ended. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. And it's hard to grow that tall. No, and that's my point. Now, if you've got basements or you're in low areas, you're under shops, some of these, we're talking about like areas lower than this. Mm. Now you can make use of those with yeah. an LED. Yeah, yeah. And, and and if we're talking about um, a system where you're putting, I don't know, 25, 25 a light, 36 a light like that, you, your plants are only finishing this kind of high. Yeah, man. See you green.
But you can do that with HPS, I've seen different. Not in low ceiling because of the heat. It's, it's the heat. To, 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 to get the same yield of LED, there's a lot less heat to get the same yield. I'd stick in four, six hundred watt lights. I reckon four, six is the same as ten, six hundred watt LEDs. Yeah. LEDs, for, in my opinion, What's that question? are just shit. Yeah, you, you have to use it, like I say, because I've used them and our maps. Every year. So maps is, We've had some good maps results. Is, maps Spectrum is King, big shout out to Spectrum yeah. King. It, 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 it's, it's not big shout out to Spectrum King. No. I've just I done, a, I done, a, I done a, uh, a thing on the shop Instagram. If it would have been the bollocks, I'd have pushed it all day. I've, this same room is run. It's a test room. We know how it works. the same everything. On the right, I had Gavita Daylight, Gavita Daylight, Gavita Daylight. We lost the space to put up this 1.2 meter square, 2.2 meter tall Spectrum King test. Yeah, it was shit. It grew for the first two weeks of flower, three weeks of flower. I was thinking, oh my god, this is fucking looks phenomenal. I would put that to, I'd put over 250 or HPS, maybe a 400 at a very push. Quality? Yeah. Quantity? Shit. Like, Spectrum King, they didn't even answer me back. Andy, mm. HID, didn't even answer me back. Like, at the end of the day, Andy, will I like, tell you this himself, for six years, he's not been allowed to walk in the shop with an LED. He knows. Yeah. When I rang him and said to him, look, I'm going to test one. Yeah, first of all, actually, I said to him, look, I do want to test. He ignored me. I text him, look, I don't worry, I'll pay for it. Bang, run me in 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, right, no problems. I paid for that light to test myself. Yeah. It's the bollocks I was just shouting about it. For me, it is just another piece of shit. Every year, for the last seven years, like, oh, this is the new LED. This is the badass new LED. That's, that's why this we've continuously been doing this what we've been doing, because we were getting pissed year. off at it as well, and just, we, we've we went the old nine yards with the LEDs. Yeah. But, Fucking hell, we've we won't got sell them, them no more in our shop. People come in and ask when we say we won't sell We believe them. the art of future, and we're going to stick in there with it because we will in the future, 10, yeah. 15, 20 years, yeah. when the kids take over, maybe they ain't going to be in my lifetime. They are for strictly for your hallway. Your kitchen. They do look nice in the studio here today, though. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'll, I'll, that's like I've got the opposite, of, the opposite opinion, and it's not. I understand because you've you've got to you put them up against. Uh, what was it? Six hundred. I put them against a two fifty HPS, and I reckon a four hundred HPS or four hundred of six hundred. Yeah. yeah. What was the? Uh, I don't know what's happened. It just got taken and replaced with the six hundred of the beat got replaced for it. Yeah. What I, see, I, I, out of the LED, I haven't, I won't do a comparison with, with double-ended light fixtures or, no, single-ended. Yes, single yeah. So I, what, all I wanted to know was what was the best LED. So you've gone to the top. You've gone. What's the best Beautiful light? Beautiful baby. Yeah. Like, the light looks the bollocks. It looks a fucking piece mm. of shit, doesn't it? For me. It's Again, comparable against other LED Spectrum Kings, yeah, a winner. Yeah, against any other LED phones that are out in the minute, like Bud Master, Rise, all of them. I've never even seen one of them. I've not even yeah. looked at one yeah. in person, so I can't say nothing about them. But in my past experience, back to seven years ago, there's a man in fucking slough making. Oh, no, stop him. He's a fraud. Yeah, Maddie. <laughs> Maddie, he's a fraud, man. Crash, there was fucking... I've been for every fucking phone for seven years. Nothing yeah. bollocks on them. I'm not willing to do it, I'm not willing to do it. I'm not to Give one piece of advice to the, for the growers who are listening to become better. One thing to make them better. Use the maximum. Use the temperature gauge. Yeah. Learn about your environment. The further you even learn about EC, pH, humidity, all that bullshit, learn about your environment. That's most of the battle. Same. Battle. Everything else gets the blame. Well, that's normally the cause of most problems. That is the cause of 99. For all our growers, all our listeners that are listening, your advice, bro, from London. What would you say? I'll take that one step further. Even I talk about the temperature difference. I tell people to start learning about moving your temperatures. Don't have set temperatures. Mm. Increasing the gap between your day and night. Um, and that probably be one of my strongest advice for people. Um, my personal strong advice is <clears throat> I've got one other before you start. Go on, go on. 
using the correct amount of soil or cocoa under each 600 watt light. I like to get people up near 100 litres under each 600 watt light with the soil or cocoa, regardless of the size pot. Mm. Sorry, on, okay, a good bit of advice. Lots, Different years. advice from what we're normally yeah, in as well, which I is mean, great. That's what I love because your advice is always different from what we're thinking as well. Um, for me, it's just the basic one, and it sort of reiterates what you're saying, bro. Um, is people are getting carried away with all mad shit to come into. Come, I was standing in the shop sometimes, well, quite often I stand in the shop and I just listen to what's going on and take in. and. I have some, some regular customers and they're constantly engrossed in some quite deep conversations and stuff, but then they're still stuck on some of the most basic of stuff, like they're on... They're trying to get too involved. Uh, yeah, bro, you don't even know what an EC tension is, do you know what I mean? And they're still talking about how they monitor a plant, plant through mill and mills per litres. What the fuck does that mean? That doesn't mm -hmm. mean jack shit to me. That, that, that's alien that's, you know back to basics is home in on all of the basic credentials environment temperature uh, you can go EC pH you start going easy, yeah. yeah but then once you know all your basics it just makes for a better better life for you you've got people who, who are still putting small young plants in like a 65 litre pot do you know what I mean Five of these pots to a one metre square yeah, pace, and I'm wondering why it's yellow and it's not moving. They've got no humidity. They don't understand. It's not drinking a lot. Yeah, they don't understand the basics, so they're still <laughs> stuck in a long, arduous, yearly, yearly, yearly process. And some people just give up the ghost, and I don't blame them because they haven't got the education what they needed to initially get them going or whatever. So the whole basis of their information is just bad. Mm. So for me, it's definitely going to be that. It's back to basics. I think what a piece of advice that solve a lot of problems for growers is get your humidity right in veg. Too many people are coming in the shop and want not knowing what the humidity is. And I'm trying to figure out what's wrong, and they're not giving me all the information. Come into the, you, yeah, come into yeah, yeah, you yeah. know that, don't yeah. Be honest. What's your temperature? Yeah. 20, uh, spot 20, on, spot on. Seven. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, just right. <laughs> yeah. What's just right? Uh, feels nice, feels nice. Okay, right. sweet. Yeah. Get your humid humidity at 70, at 90% when, you when you're doing your little fellas, little cuttings and clones, 70% through veg and start dropping the flour. <coughs> once you get into flour, get the humidity right and you're going to solve loads of problems. You can get into vapour pressure deficit and go heavy in on it, but just get your humidity right because it's going to solve a lot of issues. So that's my top tip to get you a better grower focus on your humidity and that comes back to environment. Definitely the growth stage, people mm -hmm. that use a humidifier till they use one, they won't understand the yeah. the healthiness. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't yeah. understand until they've used one. So I've got to yeah. say good to stop listening to tricks. The amount of energy uh, growers that I speak to that have heard the latest trick flick your lights off for 24 hours when you go into this that stage and piss in your tank or do this and <laughs> piss you know, in your tank yeah, piss in your tank crazy yeah but well, you cut these in your mouth when you take them and, now, and yeah, all this face. kind of stuff yeah. you know just stop listening to bullshit tricks man yeah, none of yeah. them are going to increase your Very results good. significantly in any way shape or form they're only going to make you let down some crazy garden path where you start to do stupid things in your life. And don't use untrusted information like some random 12-year-old on fucking... Which is where most of these <laughs> sources Some crazy forums uh, somewhere. Yeah. Grab what you write or what you some read on the internet. Telegram. Really, really. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Do it with your heart and, and yeah, don't, <laughs> don't believe all the crap what they write. Yeah. It is Just a bit... Expert well, advice, you know? Yeah. Geez. More pro, <laughs> less bro. Is a dead quick one for you. Um, why not to believe the forums? Because there's product out there, and it's, I'll go in, it's called Kind LED Light, and the forums rave about it. It's and not it, kind. Kind LED. It's not kind to <laughs> the plants. <laughs> it's to be fair as, fair, as far as LEDs went two years ago, it was up there against other LEDs, but the the service from them was, was ridiculous. Now, all the forums will tell you, these are great lights, as LEDs go, two years ago, um, but what the forums won't tell you, because they've only got one light themselves, or they've only bought one, 
they don't know about the return rate, they don't know about the hassle that they cause you when a timer doesn't work properly or one of the diodes is going off. So start listening to the boys or the girls in the shop that have gone through these, not just using products, but but selling products to 50, 100, 200 people a day, get all the feedback from them 200 people. Who do you think is the most knowledgeable people in the industry? The people in the shop. So start listening to them r rather than before. It's not your man who's bought one light, it's mm. your man who sold a thousand lights. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's, I, reckon, I reckon that's going on a t shirt or something. <laughs> that little quote right now. And just value that advice, you know, value the people in the shops that are giving you that advice. We ain't trying to nick an extra tenner off you, we want you to buy yeah, these, ones are so yeah. Honest yeah. advice. What you to I'm going to ask the question and then I've, I've drank too much water. Uh, here's one that I need the shops, all of us to answer. We constantly give advice to the listeners on how to spot if you're in a grow, good grow shop or not. What would you say is the best way to tell if you're in a good grow shop? So what do you do? Because I'm telling you it's now certified these two are good grow shops. So I'll start that one. Yeah, man. How, how would a listener or someone watching walk into a shop and go, I'm in a good shop? If you come into my grow shop, <laughs> and you start asking to buy something, I'm going to ask you questions. Yeah. I'm not going to let you just walk into my shop and buy stuff. Some people are in a hurry, and I'll be as fast as I can with you, but where you know it's a good shop, grow shop, is when someone asks, when they say, can I have a 12-inch filter? I don't just pull out a filter and sell it. I ask them, what's the meter cube of your fan? Yeah. I'll ask them to go home and find out before I even sell it to them. Yeah. And this is just one example. So when you know a good grow shop is when, when you go into it, and instead of them just selling you anything and just standing there looking at you, taking your money, they'll try and offer you advice, even when it, it, it might not be needed. The mm, questions yeah. we ask, you might know exactly what you're doing, but we'll still ask the questions. Yeah. I'm just sitting here with a smile on my face, sorry, because <coughs> obviously we've been doing 90, we've done 99 episodes and yeah. we've been going on about this yeah. and our opinion of what we think, and we could be mm. the biggest arseholes ever and be a million miles away, and it's just great to hear from him the same exact, <laughs> exact same thing, thing yeah. as what I believe. Mm -hmm. You come into our shop and you end up getting asked what the various questions because we want to help you the best way possible make sure and make sure that right. we don't sell you the product that's wrong because we've got a reputation. We don't want you coming back and going, you sold us that the wrong bottle. You sold us the wrong product because you don't know what you're talking about because you're an idiot. Nah, that's not us. Well, that sets you apart. Yeah, that sets us apart. What about you, Jay? Say so pretty much I'm along the same lines as you. Yeah, when man. Someone comes in, you can have all the gear, you can have no idea. Yeah. Yeah, you can have the baddest some fucking shop and not have a fucking clue what yeah. it does. Like, someone comes in to me and says, I want to like it, same as this, with Slim. I'll be like, do you want magnetic or digital? No, look, my next question straight away is, do you want to know the difference between magnetic yeah, man. and digital? And they're like, yeah, I'm like, look, the difference between magnetic and digital, no one should be using magnetic. Yeah. yeah, they run less power on maybe not once they're up and running, but on startup, most magnetics are six amps startup. Yeah, even on running. Yeah, on running, they, they say they run at three. They'll run at three two, three threes, three fours, three fives. Yeah, a digital like it is a soft and slow start and will run at three amps. That's yeah, more or less most of them out on the market. Maybe some just a tad less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two nine. So like when someone comes to me, yeah. I'm like that. Like like Slim says there. When they want a filter or a fan, yeah? What cubic meters you got? What, what air are you taking out? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, and then they go and say, I want a, a high power 12 inch Isomax, then I want a short filter, so I can't fit in the room. And I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> no, no, Gotta no, get no, an 8 no, inch no. filter with a 12 feet reducer. It's gonna be sucking through for dear life. Do you get yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, the yeah. fucker's gonna be like me when I was younger having an asthma attack trying to fucking breathe. I'm just looking for something on the carpet. <laughs> yeah, drop something. Yeah, drop yeah. something down no, here. No, I, I think I can. Uh, it's yeah. a high pile carpet. You gotta. Your, your just give a shout to uh, Weekly Hydroponics. Thanks for the pallet order. Who? Who? Why are you Who? showing his business what? out there? Hey. Some poor cunt's hey. going to go and take a door off tomorrow. Right? Yeah. 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 Now they've got me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 no. We the hydroponics have moved premises. Yeah, so... Poor man, we're sorry about that. I think that's a bit of great advice that we've all just given. He's smiling. My man. So, is the backlash from that? How do you know you're in a bad grocer? 
because he, all he's the gear, that the, the, the gear, question no from idea. Yeah, Thomas, yeah. what's Steve's answer on the grocery? Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, you know, Steve. How, how, sorry, do you know, sorry, how do you know you're in a good grocery shop? Because I just listen to all you and forget my answers. How do you know you're in a good grocery shop? I've got to say again, I will go further, but you're in there. You'd ask, you're the person behind the counter is asking you questions rather than just giving yep. you because then you know that they're not just been told to just give them what they want because you know all the prices and you're taking your money and you're all done. How do you know you're in a good grocery shop? They'll send you back out the shop um, with nothing. You want you go into your grocery shop, yeah, okay, I'm on it. You go into your grocery shop and you go, my plants look yellow, my plants look brown, my plants are wilted, my plants are this and that. And you walk out the shop with nothing in your hands because they give you advice before you have to go and buy that nutrient that's going to save your life. Why not adjust your environment? Let's see what high humidity in bed will do. Let's see what low humidity in flour will do. Let's see what the correct temperature. Let's see what happens when you bring your temperatures from 28 to 15. Go and plug your fan on. And you, and you bring them closer <laughs> together so that yeah. there's less different Over the world, right? Yeah. Yeah. I always think it's the bit of grub in the pot. Exactly. Let's, yes. uh, oh, this, this product, 10%. this £20 for a litre product, is going to rescue me because I've been over what I've been giving me 60 litre pots with one plant and I've been giving it 100 litres because there's enough cocoa to feed. And now I need another nutrient to feed to stop them from yellowing. Now you're going to be getting legged out. Drying the cocoa out. Yeah. You'll be getting legged out the shop and going, stop drinking. watering so much and then come back and see me in two weeks. And if that hasn't resolved the issue, then we maybe sell you a product. But until then, I don't want to see you. Send me photos of how you're getting on. <laughs> I kind of stuck in mind next day, I was going to say, the glow shop that you walk into wanted to spend £150 and you walk out spending £100. Yeah. Yeah, that for me it tells you you're in a good place when you go there wanting to spend a fistful of money and but they take half of that they want to spend yeah. a one or a need to spend a grand. So Absolutely, it can happen. It can happen. It can happen. No because, doubt. Because, like, you yeah. know, they've got a four inch fan and of course, four lights. Of course. Of course. They want to spend a one up, <laughs> but they need to spend a grand. Yeah, absolutely. It's more, it's more that way around for me, I find it. This yeah. is the next question of if you're in a bad grocery shop and dying for the way and I keep on wanting to, stay you to go, see what you can say. No, go on. You go first. How do you know you're in a bad grocery shop? I'm going to be dead quick, so I want to hear that answer. Let's go this way, let's, let's go the opposite way. Go on, now. sweet, I like this one. I, because the reason why I like this is because this is for the, the customers. This is for the people who pay my wages, yours and yours, bro. Do you know what I mean? The, these Everyone in this room. These wages. trainees yeah. and this jacket and everything. Thank you very much and thank you for taking my hat off to you. And that's why we do this show. And the reason you know you're in a bad grow shop. Now listen to this, yeah. When you go into the shop and you might not know too much and you just go in and they sell you the product, yeah, straight away, instantly. They don't ask you any questions, yeah. But then later on as well, you might live to learn that that product weren't the right product. Do you know what I mean? And then you've got to buy another product, yeah, because that product didn't quite cut it. And then maybe later on, you'd have to buy another product again because this little fucker is pulling the wool over your eyes and he's just topping up his sales board. Yeah, and he's just he's just drilling you for everything. And I've seen customers come into my shop and they said, hey, mate, I've been to such and such shop and you give me a four inch fan and filter kit. I said, how many lights have you got? And they're like, I've got 12. I'm like, did you tell him you had 12? He said, no, I had six. I told him I had six, but I put more in. I said, well, to be honest, you shouldn't have told him you had six anyway. Do you know? He, he shouldn't have sold you it with six, sorry. Yeah. But you should definitely. You should, yeah. Good for one. For nothing. <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> for nothing. Um, so. It's good for all. But then he's landed back, back in the shop. Day. And like the fellas <laughs> give him some sort of blag saying, no, it was supposed to be this or whatever. And he sold him another piece of kit, which was a six inch. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Is it? Yeah. Just about. Just about. Six, yeah. yeah. So then, you know, I felt sorry for the customer. And I said, listen, lad, I'm, I'm not even asked. I'm not trying to take your sales. But I sat him down and we began to go through the equation the meters cubed mm. an hour and different type of fan and it doesn't work on size mm. and stuff like that. So to me, the worst, the worst it, it, by far it is the shops who are only asked about sales they don't know nothing about product they haven't got the stripes that we've got boys simple as so if you haven't got what i'm talking about you know what i mean simple as if you're not the streets your shop is shit. yeah 
if you are a sales and marketing shop, your shop is shit, Just you are shit, shit, you're not as good as us, and you're not as good as the other shops who represent what we believe in. All the shops that are yeah. come up the, the All of the shops, big, out, big shout out to a load of shops, fuck her, Natural Growth in Manchester, yeah, no do you know what I mean? There's, yeah, there's well. major shops you can name and list yourself, there's, there's loads, loads and loads that, that are all the same as us, even the shops in Liverpool, Sonic, um, it's in, not far from this shop where we are, yeah. with five mile radius, Scouts, Adam and Kevin, do you know what I mean? Big shout out to fucking everybody in Euro Garden, uh, oh, Nick, uh, Mark, fucking big shout out to Northwest West Hydro, was oh, right, boy. the boys, yeah, do you know what I mean? So there's plenty of love, you, everybody knows who I'm talking about, we're talking about these shops who are fucking about sales and taking the eyes out of your head and pissing in the holes. Do you know what I mean? The idiots, the muppets. The they haven't, they have, love yeah, it yeah, well. yeah. We love this shit. Look what we're doing. What time is it? Half past six, and we're still here doing this shit. <coughs> do you know what I mean? It's mad. Shouldn't be here till half six in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> man. I'm just getting warmed up. I'm just putting my glasses back on. Mm -hmm. What about you, Steve? We're gonna come this way around this Yeah, time. man. Well, I'll we I'll, I'll do the one that the customer. <coughs> I won't use the one that the, one of our listeners. He said he said you know you're in a shit shop, and as soon as you've walked in, you haven't even spoken a word, and they're literally trying to sell you. Oh, three or four different fuck bottles. off! Leave me alone. Yeah. How do you know what I'm coming for? Uh, yeah, but this is bad, boss. I've got to put you on it. this. It's gonna give you five cent extra. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Walk out them shops. Turn round and walk out them shops. Uh, how do you know you're in a shit shop? He's all you just fucking take on my answer. Because <coughs> it's just the right answer. He's the only one. As well? He's only gone so far. Yeah, oh, I thought I'd missed us. yours. No, man. You were going to the toilet and these were going <laughs> this way. Okay, okay. How do you know you're in a shit shop? <laughs> You've got a problem. <laughs> They've got a problem. And they sell you something. It's all about sales. What I say to everybody is if you want to have a very quick thing, wholesale manufacturer shop, if they spend more on the marketing than they do on the actual product, if you're a manufacturer of a, com of a, of a product, then there's something you need to look into. I'm not saying it's shit, but you need to look into that company. The company that spends more on the products than they do on marketing, you're probably, probably onto a winner with that company. So if you walk into your shop and they're gonna try and sell you sell your product without giving you any environment advice, growing advice, anything like that, then that for me is a shit shot. Ask the questions first. Let's see if you so can sort it for the same answer three. as me. Yeah, reworded. <laughs> if I did it good enough, they won't have noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Walking in the shop and I'm just selling your shit, yeah, for a problem. Straight off without asking any questions. Me next, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd agree with that, but just to say something different, shops with no stock. I mean, what's that about? Yeah. You go in, I mean, I've got people who, who are out far places and they have to grab something. They ring me up, they're like, what's the name of that thing? I've got to go and ask for it. They pop in somewhere, they go, oh, have you got any spread of that? Guy just looks at them. Yeah. Go in another shop, you got any net, netting? <laughs> you just look at them. Some, some this, is the, this is the basic, this is the bread and butter. Some shops are just yeah. like, they, they, they have to put the, the money in and come back fucking days later and stuff like that, and the shop doesn't even have any any sort of stock in it whatsoever, just a couple of catalogues. But they've advertised it at a ridiculously cheap price just yeah, to get you yeah, in, and you get there, and you're really disappointed that they don't actually have any Gavitas in stock. Mm. So then, is, 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 this, <laughs> is this the wrong time to bring it up? But is that a bad, um, a bad thing that's happening then? If someone can just set up a shop like that, be able to with no stock, with nothing, put a product into a, a, in your crappy shop, and just be able to, to do that. completely devalue the product by going. Well, I don't actually need to make any money. I need customers. So if I buy I think if a you, product for three hundred, I'll sell it for three hundred or yeah. whatever. You know. Well, they're just busy fools, aren't they? Yeah. Well, to an extent, some people will do it thinking they've got a long-term plan, but in the meantime, yeah. what they're doing is actually damaging the other shops in the yeah. area around them. And that's what I'm saying. In general. I think this is what I was bringing up. Is wholesalers, I think, need to start like having some kind of respect as well, level of respect for shops. You know, because all, all too often someone will set up a new shop, and you know, all they're doing is just taking customers from yeah. from a certain shop in yeah. a certain area. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and wholesalers need need, need to be suspicious. completely aware of of what's happening yeah. and know that in that area there's 14 fields. In between that shop and the next shop, there's no one there, hmm. so there's no room for another yeah. shop there. So if they're going to set up, <coughs> let, 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 
let's at least see what, what are they coming with, you know? If they're just coming with a little shot, no, no stop. Mm. That's not a good We're shot. probably one of the only new yeah. drink companies that police the price, <laughs> like on the internet and you in the shop. You don't shit on no disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> you don't police shit on the internet, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, if you have a look, if you have a look, you don't. Up, you don't yeah, yeah, grab it up. Grab it up. Grab it up. You don't Pe- see. You don't see it much cheaper than what it should be on there. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Yeah, just... Weekly hydroponics. I'll give you a shout out because you've been commenting a bit. Hydro garden selling on Amazon at almost cost price. Yeah. So yeah. there's a lot of policing needs to be done on on, so, on this. Yeah. 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 If, 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 if a shop brought to us, like when we supply into a shop and the shop turns around to us and goes. Um, I've seen X and X at such and such a price. I do tell the boys that, you, you know, we've got our RPs, let's keep it up. It's yeah, not, yeah. You know, our product's not there to be commoditised and devalued because you're trying to nick 10 quid off someone down the street or... Well, no one gets one within about four or five miles of us. I've anyway. got to say, you need more go out of yours than Canners. Canners are oh, worse than Dutch. Mate, this is what I'm saying, like... There's no worries about that. There's, th- there's the odd few <laughs> quid on there, mate. Canner fucking top of the park. I do think you have to... I don't know fucking go out of a Dutch <laughs> have to held the market for a long time and their prices <laughs> in the last year. People have been putting them on eBay for shit, going up shows, getting them for free, yeah. putting them on for 15 quid. Fuck me, we pay for that stupid bottle that's spoiled about 20 quid, mm. sell it for 25, nick a fiver off it, and then some fuckers got it on there for fucking 15 quid, yeah. less than yeah. we pay for it, mm. once you've added the bad ad to this. So, like, it don't hold this thing. Yeah, but it's difficult eh, to control. It's difficult. Okay, 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 yeah, not, it listen, old, we are not police the officers, you know. So. I tell Canada to say, can 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 say we can't do nothing about it. Yeah, we we, we try to do something bottle. about it. Yeah. We do yeah. try to every yeah. bottle. We do try, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know what wholesalers you give it to. When it gets bought out of a shop, you know where it's come from. It's all got this kind of So what about Amazon? Amazon's Hydro Garden just sell direct, do they? Yeah, sell direct to the customer. Yeah, we're getting because that story. Yeah, really, really, really. Oh, really. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can, you can say whatever you like. Time, no problem. The last six months, year, yeah. Dutch Pro's been going on the internet less than we pay for it. Like, and it's where cunts are getting it for free or. Well, I, I, I had a look for so it. In yeah. our defence, I checked eBay about a month ago, and there was only two people which have been spoken to that were anything more than two or three quid under the RRP. I did notice, I said, I ain't going to lie to you now, I've been on it yeah, for three, man. six months. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Looks yeah no, no, because bullshit. we call them up, mate. There was so. people selling the wheezes, there's not just shops selling it. Let's just say yeah, Slim's course. fucking brother wants to sell it and he's on his ass. Slim's on it, you can take that one. <laughs> sell it from your house. No, but I'm just saying, yeah, next thing, he's selling it from his house. Yeah, yeah of course. No man. one knows who it's come from because he yeah. lives fucking an hour away from fucking. Well, like, how many shops have we got that selling our product that we, we don't fucking sell? We don't but even know who they are. You see, Canna, Canna are like. <laughs> it's, but, but they're getting the product and they're selling it cheaper than, than the shops like, we, we actually can't deal with. So. We can't place it. Put a it's, number on every fucking bowl. Give one to fucking 100,000 to Hydro and one to 100,000 to Highlight. One hundred thousand to the Dutch firm. The next fucker that keeps turning up cheap from, then it's down to them. But yeah. isn't isn't the going back to the point? Isn't the point that like how we're sitting here together discussing this? That this web of ours needs to be extended. Yeah. Yeah. So sorry. when we've got an issue, as in why would our wholesalers who are meant to sell to us because obviously so we're paying because we're paying our rent on our places Wages. to sell their products. Yeah. <laughs> for you to then go and sell it to the people who are meant to be coming into our shops. Mm, yeah. It's kind of It's a close the knit trade anyway, isn't it? So it's a proper, everybody knows each other anyway. So you as you I don't everyone may as well be honest, just don't get it, me. Yeah, it's all the bullshit to be honest, and it just gets the shit, gas gets the shit. Fucking can I like for instance, they're proper like say for instance, take the piece with a yeah. price, can't earn no dough. You bend over back to them, and all you do is fucking ring up Gaz and go spastic, mm. ring up Jay and go spastic, <coughs> fucking hell. That's because that's the only person you can ring. Yeah. Because nobody else gives a I shit. Mean? If you had a fucking shit with Mills, you'd be ringing up Jay and just saying, look, what shit. You ring up with well, Dutch Promo, has gone toilet. You're ringing up saying, uh, or Peter or whatever, look, fucking what the fuck's going on? We want your phones up with Can they? Yeah, no, that's why Jay and that they end up getting a load of fucking shit. Can we get home? they don't understand about we, the streets. It's real talk. You know, we, we, had the, we had a shop the other day that were advertising our products on his website at half price. He didn't even have our fucking what product. Look at that. What he was doing was advertising it to get customers to go around the shops to put it in another fucking nutrient. 
It's like crazy shit. Much right. Why would you even do that? It's like because the shop down the road had mills. Yeah. It, it, brick crops. Yeah, if you're watching, we got brick crops. Brick crops had it. Had it. We won't give it to this guy who was. Oh, two miles down the road or something. Yeah. Two miles up the road from Brick Crops. Yeah, yeah. So he, he fucking... <laughs> yeah, he Do you know what I mean? He, no, he we're not like saying it. who it was, though. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> any of you who have not a computer at home. 2.6 miles from Brick Crops. And the reason is, <laughs> he produces his own shitty nutrient. He then tries offing on it when you go in. Oh, yeah, I've got meals. I've just sold it. I haven't actually answered this question. It's how you know you're in a shit grow shop. My personal opinion is that they're only pushing their own yeah. So they're like, no, oh, buy this one, shit. buy this one, buy this one. Yeah. Then you know you're in a shit shop. It's all about nicking a pound note out of your pocket. Yeah, man. Yeah, so when you go in the shop and they've got one main brand, they're pushing to, you know, whether it's in a black bottle, pink bottle, fucking green bottle, yeah? <laughs> like, if they've got that one main product fucking there trying to push you, you know you are in a dog shit shop. Been in for <coughs> and the governor is on the golf course doing fuck <coughs> yeah, but He got given his dough to start his firm off his fucking mummy or his daddy. <coughs> yeah. Or he's fucking come out of some <coughs> university fucking. Do you hear what I mean? He ain't got from the bottom up got his fucking dough. Yeah. So uh, you know when you're in a shit yeah, shop when they yeah. want to push their own shit. He's not strictly from the streets, is he, bro? No. Like, nah. Strictly mm. from the streets in this industry. <laughs> to be that, honest. That's my answer. Them last three questions that I've got, we've, we've answered them, so it's pointless going over shit. Yeah. So, it's half six. I reckon we've given people enough fucking shit to deal with <laughs> for the next hundred episodes. I think, are Everyone's we gonna. text as we're going off. Uh, <laughs> are, we, are we gonna be like apologising for over the next hundred episodes? I don't think so. Shock it up and take it in. Wait there, sorry, sorry. Go on. We must have a couple of minutes. We've got scribbles here. <laughs> what is that? A message for Slim, man. When you go into yeah, Tesco's, do you ask for a discount? <laughs> 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 it used to be, yeah, my biggest book bag when I had a shot with discount. CFLs. Um, what relevance is the number on the side of the box? <laughs> 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 is that aimed at anyone in particular? Buddha's tree, um, someone's written the wrong numbers on, they're not the same as the old bottles. Ah, that has been cleared up by yeah. Buddha's tree. Yeah. 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 That's that's fair to them, fair to them, that one. Well, they're down here on weight and volume. Buddha's tree, 918, I give them a big shout, and they did pull it yeah. back. I was a bit worried for the one minute, but yeah. big them up, they What did they say? Up. So he said, the way it's wrong. Yeah, I'm made up. They got something just wrong because the they were fucking getting everything too right. You <laughs> <twat>. <laughs> 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 to be fair, they, uh, they, they, didn't, they didn't actually get it wrong. They've just gone from because they shipped to the US. They're sitting now. there like, no, They've we shipped. nearly skated through that <laughs> yeah. without an in there. They've shipped to the, they shipped to the US. It was the amount of sulfur on the. 918. It's one. Yeah. It's, it's just it's measured on what, in a different one. So it's measured in weight per weight rather than weight per five volume. So yeah, it just have to change the ratio. Yeah. 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 And they use yeah. rather right. than but it accumulates to the same. Um, right. It could even yeah. be the sulfur that they used. I think they used. I don't know off the top of my head what it was that they used, but they used one type of sulfur, sulfur with other elements, and then the other use a different type of sulfur. So the weight for volume, the amount of sulfur was We've different. Got one so more question on there. If you sell. Um, rock wall slabs, should you sell rock wall slab trays? <laughs> a question. You asking us? Yeah. Oh, it's it's nice. This is nice. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, you've got, yeah. got rock wall slab trays now, and you ain't got them anymore. <laughs> LBS. You know that. LBS. Yeah, well, there you go. That's what I'm saying. So we're going out of the industry. Yeah. yeah? So where we're trying to keep everything nice, we're happy to give everyone. Uh, we've now got, we're we've saying, got bow mat, man. We've got bow mat with trays. Bowmat is incidentally an organic slab cube. Have you, have you got slab trays for one meter one, one point three? Uh, I think so. I'd have to check though. That'll be interesting. Bowmat, Bowmat though. Just to let you know, Walker put the price up. Awesome. Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Shut um, up. If you're sitting at eight quid a meter, I'll have some of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? What is it up at? I don't know. I think. I think. Well. I don't want to say what we're paying for it, but I'm not in money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's expensive. Double yeah. check the price now. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, yeah. I'll leave Pascal's for another day. We'll oh. do an episode on Pascal's. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What's this with Phillips? Can't tick the boxes. I don't know if you looked at my Insta. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to tick a box. It's, it's, a, it's a 600 watt EL. Yeah. They've ticked the 600 watt and they've crossed the 400 <laughs> watt and they've left the EL one blank. I mean, 
Oh, you check. <laughs> I'll leave that for Your job was to take a box, there. bro. And um, you failed. You couldn't even do that. <laughs> Sack. <laughs> One last quick file. Oh, last word here. I can't read it. Monsanto. Monsanto. We don't like Monsanto. No, no, we don't. Yeah. Conglomerate corporate, corporate companies, fucking the best shop and shitty shop. <laughs> you asked this one to me, didn't it? <laughs> um, Not allowed to name your own. Yeah. Yeah. Best. Okay. Best shop. Best shop. Best shop. <laughs> to be honest, boys, I can't pick the best shop because out of all the shops I wanted to have on episode 100, I bought I bought the two best shops. So. Ask me to pick between you two, what you want me to do. Slim's hydroponics and hydro to grow. They're the yeah, two best shops, bro. Ain't, ain't, can't, can't ask me to pick a best one, that's not fair. Shit is shop. And it's, I don't know all shops, so I can't pick a shit is shop. But it's like we said, any shop that just wants to sell you shit, you're all a shit shop. If you're just on about sales and profits, and that's what you got your little written in your little red books, it's about your profit margins and how much can we make on this, so we push this, you're a shit shop. Leggy. Bam. So to me, to me, um, the best shop for me. Was that, sorry, was that a from the streets answer or a politician answer? <laughs> I'm not trying to clarify it. That yeah. was. It's people listening, I just want to okay, clarify. I don't. It sounded I go, a bit politician. Can I go in our area then? The I don't, I don't, I'm going to speak the truth. <laughs> will, you give, will you throw me a bone? Will you throw me a bone? Depends what your answer is from your heart. Yeah, I mean, respect you said me and him big up. Okay. I mean, so we I are the best, so I you couldn't got give right. you the shit shop. Apart from me and him, hey. Go on. The big man's going to From the arse, yeah. I can, I've sat here and pondered this because I knew about this question. I sat here and thought, hmm, who can I name and give the title as the best shop? Who is it? I could say Slim. But I've only been in a shop once, very briefly, haven't I, bro, a while back, and I haven't seen it lately, haven't I? Mm -hmm. Apart from what I've seen on Insta, mm -hmm. bro, it looks heavy. Respect. Heavy. Big up, big up, big up, big up. I ain't big up. never been in your shop, bro, have I? I've never been there. And how many other shops is there in the UK? 500. <laughs> I haven't been in them. I fucking wished I had now, because I'd fucking tell you straight which is the best. Do you know what I mean? But the best for me is all of us who are the streets. Yeah, and I believe that, lad. If you want to say I'm a politician answer, I'll let you say that. But that's what I fucking believe, because all of the fucking shit is our opposition, lad, who don't, who haven't been through the shit, who haven't got the shops the way they've got the shops, who don't believe in what we believe, and aren't fucking doing this shit the way we do it because we love it and we love every day we go to work because it's great we love our social environment that we're in and for me we are the best shops all of us all of us all of the ones who come in that category and you know who you are because we all sit together when we go to trade shows and we go to auto pot and we we steal all your ale from a uh, dutch pro's bar and blah de blah blah you just know who you are because we all sit there together in, yeah. in, in a group <laughs> and the ones you, <laughs> Thank you and the ones you don't <laughs> sit with us they use the use the shit shops boys and guess and uh, both the shitty shop for me like is that. really is I'm gonna name one and I'm gonna go out on a limb because you want me to be honest as well. I'm gonna say grow well, yeah, and you know, because he's the complete opposite of me, Justin. It is Justin. It's Your Justin. friend, the owner. Yeah, Your I've friend. met you once at, at Spanabus when I was a pup. Yeah, um, when I was a proper pup, it was year one. Yeah, now I'm telling you on podcast, your shops, the shitty shop take it up and suck it up lad because I love it lad and the reason why your shop's the shittest is because you've got 11 I think you've got 11 or so or whatever but we... who was it 8? was it 8? yeah the internet's probably yeah. worth 3 is, is, is your ethos and it, your ethos is not what we believe in it's not the streets and because you've got that on a large scale yeah bigger than most other shops because I believe you to be right up there yeah I won't hide that fact. I declare you the shitty shop in the UK. So there you go. And that's from the streets, bro. So let the battle carry on. la di da Slim? Right, me. Um, first things first, got people pestering me on my phone, so we've got to do the big ups, is Mike McCall from Growth Technology. I like Mike. What a nice fella, eh? <laughs> yeah, I like Mike. Eh? 
No laughing. We well, don't know. You don't know him? No. Man. Yeah, but he's from bloody that little bit that sticks out the end. What's it called? Devon and Cornwall or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's from that little I've bit I've been on already down, down there in the caravan. Exactly, place. exactly. Long exactly. Long yeah, way. it's a long mm. way. And it's a long way. To tell you the truth, he ain't got sat nav yet. We was going to get him one. <laughs> we were going to get him. Me and Jay's going to probably... <laughs> Mike, shout out to Big Mike. Respect Mike. Big up, Mike. Big up, Grove Tech. Me and Jay's going to get him sat nav so he can come up and we see like guys. Yeah, man. We like Mike. Yeah. Since Jonathan left Growth Technology, no one's been to see us, so I know they are training some people to come and see us. So well, I, to tell you the years. truth, I can safely say now, Mike personally, personally, will come and see you. Okay. Yeah, Mike yeah, McCall man. from Growth Tech. Be, be straight up. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Come, on, come and say hello. You're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Right, anyway, so we've got best and worst shops. Can no one else text me as well, please? Um, <laughs> best and worst shops. Do you know, I'll tell you who I used to like, and I used to like the vibe of, yeah, was aquaculture, funnily enough. I used to like the fact, you know, their greenhouse and everything going on at the yeah, side. Yeah, and, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I know they went a bit Tong and not there anymore, but I don't know, I used to quite like that. So that that I'll go for my kind of unbiased. I, I don't know him or anything yeah. like that. Is that your political view? Was no, it? no, no, no. Straight oh, up, okay. I, I've, I've always said I thought they were quite a good shop until things went. Right, right, right. Ra. So what's your worst? <laughs> um, uh, Greenfinger after like I went. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I knew, I knew no, that was yours. Are. Yeah. So yeah, they, they were just shit, man. Once I'd gone, it just went terrible for them. Look, went twenty-year-old company. You know, three different shops. It just goes to show you how important like the streets really are. <laughs> because without it, look what happened. A few months after I've gone, no, they've no ended way, up no, no. knocking half the industry, even though they've got stock to pay for their things. And so, do you want to know the funny thing? Me and Jay went in there and cleared the place out and bought it off the liquidators anyway. So I've ended up, I've got the forklifts, I've got the van. Smash the place up. Yeah, <laughs> smash the place up. <laughs> got all the racking, got the alarm systems. So, um, yeah, I think they're the worst shops, really. Yeah, that's why they're not there anymore. C'est la vie. Yeah. What? Yeah. Best shop, worst shop, straight away, no political ones that grow well. <laughs> Don't like them, can't stand them. Sell dog shit, move four miles from my doorstep, ask every rep about me. They come four miles on your doorstep? They're four miles from my doorstep. Listen, bro, I tell you now, <laughs> don't even think about coming so to I, our city, so lad. So Let me shop, tell yeah, you. When I got the shop back in the day, yeah, yeah. I got here from, let me tell you, from off the street, from one light upwards to the shop, yeah, right? Do you want to tell him history? Because I'll send you yeah. packing on the M62, yeah. fast, yeah. pronto. When I was young, I ain't going to lie, Chuck, when I was about, probably missed it, when I was about 24, 25, I'm 37 now. So I used to go in there as a little fucking scallywag, as you got to call them, <laughs> in, in there, drilling and that. And then when I wanted to get the shop, me and my partner went in see him. We were like, Slim, bro, we want to get a shop. He was like, Jay, I'll give you the numbers. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Some other power, Croydon's the other. Croydon's that. Kingston was about seven, eight miles from me. Croydon's about seven, eight miles from me. Yeah, yeah. same again. My friends went to school with a Croydon man. I'll get on with him. Shout out to Bright Lights, Croydon. They're good as gold. I know Dutch Pro, they do a bit of that. Um, same again, went in there with my power, good as gold. And Growwell in Fulham. It's about nine miles from me. Fuck me, about three years ago they moved to four miles from my doorstep. And just like selling sorry. everything for cheap. <coughs> so at the end of the day, my worst shop is Grow Well, without a shadow of a doubt. I hope you're listening, Grow Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Did you listen? Can, your pal sitting in the corner, Jay, will report back to you anyway. <laughs> They're watching. Live. Oh, they sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Grow Well, they're just watching. Um, the thing is with me, I just love comp <laughs> competition. Oh, so let's have it. Big just up Tom. Big up Tom. Big up Tom. Big up Tom. Yeah, we're we're allowed to big up Tom and grow well. Shots. Yeah, respect Tom. Respect Tom. If They're not talking about you, by the way, Tom. No disrespect to the big boys that work in the shop that is as well. The manager. No, no. The blokes mm -hmm. are strictly down to the owners. <laughs> He had all the blokes in the shop. Apparently, one of the blokes, a young bloke, works in the Mitchum shop around the corner from me. Meant to be good as gold, nice bloke. The I don't know them. I've never met nice them. Blokes. Yeah. So no disrespect to none of the workers at Grow Well, just the boss, he's an arse Um He's in the best shop. I love him. I can say, if 
we're allowed to use liquidated firms would be Green Fingers, Little Shop in Kingston, because I learned my trade in there. Yeah, boom, respect, uh, respect, respect, respect to yeah. Slim for that. Yeah. And, and Wait, second there, in line, I'd say MPK because they've given me a nice bit of hospitality today. We've been drinks. Chocolate crisps. Yeah, let me just say one thing. <laughs> Cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. say one thing as one. well. <laughs> See, when these lot were customers, yeah, he's true to his word. He ain't bullshitting, you know, when he's talking about, oh, our customers should be. He used to come into my shop. Ooh. Mm. My friends. Yeah, his friends, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Used to come into my shop, yeah. yeah. They just come, they put down their money. They're not asking me for discount, they're not begging for discount. Yeah, they're man. buying more than one line. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. They're proper and they were always proper. Everything was just proper, proper, you know, like a yeah. pleasure. To yeah, do. that's yeah, nice. Yeah, we yeah, have that. Yeah, we yeah, have that in our shop. And people. them customers who listening as well, use and all use of them ones and mm. get the wheel. You know, you just get the wheeled off us, we'll we'll bend over backwards for you, you know what I mean? And we made your respect to use them customers. One other thing, Grow Well Moves decides to close his shop four miles from me, no problems. He can crack on and sell his old shit. So there you go, there's a, there's a peace treaty there. there there's Never a, happen. Do you know what I mean? Close that shop, lad. And there's, there's a top tip. In all of this top tip, if you want to be treated like a king in your grow shop, then walk in and don't ever ask for discounts and build loyalty. Build, show the boys that you're ready, willing to go the there, there. Possible. And you're just, yeah. you know what? You don't even. We just you give, give you the wheel. Discount. Give those those wheel. guys will come in and humble and, and spend yeah. with you, or even if they're regular, yeah. they don't have to spend a lot. Listen, if a guy regularly comes in and spends twenty pound with me, yeah. when I'm ready, I give him a little something. Yeah, 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 hold yeah, that yeah, 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 man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's not the amount. Yeah. it's just how they are. Their yeah. attitude. Really. They become part of your shop family. Of course, if if you come in the whole time just trying to get one p off and go and look, this shop's seventy nine miles away. Oh, yeah. go away, yeah. go away. It's like, please, please, leave me with my shirt. Go to that. Them bad shots, they, they've got all the time for Does you. Bro also don't deliver a grow well. <laughs> no, really. no. No. Good. Good. Really nice. Just the extra boot in. Good. Listen, we have fucking terrorised the industry quite a bit. Heads of heads, heads of raw. <laughs> and I think we took it quite easy on everyone, don't you? You told us to go soft. If anyone's, I said to them go soft. If any of these companies uh, are pissed off, which I hope you are, please. Fucking let us know. Write it to us. Give the address. Or come to the show and come and have it on podcast with us. Come and defend yourself. Defend yourselves because we yeah. we give you plenty of opportunities yeah, yeah. and you sit there cowering out. Right. Justin, grow well. If you want to come and sit down and have it with me, I'd love it. I yeah. would fucking love it. Because nevertheless, you are a very successful businessman in what you've done. Very successful. Very successful. And I can't get I can't fault him in that. And his website is second to none neither. So I'd love I'd love the chance to sit in the room with you. Do you know what I mean? And who knows? Think you'll find his website second to none. Okay, oh no. Highlight saying yours is shit and theirs is the best. Hold on, sorry. Highlight. But maybe there's a reason <laughs> why companies are operate in the way that they do. Maybe that there's an ethos that we don't understand. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it not. would be good to hear their they opinion. Do that to there's you, always two sides to every story. Yeah. So if they're willing to come on and, and let's talk, now. let's talk. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's um, lighten it up, tell them about the competition, man. Yeah. Okay. Not the yeah. Massive giveaway you're giving. Yeah. So at the beginning, I know some people have just managed to. Uh, ah, let's give some shit. Capri Suns all round. You know it, bro. You hey. know it. Thank you, MPK. Yay! Yeah. 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 Um, the competition. All right. So, oh, so, three thousand pound giveaway. Mammoth grow tent, specific for the two thousand um, giveaways. DNA yeah, Mills please. Nutrients, DNA Mills Cocoa, <coughs> um, Ice Max and Light Extraction, yeah. and all the other little bits. Uh, oh, Highlights Multi Flow V3 system, of course. Uh, and if there's any other little bits that need it, like light so hangers and this and that. you could possibly need to grow from start to finish in it. What size is the tent? It is, it's a weird one, isn't it? The 2 metre, 2.2 by 1.8. Yeah, G2. G2, yeah. 2.2 by 1.8. Uh, nice size for these two lights. Uh, if you want to be in on our competition, so this is for everyone live and listening on the podcast, you got to head over to Instagram because that's where it's kicking off and it's all going off on Instagram. I want you to do hashtag MPK Live, hashtag Hydro to Grow, hashtag Slim's Hydroponics, 
and what I want you to do on those hashtags is take a picture of you watching this or watching any podcast or just take a picture, a screenshot and just do them hashtags on Instagram or do the picture on Facebook. If you do all that and you give shout outs to all the people that have kindly donated the best prizes we could get our hands on. No, actually not the best prizes we could, uh, could get our hands on. I went for the best prizes <laughs> and asked them all for it and they delivered. And um, So that's the prize. Get yourselves onto Instagram. Hash, do them hashtags. I'll put them in the comment section later. And then next Thursday, 101, when we've given everyone a chance to listen, when it goes live on Sunday, we'll announce the winners. We're going to do the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, so you know it's random and we don't pick yeah, our mates. Yeah, so it's not going to be any of our mates. Uh, style. Also, <laughs> do me a favour to all the companies that have donated the... Give us a big shout out to all the companies that have donated. Nutriculture yeah. with, uh, and Mammoth with the Mammoth tent. Okay. Nutriculture and Gavita for the two Gavitas. Yeah. Um, Highlight with that a pot v3 multi flow system with stands and all the kit caboodle um flexi tank as well uh, and dna mills for the nutrients and for the cocoa uh, big thank you to the as well for giving out the gavita before jay hardo to grow big thank you for dutch pro because there's prizes here and there's some root accelerator so i'm just going to be picking the guys that have spent spent the last four hours nearly watching us all i've been picking all of you guys well let's do another uh, prize giveaway for dutch pro yeah, because I'm not letting him get her off the earth. He's sitting here, yeah, with his arms all folded. Five litres. <laughs> I'm a, I'm just five, only a five litre uh, explodes. I've been seeing. I've I was thinking more like five five litre explodes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Nah, I'm, I'm only messed. Yeah, yeah. No problem. But no problem. Let, let's see what we could do. What competition could we have for Dutch Pro? Because we're here, we're episode 100. Yeah. You know, it's not all the time that we do this. It's not all the time that Dennis is sitting here that it's we not. can get them and shaft them good old for our <laughs> yeah, customers. No because way. let's have it right, yeah. we do this for our customers. Yeah. You're going to reap the benefits of yeah, what man. I shaft right now. Yeah, so. Yeah. so I'm That's why I've been doing good for years. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so it's been going up and up. So. Because it's a Dutch Pro competition, we need people to take a picture of their Dutch Pro products. Yeah, their Dutch Pro bottles or a Dutch Pro sign or a Dutch Pro stand. Anything Dutch or Pro orientated. With five, uh, yeah. five and times five liter explosion. The most innovative hold on, place. Hold on, hold on. These, hold on, yeah. hold on. I put five times five liter explosion then for the for the guys. Excellent. I yeah. think we'll do these on the most innovative five place. separate days. Yeah. So we'll keep it running. Yeah, for the five best. days oh. and we'll do the Wheel of Fortune again. But to the listeners, the images that you're using, do not try and trick me and go onto the internet and pull off a Dutch Pro image because my IT team will find where that image has come from we and you will you will be, be disqualified. Yeah, you will be disqualified from and removed from the competition. So all of your images must be legit. 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 We want to see some as legit hand signals go on there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So we want you to go on social media, tag Dutch Pro, hashtag explode, or you know what to do, just impress me, I'm fed up with giving it all to you, impress me with what you can do on social media, showing Dutch Pro off. Um, and then the last and then one. for the most impressive one, the smart ass who does the smartest, smarmiest thing, yeah, and not just copy and paste Dutch Pro and send that, because that won't win, yeah, who impresses me. I'll throw in a five litre explode as well, on top of it, so the oh, six, good. the six days in total. Yeah. Six so, so yeah, yeah mum. And then there's one more. There's one more for the shops. The shops that have been listening. Um, I wonder how many are going to be commenting frantically now. If you have commented, I need you to give uh, the weekly hydroponics. I've seen your comments, so you're in the mix. Yeah, you should defo in the mix, boys. I've seen George. I know he's from Chase Lane, Chase Lane Hydroponics. He's him and his shop is in the mix. If I don't know your name and you work for a shop. You need to put the name of your shop in the yeah. comment section here. Yeah. And then what you've got is a 1000 watt double ended uh, Revolution Diva Light. Uh, Maxi Bright is going to take it to your shop, take it out for a little scan of meal, and tell you all about <laughs> it on behalf of all of us doing episode 100 of MPK Live. So and all you know. of these competitions are all going to be Wheel of Fortune next Thursday on Podcast 101. Yeah, so ma make sure you're tuned in for 101 because all of the the winners will be announced. Big, Big shout out to Josh at Solace Tech there, just joined us. Well in Josh, like it lad. And the final and last bits that we need to do, and I'm gonna get on my phone to help. To help. Yeah. Um, obviously I want you to follow us on Instagram, um, at NPK underscore hydroponics. 
Jay, where are they following you and your boys? What's your website? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? If they're going to your area, <laughs> what area are you? We are Southern, the south is point of London, which is Junction 8 of the M25, and we are Hydro to grow. So pop in and try us out. Boom. This name's Hydroponics, Hounslow, that's near Heathrow, West London. Uh, um, Slim's Hydroponics on Charge Instagram. <laughs> and if you're in the London area, wherever you are in that little ring, <laughs> little. you're 20, yeah, in the big oh, ring, man. if you're 20 miles away. We'll see you in four hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You need to make the journey to, this, to these two shops because these are legit, 100% yeah. legit. So make that 20 mile I'll... journey, these boys will sort you out. Yeah. It'll, it'll come back in, in, in droves. I'll follow us, we'll be following these boys there. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. MPK yeah. underscore yeah. hard upon it. Yeah. Just see what the what the real people are up to. Yeah. And not selling And make yourself in our society. And see what's what. Thank you very much to James at DNA Mills for the gracious uh, yeah. donation no problem, of kit. What are you looking following uh, you on? Instagram, you can tag us up. Hashtag Mills Pays the Bills UK. Yeah. Everything on there, that's our also our Instagram tag. Nice. DNAmills.co.uk you can download spectrums, <coughs> fee charts. And if you haven't tried out their coke with cork, get on it. It is phenomenal. Boom. Big shout out to Dutch Pro. Good. Thank you, mate. Dutch Thank Pro. You. Thank you. I think Thank you. Jared, Thank I want to see you on Instagram. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you. Uh, a big shout out to Gafita. Cheers. Thank Jay. you. Took Cheers, a bit man. of a pounding in the first half. I'm <laughs> always taking a pounding. Yeah, we. Looks like a good pounding half, Foxy. If you want to follow my Instagram, it's at foxjfox, or you can follow at uh, Gavita Holland. Uh, www.gavita-holland.com for all of your um, technical information or room designs. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm top proper 82. Bap! That, there we have it. That's the real one. And you can also follow me on Facebook, <laughs> Jay Gavita Fox, if you're really interested. And this guy works hard. Hashtag Road Warrior, many miles put yeah. in. Yeah, and, anyway, and I want to say something. Uh, check the new uh, Dutch Bro website, www.dutchbro.com. Okay. There should be some interesting no, shit on there. And the last one is to say a thank you to is everybody that's listened from day one. Uh, subscribed and just sent us messages. I say it all the time we do this shit for free because we love it. These boys have travelled from fucking London to come up for the day Big and spend four or five hours Scrap with us. So thank you very much, Hydro to go and thank you very much, yeah, Slim and Jay. Appreciate it. One last thing, sorry, I just remember it from our notes is Autopot Show. You're going to be doing something crazy at the Autopot Show. Always? Something always. crazy? Always? I just thought it was the 100th episode, we might as well mention it. Yeah. Thank Dan, Dan, Dave, Bangle. Jason. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Let's have the big space right in the perfect place where you guys need it. It's going to be mad. Autopot. Um, 2017. Unfortunately, to our uh, customers and uh, the public, you can't come. <laughs> it's, <laughs> not, it's an hour own event, but yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. We're going to be, be doing some reading and uh, researching. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. You can hear about it on the podcast. Yeah, you can hear about it on the podcast. <laughs> Thanks for what I Obviously, all of us yeah. as well. Every yeah, yeah, yeah. drinks, yeah. food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it's going to be all of it. It's going to be bigger than Battle of All of these, like Elder Gavita's highlights, Dutch Pro, every person that puts their time, effort, money into it. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to it. All the wholesalers that that put money into it to build something that all the shops can go to, thank you very much. And if you're a wholesaler that hasn't supported the Autopop Festival, What's going on? So you should yeah, not everybody can though, so you're probably out of the equation anyway, so mm. oh well. Um and I also <laughs> wanna say uh, I haven't given a shout out to uh, Greg Revolution for supplying the light for the shops. I can't see you commenting, so it looks like the people that have been commenting so far from yeah, shops for the human of what we said earlier on. Yeah, um, and thank you very much to <laughs> Eric because uh, he sorted it for us at Garden Culture. Yeah. And if you haven't picked up your edition of Garden Culture, and do some reading, do some educating. If you don't like listening, do some reading. Yeah, read Garden Culture for fuck's sake. It's free. It should be in most shops. And I'll also say for anyone that's listening wants to do a bit of advertising. I know because we put our podcast in it. Whenever it goes goes out there, the the, the magazine, the subscribership literally goes through the, the roof. Every third month it is, I can literally see the spike of when Garden Culture gets released. So there's it. some unbiased information for you of get get your shit in Garden Culture because it's a good it's a good shit to be in. Big up Plantasia, big up Ben. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. man. We're never festival without plantation. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, man. Been. Yeah, major yeah. respect. Yeah, man. And family. Obviously, yeah. putting up with us. They should have come in the list <laughs> for best grow shop, though, because... Do you know what? I said to you on the way up. What did I say to you on the way up? Listen. Listen. No, listen. 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 This ain't a lie. Listen. Slim's answer to me. In the mode on the uh, way, nah, bro, listen, that, listen. that slipped me. Listen, brain, Plantasia, bro, so yeah. All of us, Plantasia, I yeah, forgot. It's only just sitting there. I went, yeah, wait, wait a minute, Plantasia was yeah. my favourite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Plantasia. as I said, yeah, yeah. You know, I was Plantasia's like, oh, fuck, I've got to big him up, Ben. Yeah, big up for me. We don't put that on display. That was my answer, I swear to you. It's only if he wasn't there, you wouldn't believe me. But that was my answer, I just forgot it. You know what? I forgot it. You believe why I forgot it. Come on, man. I told him, I said to him, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, big, big shout out to Ben. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Again, yeah. second half. Yeah, yeah, man. Go yeah, man. Go on. Go on. Yeah, man. Listen, to put that amount of produce on display on behalf of Dutch Pro and Canet and, and, and yet again Mills. they put up with me and my fucking crazy fucking antics as well so yeah there you go fuck up put on there all on the motors just cleaning yeah. up the field fucking yeah, yeah. they pay for people to clean it up yeah. they fucking yeah, yeah. yeah a lot of it's time right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Look forward to being there. Hope you get my tickets, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and a nice VIP camping for more people this year as well, please. That'd be nice. Yeah, right. Don't, don't let Ida Gardens pants on the camera because it was shite. Yeah. <laughs> Last little Sweet dig in there. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Like, I'm on my way. Bang! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I didn't see that bit. Where was what, it? the green towels were <laughs> shit? Yeah. I'm saying nothing about no towels. Like, I'm just telling you the standards were shit. <laughs> That's enough of that. Did you get full of fun? Your bits? Be nice. We're finishing on a nice note. <laughs> <laughs> nice, that. Time for a nice pull out. <laughs> Big up Plantasia. Okay, well, Big up Plantasia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Last one. Yeah. Thank you very much as well for everyone that's bothered to listen and spend your time because the most valuable commodity is time and you spent it with us. I love you all. Big up from me and big up from everyone. Thank yeah, you very much. So that is episode well, well. 100. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm going to leave you. Makey, come on, give yourself, because he's been sat there doing all of this stuff, making it look nice yeah, for you. No, Makey, yeah, give yeah, yourself yeah. a little bit of a shot, big bro. Up, Can you give up, yourself a up, shot? Hello, Merks, lad. Yes. <laughs> give yourself a little come quick on, turn man. round. Yeah, yes, big shout general, out. General, yeah, general, man. General, Thank you very general, much for that. And look, he's not just the sickest editor and video producer. We're going to leave you with some Jamaican rum. My man, Merky. Shazam this shit because the tune is heavy. Make sure you get all... this track. Listen, download this track. Shazam it. Get on it. My man, Merky. Jamaican rum. Let's all file out and we're going to let the live listeners listen to it. And Merky's going to put it on for the podcast. So thank you very much, everyone. Let's go and get something to eat and drink, eh? Hey? Yeah. yeah we While Merky gets his tune on. <laughs> You're not gonna think it's fast! Getting on there. What is it? YouTube, Jamaican rum, Makey Waters. Yeah. Lab TV. Lab TV. How'd you spell murky? M E R K Y. Or C K Y. Turn it off. Turn it off. Let's go. Love it. She's all later. Let's go.